Namaste, bună dimineața, hello, good morning, and welcome to Bucharest for the start of day 12. Well, we've had some serious action from here already. 11 great days of cricket, over 50 matches, 11,500 runs, 573 wickets, and off those runs, 70% in boundaries. Expect more of that today because it is the start of finals day. Four teams looking to get their hands on this beauty. Which one will it be? Well, you'll have to wait and find out. I'm Rico Full. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Romania, and the action starts right here, right now. What an amazing trophy that is, and thank you, of course, to Locker Lyle Stars for all of their support for the European Cricket Network, providing us with a great trophy and some fantastic medals as well. Question is, which teams are going to be picking up the trophy and those medals? Well, we're going to find out with the first semi-final, and what a cracker this is going to be. Two teams that are making their debut in this European Cricket Series, and one of them will make it through to the final. Who will it be? Let's take a closer look at those teams. One of them, of course, Giamata. Giamata, we know all about them. They're a team which is literally an overspill of clues. Clues, of course, in the other semi-final. And uh, they'll be looking to surprise Big Brother by making their way into the final. A lot of people already talk, you know, if Clues can get over the Gladiators in the second semi-final, it could be sort of an all Clues affair in that final. But Jai Marta, they've got some serious work to do if they're to overcome UNEFs. Because UNEFs, they're a team that surprised everybody. Remember, when we went back to the very first match of this series, UNEFs beat the reigning champions, the Bucharest Gladiators, the Gladiators, of course, playing semi-final number two against Clues. So they're a team that at that moment in time turned around and said, yeah, this is who we are. We are new, but we're not here to make up the numbers. We're here to win it. And that's what their captain has said all the way along. It's going to be a cracking start first, though. Let's join the two captains in the middle along with the tournament referee for the all-important coin toss. You have to call, deals. Tails is called. It is tails. Okay. Good luck, guys. The UNEFs have won the toss and they're having a bat. UNEFs winning the toss and deciding that they're going to have a bat first. And they'll be hoping that the balls are going to be flying around a bit like the butterflies here at this beautiful cricket ground. First of all, a little bit on this ground. I think it's played absolutely brilliant all the way through this series. This surface, I mean, a lot of people were wondering how it would play. It's newly laid and they were thinking, what's it going to do? Are we going to get true bounce on it all the way through? Is it going to be one that's suitable for the batters, for the bowlers? One thing that we've found, it is suitable for both. Batters have scored runs on here. Remember, we've seen a lot of runs, uh, over 11,000 runs. That's something special. But also, we've seen 570 wickets fall as well. So it's given a little bit uh, of spin. It's given some pace. But also, batters have been able to bat in confidence on this. In other words, there haven't been low bounces. Once they're in, once they get in, they've gone on to score big runs. Semi-final number one, what can we tell you? We heard from the coin toss that UNEFs are going to have a bat first. Let's talk about some of the key players that we're expected to see here today. I think uh, Mohamed Yassir is going to be one to watch. He's been pretty consistent all the way through. Scored a stat loads of runs, coming up to 300 runs in the series. That's good going. He's had good support from someone like Shahab Alam. Though Alam, he's been a little bit hit and miss. His captain will be hoping that he can come good on finals day. On the bowling front, there's a number of key bowlers that you can look out for, but one to watch for me is going to be someone like Adil Mohammed. He's bowled really well. He's been a perfect all-rounder. He's almost 150 runs, and he's been picking up wickets as well. A little bit of that slow, sort of various Asians that he's had has caused all the issues, but one man, for me, the match winner for UNEFs, and this could be a big surprise if they make their way to the final, is uh, the, the talents of Haider Ali. Haider Ali has been superb. He's bowling quick and sharp. He's the quickest bowler I think we've had on this series. And if he gets it on the money, if he gets those Yorkers going, he causes a lot 
of problems and then with the bat he's quite explosive but of course Giamata they're a team that have weathered most storms they weren't able to weather UNEF though in the group stages UNEF did beat Giamata so Giamata will know that in the back of their head going into this one so their captain Aaron Kuma he's got some talents about him hasn't he the likes of for Ali, I mean, Amir Ali has been sensational. 276 runs in the series. So he's almost on 300. He's taken 15 wickets as well. He's been sensational. And he's had good support from other players. All the Fernandos have been good. But Chumluck Fernando, he could be somebody that turns on the style here today with the bat as well, with bat and with ball. Talking about the ball, I think they're a team that have got a lot of spinners on their side. Dylan Fernando, the left-hander, has been fantastic. And it could be the left-hand attack that is the problem for UNFC because as well as Dylan Fernando, I think Jenna Fernando, the pacer, the seamer, he's waiting to come good. He's been very economical all the way through, yet though he hasn't picked up a load of wickets, so it could be his day today. I tell you what, speaking of days, one man who's very happy and believes it's going to be his day is Charlie Hunt in the commentary box. Charlie, well, this time today on Finals Day, the sun is shining. We are going to get some action. Charlie, Thank you very much also for covering for me for the last couple of days. I had a lovely break, but I'm ready. We're both ready. We're ready for the start of the final. Charlie, the news for the first semi-final is that it will be UNEF having a bat first. Over to you. Thank you very much, Rico. Very good morning to everyone tuning in all around the world, whether it be on Fancode or on the ECN European Cricket Network YouTube channel. A huge shout-out to Rico. Did an amazing job giving you a very thorough rundown of what is set to come here today. And, of course, this first... So first semi-final, Giamarta taking on Younes, of course. And, yep, uh, Rico's said it perfectly. He thinks it's going to be close. But let's take a look, though, already at what happened yesterday in uh, in yesterday's games. We first saw we uh, we saw Younes, of course, the team here. They uh, they beat Zinitas only by the eight runs, though, of course. That was a bit of it, a little bit more of a close encounter due to the uh, the restricted start. It was a five-over game. And, uh, yeah, that was due to the wet outfit, of course. But, yeah, realistically, it was Hyder Ali who took the game away for Zinitas. Gave it a good go. But, yeah, they just ended up falling eight runs short. Taking a look at the next game, then. Transylvania, they took on Eunice in what, in what was a surprised win for the Transylvania team. Uh, Vishal Sharma, he was the star player, wasn't he? 68 off of just 34 for him with the bat. But then he turned around and bowled an, an, a remarkable spell, one which involved a wicket maiden, and he ended up with figures of three for five off his two overs. Transylvania beating UNEF by the 14 runs. And Transylvania had a good day yesterday, in all fairness. But we saw Beniza, they, take on, they took on the Gladiators in uh, the third match of the day. And what, again, was a pretty uh, simple victory for the Gladiators once more. Mohamed Moyes coming in for the first time in the, in this, uh, in the lineup and coming back and returning. Of course, last year's MVP. And he was, uh, well, he came back with a bang because he was the player of the match in that match at 53 this time around. Yeah, with a good knock of 44 off just 19. But also picking up a, a wicket for an economical 19 off his two overs. And we can take a look then at the uh, at the next game. Match 54. Again, it was a, a pretty comfortable victory this time for UNEF. Again, didn't quite look as uh, comfortable as it may as it may sort of portray itself on that screen, on that scorecard. But, yeah, Stephen's still there. Getting those points and, uh, yeah, confirming their place in the top four and uh, and their ability to, to play here today. But, yeah, Mohamed Yassir. Was uh, came in, had a bit of fun, 20 off of seven, but was gone. And oh, they, they chucked Jonas Jutt up to the top of the order. He had a bit of fun, was 20 off of 16. And in the last game of the day, it was a uh, low-scoring thriller of which we were... Oh, we had a little guest commentator, James Cantor, came and joined us. And he had a good time of it, didn't he? He enjoyed it. And, well, we picked his man. He said uh, he reckons Davinda is going to be there to, uh, to get themselves through and, and get themselves over the line. And uh, it was, of course... A, uh, a good game and a good turnout. So this is what we're going to see here then today, of course. The top four, Cluj, Yamarta, Younes and the Bucharest Gladiators all qualifying for this finals Friday. And, of course, semi-final two is coming up later. But at first, we've got the first semi-final. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. It's a team that I haven't yet seen. It's, uh, of course, Yamarta taking on Younes here. And we can take a look at the lineups here. And, of course, the Fernando brothers are who uh, a lot of... A lot of people are picking to, to be the pick of the players here for Giamata. But then looking at Younes, of course, probably going to be pretty heavily reliant on the likes of uh, of Haider Ali and Mohamed Yassir as well with the gloves. Don't forget about him. But, of course, you've got a good old Pavel in there. He picked up a wicket yesterday, as he always does. He manages to find a way. But I know a man who's very much excited for a bit of cricket here today. And, of course, it's finals cricket. Rico Full joins me in the commentary box. Great to be here. Firstly, thank you, Charlie, for holding the fort for the last two days. But yeah, it's fine as that. And Charlie, 
The sun is out. No rain today. We've had a fair bit of rain spoiling finals day. I know uh, you had a fair bit of that just coming back from the T20 Eyes in Bulgaria. I had it with yourself for the Fancad European Cricket Series there. It's great to have the sun. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I'm, everyone's sort of saying that I'm starting to get a bit of a reputation and, uh, and sort of carrying the rain with me. So I'm hoping that, you know, the next couple of days we're okay and then... Well, the, I'll tell you what the real tell is. When we go to Hungary for that second week and I bring some rain with me, then I'm, uh, well, James said I'm getting the sack. If that happens, then you will be known as the rain master. Not the weatherman, but the rain master. Anyway, we're ready to go here. I know you haven't seen Joe Marta, but they're a team that have been on fire in the field, Charlie. And this guy, well, you m heard me mention Janita Fernando. He bowls really well. Hasn't picked up a hat load of wickets, but he's been so economical. Let's see. If you can start getting the ball outside the off stump, it's going to be Adil Mohammed who's going to be on strike. And uh, Mohammed Yassir is the non striker. These two need to give their team a good start. Here comes the first delivery. And it's uh, on the money. So it has the tendency sometimes to stray a little bit onto the pads, but not this time. A good start. Got ball. Yeah, just back of the length. You can see him there, just testing the ground. A little bit of a. Had a few slip and slides yesterday, Rico. Well, Mohammed Moyes was sort of the one, the main man who was taking a bit of a tumble, but. Yeah, a bit of uh, overnight rain, and well, it rained heavily as well at that. And yeah, of course we lost that bit of uh, bit of play. But yeah, a bit of dew on the ground this morning. But uh, I wouldn't be uh, giving it too long until the sun burns it away. Got this away down to the third man who is on the boundary. First runs of semi-final number one. A very good morning to everybody on in the chat. Good morning to Manus. Hello. Some of the early birds there as well. Rob Thompson was there. Great to have you all with us. What is going to be a sizzler of a finals day? Anyone, Charlie, of these four teams could win it. Oh, absolutely. Sizzler seems to be your uh, word of the day, by the it's way, Rico. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm here for it. Yeah, it's going to be a scorch up, I have to say. And uh, get your sunscreen on, folks. Settle in. It's Rob Hold. Once again, just tucks up the batter. Yes, here. Probably wanting a little bit of room. Nothing there. Yeah. Mata we were arrested, Charlie, weren't they? They've, uh, they did the hard work early on, and like Kluge, haven't seen them for a few days, so they'll be rested. Whereas UNF, well, they, had, they had three matches yesterday, so they're going to be feeling it a bit. Yeah, probably a little bit of fatigue, both mental and physical, but yeah, I was a little bit annoyed. I came and I think I've, I've had to I've had to buy my time. I've waited a couple of days to see this Giannis uh, side alongside Kluge. So, hey, I'll tell you what, I'm excited, you're excited, we're all excited. It's going to be a good day. Good looking shot, and he's going to get through the inner circle. That's going to be four runs, the first boundary of finals day. Nicely hit. The fielder is down and looking. I get a feeling that might be Ricky Gill. That it goes blasting past. Four very good runs. It's yeah. not Gill, of course. That's Aaron Guma, I think, the captain. Yeah, he got, uh, he's got that one wrong. And uh, as the fielder, he's trying to get something, trying to get something uh, on it. That's. Uh, that's uh, Dylan Fernando, who was, uh, he let that one flow through him, but you know, his brother not really helping him out too much there, but yeah, just throwing a little bit wider, offering a bit of width. This one is a little bit short, work to be done by the man at Long On, it gets a slide in, and uh, I think he does okay. I'll probably have a look at his feet again here. Covers a lot of ground, as Amir Ali. And yeah, uh, makes a stop. Not too sure. Um, this is, it's a bit of a tricky one because the feet sort of flail underneath him, and it's going to have to be slowed right down as to whether or not he's making contact with the rope as he's got the ball in his hand. Yeah, he's going to be very close here. I think I mean, he's okay. I think he does raise that leg, and then by the time he does collide with the rope, he's not in touch or contact with the ball. So they'll have a look a couple of times. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, good stop. I've got to say, by the way, I'm impressed with your peacock shirt. Yeah, you're looking pretty neat as well. Of course, yeah. I mean, it is finals day, but also uh, an opportunity, an early one. And does he get back in time? I think he does a little bit of uh, bad calling between the two batters, lost in communication. Probably just gets the bat in time, and uh, the umpire shaking the head. Well, the issue is, is that uh, well, Abdus Salam is. Uh, Fielding at point. I think he's got in the way of our little camera there. I mean, we can't really see too much. We're going to have to go to a second angle, but I don't think it really tells us too much. They're just, uh, they're just waiting on it here anyway. But end of the first, and it will be seven for no loss after after the first over. Yeah, let's have a look at some of the top performers. So there you go, Charlie. You wanted to know a little bit about Jarmata, the man who just made that brilliant stop, Amir Ali. 
has been the star for the not only 297 runs, 15 wickets as well. Chumpkla Fernanda has been right up there as well. He's uh, iron up to 50 runs and he's bowled very well as well. And uh, they've just got some very good performance. But in the field, they have been sensational. Over to the other side, well, you can see that uh, yes, he's going to score some runs. Shaham Alam is going to on the on the quiet slightly, but he's going to come back big as well. I've got to think to be getting, I reckon, here to make this competitive around about the 120. And the new bowler comes in. And, well, he's going to start with the beamer. Oh, that's an absolute terrible delivery. Wicked keeper, Rajinda Pisal, does not move at all. This is a bad one. This yeah. is this is a bad delivery. So a bowler comes in and he bowls a dirty ball. And that's Safi Ahmed. Safi Ahmed coming to the bowl high up the order. They've not done this in the group stages. Yeah, you can see there that uh, <laughs> Pisal was having none of that. He turned around and said, no, 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 hang on a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to go and get down and get that when you're going to bowl those absolute, that, that bit of rubbish at me. Don't give me that. Come on, you're better than that. So, yeah, a bit of a poor start for Ahmed here. And, well, free hit signalled and... Well, good way for uh, for Adil Mohammed to open up his boundary account here if, if he gets it right. Wild swing at the free hit. Misses out and it's a good comeback for Safi Ahmed. Yeah, bit of a gamble this first time. I can't remember Safi Ahmed opening the ball. I can't remember him having the new ball. So this is a real gamble that they're taking here. So they don't go with some of the other options available to them. Yeah, good noise out there in the field, though. Sort of bit of a yesterday was a bit of a. As soon as UNEF confirmed their timeout, it was a bit of a quiet one. What a wild swing, though. Yeah, just not really keeping his shape, is he? Just sort of seeing the ball and thinking, okay, lose my head, try and hit it to uh, well over the boundary. But you've got to go uh, early on in these in this power plate. Your correct shots will uh, will get your runs. Yeah, Deal Mohammed has been elevated up the order. You're quite used to seeing. Uh, some of the other guys up there, I mean, I would have thought that uh, Alam, Shahab Alam would have opened up. But because his runs dried up slightly, they're trying something different. And Adil Mohammed normally would come in around about three or four. Yeah, it's an uh, interesting time to try something different when you're, you're trying to confirm your place in that all-important final. This is another high one. He's been put away, you know, but I like to see the height on this. So that's four runs. It's not a good delivery. It's too high. Just helps us along on the offside. I think it's too high, Charlie. Yeah, that's the, to me, first instincts is that's going to be called. And, uh, yep, there we go. No, he is called. It's a no ball. And, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's got that one completely wrong as Safi Ahmed in the over at the moment. Well, I tell you what, it's uh, it's not a good one. It's not a good I mean, when he gets it right, they haven't got bad on to pull. But we've seen four buys courtesy of the first no ball. Of course, one no ball and four buys. Now, that one. Is another fiver. Four from the bat. One no ball. Free hit. Lyson go to full Monty. And he misses out on it as well. He's trying to hit the ball too hard, isn't he? Trying to, trying to hit the leather of the ball rather than get his timing right. Yeah, he's uh, he's losing his shape every single uh, free hit he, he faces, doesn't he? That's two now that he's completely missed out on, on an extra free hit. But got to keep your shape. Got to keep your calm. Keep your head down. And often you find that your, your proper cricket shots will get rewarded, especially on this beautiful outfield. It's going to run away as long yeah, as you don't absolutely. find one of the... And it looks like... Is that a fresh cut as well, Charlie? Yeah, it it look looks bit. pretty as a picture. It does. Balls are going to be racing to the boundary. As long as it doesn't find a bus fly on its way. Ooh, wide called. And initially I thought it may have just snuck in. It did look as if it was starting outside that line. But I thought it may have just snuck in a little bit uh, on it on the line. Yeah, if you're going to call it, call it. He does. Yeah, good call by the men in black. That's Nishant Devery. At the bowlers and is Andrew Begg is the square leg umpire and AJ Gopalapa, the third umpire. Well he gets hold of this good and this will go all the way. Bowl bolle bolle. The first maxima of this finals day. Semi-final number one. Well he was bound to get hold of one. This time he's better. He uses his feet, gets to the pitch of it, and he mashes it to the boundary. And Jill Mohammed gets his first. Maximo of the day. Yeah, what's the response then from Army? Because the over's at the risk of going magical. Hello. Oh, it's been called already, and it's going to get through. Don't think it's going to go all the, the all the way, though. And they come through for just a single, but it's another one. And hang on a sec. If, if be off. I was going to say, that's, that, that'll be him done, won't it? It should be. That's the third. So he's off, Charlie. He will be taken out of the attack. And this is a disaster for Jim Martin because it means that he won't be able to finish this over and he won't be able to bowl again. So the gamble of bowling Safi Ahmed 
higher up the order has backfired. They're giving him the ball back, but you can't. He cannot bowl another ball in this contest. Yeah, that's a big shame. And uh, well, the thing is now, as you mentioned, there it takes. You know, you've got to find an over out of someone, out of, you know, from somewhere. And uh, yeah, that just changes things, and we'll have to change the tactics. But uh, just go into the chat. A couple of questions coming in, and well, the first one is, where is this venue? It is in the Ivlov County of Bucharest. Here, it is an absolutely stunning cricket ground, one of the best on uh, on tour. This mod of lazy cricket ground, of course, and yeah, it's played host to an, an incredible uh, European cricket series here. Looks as if they're changing it up here, Rika, going for a bit of spin, potentially. Yeah, yeah. you've seen somebody who wouldn't normally bowl, which makes sense because he's just got to get two legal deliveries in. Gets away with the, the first one. So once again, they don't capitalise on the on the free hit. Just gets a single. Yeah, he didn't really look to do much of an attacking shot. But yeah, he's finally... Uh, yeah, I don't mind them going to a bit of a part-time. That's what you've got to do. I mean, you've got to just sort of say, especially when it's only at the latter stage, there's just two uh, two uh, deliveries left. You've got to go, just, just give me two deliveries that are right on the stumps and I'll be happy. Nicely played, Fudo has to get down, and as soon as it gets past you, it's cuatro carreras, porque eso campo is rapido, four more, and this is a nice, delicate shot. He, he almost goes the wrong way, doesn't he, and takes himself out of the shot, but good hand-eye coordination, a little nerdle around the corner, four runs, that ends up being a super fantastic over. It goes magical, because only seven on the first, and the score now on 31. Yep, 31 for no loss after two. Just a confirmation there of the two lineups, as you can see there. Of course, some big names for both sides, and it's a, yeah, it's a simple battle of bat versus ball. And uh, yeah, there's another question here, Rico, which uh, which uh, Vinny is coming. Says he got a question from a fan. What's the difference between ECN and ECS? ECN is the European Cricket Network, that which uh, is, is you know everyone that organises it and is the company that, that provides you the coverage. The European Cricket Series is the tournament that takes place. That's yeah. the, the simple difference and the simple answer. Yeah. Well covered. Yeah. There's uh, Dennis Fernando will now bowl his second. They do sometimes keep him back, but I think in contrast to what's just happened and that very expensive over, Jenny Fernando now needs to bowl this one. And also the captain is already thinking, who's going to bowl that other one over that Safi would normally bowl? Here comes Dennis. And Edge, and this one flies away. There's going to be four runs. I swear to you, boy, batador, yes, here. But if you swing hard, you could get lucky, and he does. Yep, it's what goes down in the book. It doesn't matter how it comes. And well, in the book, that's going to go down as four against the name of Mohammed Yasir. And that might just give him a little bit of confidence to to keep the attack going now. Because if you can uh, if you can get on top of the bowlers early, it really becomes a and it's a simple game for the batters, but at the moment, yeah, racing away into the in, well into the 30s here. Response needs to needs to be something different. It needs a variation. A big wild swing. This time from yes here. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether the the captain Alun Kuma, after seeing the way, especially that second over, went he, he could have gone to somebody like some like Fernando, or even Dylan Fernando, just changed it a bit of spin, but he decided to go with the seam for the first three. Definitely will be spin in the fourth. Probably will be Dylan Fernando. But let's see if Janeth can get him a wicket. Uh, it's high up the air chance and it will be taken because Amir Ali does not drop a thing. He's been class all the way through. And well, what a series he's had. 297 runs, 15 wickets as well, and number of catches as well, I'm sure, in the double figures. Nothing has gone past that man. And they do get the breakthrough. He hits it hard, but he finds the same hands of Ali. Yeah, it's the story of the last couple of days for Mohamed Yassir. Even though he's uh, he's been well in the runs in, in the last uh, week or so, the last couple of days, he hasn't quite found the form that he's been looking for. And it's a big one to get, though, has to say. And, uh, yeah, it breaks this opening partnership. And it will be 35 for the loss of just the first wicket here in the halfway stage of the third over. Yeah, so wicket goes... And it is that of Mohamed Yassir, and they needed that. Needed something positive to happen right after that uh, nightmare of an over from uh, Safi Ahmed after three full tosses had to be taken off. And uh, Salam had to come in and finish the over off the bowl, the two balls remaining in it. But uh, it was a big over, which went for plenty. But they needed something good to happen, and they do. And the captain, well, he sticks with his main strike bowler, Janet Fernando. Fernando gets that breakthrough courtesy. Of Ali taking another catch. Now this is a man coming in now. Shabam 
Alam, who he himself started the series really well, scoring big runs. He was the normal opener, but he's uh, just uh, gone off the boil slightly. He'll be looking to come back strong in uh, finals day in this semi-final number one. Yeah, what a, what a time it would be to do so, to refine that form or regain that form. But at the moment, it's uh, yeah, you'd still argue that if they keep this one relatively quiet towards the end of the power play, you'd probably say 1-0 to to come after here. It's more of the same to Charlie, isn't it, Nick? They're just trying to play the same old shot, aren't they? I mean, there is, there is scope and there is width to play on the offside. And they're choosing not to do it. And uh, Jennifer Fernando will say, well, OK, I'm going to keep it just there because I don't think you're going to get it. No, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, it's just a simple fact of maybe the occasion possibly getting to them. Of course, it's a knockout, knockout cricket now, which I think is the best version of cricket. If you lose, you're out. So you've got to leave everything out there. It's been guided well. Fielder comes across, gets a slided, gets behind it, makes a stop. Well done. Just take a single. Yeah, keeps it down to one, which is pretty impressive, I have to say. But, yeah, look at this. Covers the ground, gets down well. He's got something behind it. We saw a few people struggle with a, with a bit of fielding, ground fielding more than anything yesterday. Just got to get something behind it. You know, if you if you take it in the knee or the shin or, or, the, or anywhere, anywhere on the body, as long as you take it and get something behind it, it's better than... You can conceding the four or, or possibly a six even. Fast delivery then. It's well bold and that's that that angle that goes right across the right hand. He's not able to get anything on it. So they needed a good one and they did. And that's a, a good bit of bowling from Dennis Fernando. Just the 12 runs conceded from his two overs and gets that one very important wicket. 36 for one. Yeah, good uh, good power play for arguably probably both sides. Going at 12s, but that, that second over going for 24 is uh, realistically where the only runs have come from. Seven off the first and uh, fifth off that third. So Jonathan Fernando finishes with uh, excellent figures of one for 12. Economical, but also picking up the wicket. And, well, uh, you did call it, Rico. You said, I reckon Dylan is going to come in for this fourth over. And guess what, Rico? Shot Corey, you're right. Yeah, and uh, he prefers to. I mean, now we've seen a lot of spin bowlers who are left arm around and have been very very useful on uh, the European cricket network but this guy prefers to come over he drifts the ball right across the right hand is very clever with his flight he's setting his field now so he's got he's got a sweeper an extra cover it's a uh, long off his back as well then the orthodox on the leg side in terms of behind square mid wicket and a wide long on and, uh, three men in that sort of point Backward point, point, and sort of cover area there. Just made the extra cover to go in the gap between the man at point and cover. Here we go. Here's the delivery. Nice to see a good crowd developing here. This one gets worked away and straight to the field. So good field set and bowling to his field straight away. Bit of a hoik across the line though once more. Yeah, it's pretty uh, all the same old, same old, isn't it? Just sort of one shot wonders at this point. But yeah, they've got to find a way of manipulating the field and, and then playing the the game into their own strengths. But this is the man who I'm really excited to see. He picked him up. He picked him up in a big game for, for Fernando. Got to see if he can come good for it here. That's well bowled, good length, good areas. Of course, it's one of two men that have taken a hat-trick in this series as well. The thing for me as well, even though he's a spinner, he doesn't float it up. He, he will dart. He darts it in mm. and gets a, gets a good amount of revs on it at the same time, which is not easy to do. So, yeah, he's a tricky customer to deal with, isn't he? This time the batter gets right under it, uses his feet, and he blasted over the man at long off. That's a good shot. That's better. Playing the shot on merits. He uses his feet, gets to the pitch, hits it straight, moves into the 20s now. That's Adil Mohamed. Nice shot, backs himself. But that's a bit of a win there for Fernando as well because he does draw the batter out of his crease. Yeah, no, he does. And he's, uh, he's egging him and egging him on, but he's probably going to try and find a variation at some point. And, well, that's not a bad one, is it? Because this time is a little bit quicker through the air. Clever bowling. Gets it to swing in a little. Hits the deck full on. Comes back. Knocks over the stumps of Adil Mohamed. Juggle their foot there style. Second wicket goes down. Dylan Fernando hits back. Yeah, he offered the width in the first couple of deliveries. This time it's straight up and it's fuller as well. Bit of drift away, but then spins back in. And it's a peach of a delivery from the left hand up in Dylan Fernando. And all that, uh, well, the opener, he put on a good uh, good fight, lasting until the fourth over. He got a couple of boundaries, but, uh, yeah, two fours and two sixes for Adil Mohamed. But he goes bold by the dangerous Dylan Fernando, 
And at the end, uh, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be 43 for two. And the big man comes in, Hyder Ali in at four. Yeah, this guy has uh, been putting in some good all-round performances, hasn't he? He's been, uh, I think for me, throughout the series, in terms of the scene bowlers, he's been the pick. He really has. He's bowled brilliantly well. And uh, with the bat, he's made some really good contributions as well. So this, for me now, is probably a very key partnership. These two have to go well and uh, try and get a partnership going, get to that big score touched up with this one. The ball is rolling, 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 and we'll go all the way to the boundary. That shows you the pace of the outfield. Gets a bit of bat on this as well, so giving us runs. So gets off the mark straight away, though a little bit fortuitously. Yeah, it's a great delivery, I have to say. He's stuck him right up, and he doesn't really have much of a, of a response to it, but he gets a little bit lucky that it will race away. And it'll, be a, it'll be four leg buys, and once again, though, Fernando is causing a lot of issues, but in fairness, he's probably one of the bowlers that as a batting unit, you'd probably say, okay, let's just nerd him around. If we can get a couple, if we can get a boundary or two, that's a win, but see off his two overs. Oh, well bowled and asking the question is worth a shout, you know. It is worth a shout. The question is, where does it fit? And also, get a fair bit of spin on this. Let's have a look. Does it catch him outside of your, the leg stick? No, but I think it's the movement away, Tyler. He's probably doing a little bit too much. Yeah, it looked as if it was uh, spinning down past leg stump, didn't it? Great delivery, though, I have to say. Almost unplayable because he's sort of stuck in two minds as we come to the end of the fourth. It's 47 for two on the board for UNEF's hit. Run rate not really an issue, is it, at the moment? They're going well above tens. Yeah. And you'd probably, yeah, you'd expect them to be looking for around about, what's that, 100 and, that's looking at 117, 118. It's probably about par. It's probably what you've come to know as par. Last couple of days, uh, they've probably dragged that par score down a little bit to maybe 110, 115. But, yeah, at the moment, it's uh, it's a good contest. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Jeevan's just pointed out the obvious in the uh, in the chat saying this that ground and outfield looks so much better than the one in Sofia. Well, it holds up better in rain. That's what it certainly does. Here it is going to be uh, Kumana then with a couple with an over of uh, of some arguable part time, but yeah, full toss and that's just going to be one down the ground. Yeah, so if now Jumakala Kumara is listed down there, but we of course we're talking about Fernando Jumakala Fernando. I think uh, the whole name is probably Jumakala Kuma Fernando. We're going for Kumara here. This is pretty wide, and he plays at it. Not quite where he wanted it to go, but he's going to get four runs from it. So it doesn't matter how you get him. Yeah, so he needed to get this to the boundary, otherwise he would have wasted that delivery. But gets four. Yeah, gets four for his troubles at the moment. And, yeah, that might just settle the nerves a little bit here. He's a, he's a good man to get early if you're... Uh, if you're bowling against him, he's, all, he's a healthy and, and helpful batter to have in your lineup coming in at four. He will just go for from it for the off. He hit 30 odd off of about 12. So he is more than capable. That's not a bad delivery, but he does well to get the bat on it. He really pushes this one through, doesn't it? Interesting phase of the match here. I think with these two batting, trying to get a good partnership going. You've got the Jamata looking for the breakthrough. That will probably put them on top. Yeah, Marlis was just agreeing. And again, darted, but this time it's uh, well hit down the ground, but straight to Dylan. Dylan Fernando does the work. Good bit of fielding, though. Fernando keeping the pressure on. Temperatures today, by the way, will reach the highs of the 30s once more. And well bowled, well pitched up. Good length delivery. I mean, this is the thing that John Martin do so well. The bowlers. Oh, a good line. The field is set well. I mean, you've got the likes of Ali, Fernandos, or either one, whether it's Dylan or the man who's bowling now, jump club on those straight boundaries, and they're great catches. This is hit down the ground. Now, Ali will come across again. And, uh, oh, well, they get this completely wrong. Well, this is the commentator's curse. I'll put my hand up. I was just talking about how great they are straight between, but nobody gets a call on this. Nobody says he's mine. So they're actually getting into each other's way. They could have clashed. It goes to the boundary. And it's four runs. So they're getting the run somehow. Nicely done. Cuatro Carreras Mas. Yeah. And a very good morning to you on finals day here in Romania. Yeah, I tell you what. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm think we've done all right here. We've done well. And of course, we're just showing off our Peacock Friday shirts. It is Peacock Friday as well as finals day. I hope you got your Peacock shirts on as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. 59 for two then after five. Pretty evenly poised at the halfway stage of this game, though, Rika. I think so. I think if you're the batting side of your nets, you're waiting for one good over, a magical one like the second over of the day, which gets you close to that 120-125. I think with Jamata, you're looking for a couple of quick wickets here and keeping this score under 100, but evenly poised. This is a key partnership. Goes for it. Doesn't get it. And it will be out because this man does not drop catches, Charlie. He doesn't drop them. Yeah, you've got a lot of confidence in our man Amir Ali down there. And, uh, yeah, a bit of fun comes to an end, this Hyder Ali. He didn't really look comfortable. He didn't find much out of the middle of the bat, did he? He got a bit of a lucky snick away for four. But, yeah, this time around, he uh, picks out the, the, uh, the, well, the better fielders in the tournament, Ali, and he goes, and it's uh, 59 for three. Well, we've got a break in play. We can talk about the fact that it's 87 days to go here until the Euros of cricket, of course. And that's coming up in uh, late September, early October. I don't think I'll be there due to, uh, well, the unfortunate use of university. But, hey, I know you'll be there, Rika. I'll be there, and I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you, some of you, can join us there as well. Because uh, we've got a, a lovely fan zone at uh, the Garden Oval. Dylan Fernando picks up his second. This is cautiously played away. You can see that the batter, Shahab Alam, a little bit reluctant to go for the single. In the end, Gil pushes him through, and he does have to go. We get the single, Ricky Gill out there now. I must, I've got to say, it was a, an absolute pleasure to have a chat with Ricky and his wife uh, this morning, who was uh, giving us lots of compliments, Charlie, on our commentary. Now, Ricky's wife is actually blind, and she was telling us that she loves watching the game, and she gave us the biggest compliment that you can really ask for. She's saying, even though I cannot see what's happening in the, in the matches, but listening to your commentary, is allows me to visualize it so hey thank you for those lovely words and it's a great pleasure to have met you today and it's a great pleasure to have you at the ground i hope you enjoying things and i hope that uh, for your sake that unefs they put in a good performance here yeah big time and uh, there's a couple of comments on my peacock shirt it's been a while since i've actually had a peacock friday shirt been rocking the polos on the on the friday every now and then but yeah, I thought, you know what, finals day, it's a nice hot weather. The thing is, it's, it's tough to go peacock when it's not nice weather. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. tough to go peacock. Well, I, I think you and I, <laughs> there was nothing nothing peacock about us no. in Bulgaria no. on, uh, on a finals day. That never happened there, by the way. But, yeah, when the sun is out, yeah, it's definitely a, a peacock Friday day. So I hope you got your peacock shirts on. And Rob Thompson, Nick has joined on the chat as well. Hello to you, Nick. Hello to everybody on there. Uh, on this uh, beautiful Friday morning. Shorter, thump down the ground. This is moving, this is traveling. And uh, Chumkala Fernando, he's only got a couple of meters to go, but he can't get there. This is hit so hard, Charlie. It is motoring along that lightly quick outfield. Yeah, Shahab Alam, he's the man who holds the key to this uh, this total setting by Younes, because that brings up the end of the sixth. It's 66 for three then, with four overs remaining. Looking to try and get up towards 100 plus here. But at the moment, it's uh, it's not going to be easy. His wickets are tumbling around uh, around everywhere. Yeah, Ch 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 Fernando not able to stop that one. We'll go back to have a ball. But again, great figures from Dylan Fernando. Two for 14. He just has continued to impress in this series. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, well, Marnus is agreeing with uh, with what I said. I said that the Fernando Bros were the ones to watch in this match. You did as well. I, uh, I was just saying I was excited to see them because I've not really seen much of them, but... Oh dear, hang on a sec, that's a noe. Uh, and that's also going to be four, so it's a pretty poor delivery this time around for uh, for Kamara, a.k.a. Fernando. But, yeah. Uh, he gets this one wrong, doesn't he? As a spinner, you can't be bowling these. No, this one comes out completely wrong. No re real excuses for it. Just doesn't get it right. Offers it a big, wide, full toss to the batter. Not only is it called a no ball, the third one off the innings, by the way, but also gets put to the boundary by Ricky Gill. So good shot now. He's got the license to go to the full Monty, but will they capitalise on a free hit? Hold your shape, that's all I'm going to say. He tipped firmly down the ground and uh, partially stopped by Chumkala. And also, I think he saves uh, Andrew Begg here because I think uh, the umpire was probably in the fire line to that. Well, he looked as if he was moving into it as well. He sort of misread it, and I think, oh, no, as he, he split his webbing. I get the feeling that the Andrew Begg is on the radio to call for the the assistance out there because this one okay. hit pretty hard. He's all right, though. He's, he's all right. He's continuing. So it, I thought he was pointing at his webbing there. 
And I take there's a good story about webbing recently with uh, one of ECN's very own, which I'll come to after this delivery. Okay. A bit, bit fuller. Hit down the ground. Ali makes the stop. Keeps it to one. Tell yeah, me. So did, have you heard the story about Viv Kingman in that win against the West Indies? No. So called in for, for his first appearance in the entire tournament in that World Cup qualifiers mm -hmm. and uh, hasn't played in the warm-ups yet. He gets called up and after this delivery will continue. This time just pushed down the ground yet again. Should just be one of them. And will be. But yeah, he's in the, in the warm-ups. Splits his webbing. In the warm ups. In the warm ups. And he was on to he was gonna open the bowling. Yeah. So he couldn't take any anesthetic for uh for his for his hand, for his stitches. So he gets uh, he gets his stitches put in. Oh dear, well I tell you what, how has this ended up going down towards fine leg? He squirts this one out, bit of an inside edge. They're gonna come back for the second and well it's pretty comfortable in the end because that's good running, good uh, good motivational running. But yeah, no, so he splits his webbing and he's opening the bowling so and it's on his and it's on his bowling hand. Mm. So he can't take an anaesthetic to numb the hand. So yeah. he sits there in pain, grimaces in pain. He's getting stitches in his webbing, then goes on to bowl one of the most economical, uh, one he of the econo most economical spells. He and bowled very well. He picked he? up. He, he broke up the uh, broke up the opening partnership, which was key. There you go. You see, we, you got to be hard. We're going the. He's not happy. Look. Yeah, he, he is having trouble. I think he's probably just talking to a few of the players and saying, "Look, I'm going to have to have something." on this as soon as I finish bowling. And credit to him for actually bowling. I don't know how he's, because it is on his bowling hand as well. I don't know how he's controlling it. But he's still got a couple of balls to draw and get through here. But, uh, this is uppish and he's going to go all the way. But well, that is a cracking shot. Manos arriba, Vitro. Porque eso es seis carreras. And this is when walloped over the point area. So much power here. It goes all the way. This partnership it is very, very important. They're trying to get to that 120 score, which will make this a real test for Jay Marta. Fernando pushes one up, and it's over pitch. It will go all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. in the sauna. Oh, what a great finish to the over. Seven overs in, and a score 88 for three. Yeah, the over goes magical. It's worth 22 in the end, and yeah, not... You probably argue that the uh, the injury is probably what's uh, what's haunted him here, but yeah, I just want to want to quote something. Oh, hello! Oh, don't park there, sir. What have you done? That's a nice looking Mercedes as well. Uh oh. Do you know what? I walked past that on the way to to the lavatories, and I thought, do you know what? That's a weird. That's a bad place to park. I saw yes. a few go over there yesterday. We've seen cars hit there. Of course, uh, the CEO of Cricket Romania, uh, Abdul Shakur, knows all about that. Anyway, folks, this is what's happening today. Semi-final number one in progress at the moment. And then semi-final number two, the repeat of last year's final. Cluj taking on the Bucharest Gladiators. And the Gladiators boosted by the return of Mohamed Moyes, yeah. last year's MVP. Yeah, of course, last year's MVP. And he played well yesterday. Got a player of the match in uh, in that game as well. Here's Ali then. Just going to be pushed. And I tell you what, they're going to take him on. And uh, it's going to be comfortable in the end. But one thing I want to want to quote at the moment, if you go on to uh, one of our stories on Instagram, first of all, do follow us, European Cricket, on our socials. Poll up at the moment. Who will take the trophy with a good photo of you shot by Diana Oris? And, well, a lot of people back in Cluj. Okay. Well, speaking of Diana Oris, there she is with a burrito. And, uh, well, this could have been one of those stumpings that the wicketkeeper knows nothing about. But fortunately for the batter alarm, he keeps his feet well planted. Let's have a look. There you go. Nice shot of that. Well done by our production crew here. I'm liking this, uh, this constant drumming at the moment that's coming. It's uh, adding a bit of bit of sound and a bit of colour, and I'm liking it. I'm liking the sound of it. I'm liking yeah, I it. think that's that's the Kluge crew. They brought a bit of a, a little mini doll with them. I'm sure you can hear that playing their way in the background. Tom well, Jeet Singh was having a go with it earlier. I'm saying I'm liking it now. Whether or not I'm liking it in seven <laughs> hours, eight hours' time will be a different story. I'll play a tune for you later. How about that? Anyway, talking about playing a tune, this one is up, up and away because that tune is of a maximum. Six more. Well, and Alarm is off and running here. Well, Shub, we, we've had Shub in the uh, in the old PMOA doing his role. He's not here today. We've got Ravi, Ravi Panchal. And uh, well, I know we had a couple of clangers in, uh, in Cyprus. He stays well away oh, from this at, one. Oh, look at that catch avoidance. That is big time. That's jug avoidance, oh, that is. Yeah, Ravi Panchal. Shame on you. That would have been uh, straight down his throat, and he doesn't move, Ravi. Oh, Ravi. Poor. Oh, a bit of oh, a leggy. that's pretty poor as well, but gets away with it. Wide is called. 
He went for the leggy, didn't he? A bit of the variation from Ali, but yeah. Oh, hang on. He's reverted the call wide. Must have got a bit of bit of bat on it. So it's not a wide. Yeah, was signalled, but then turned down. There you go. Never mind. Just a dot in the end. Hits it well, and he's going to get over the fielder. Six runs. Ginna Sona Shaka Lagia. Well, he hits it strong, long, and hard, and there's nobody stopping this one. It's right in the slot, though. It doesn't get the movement. The batter waits for it and uh, hits it perfectly well. Shaham Alam turning on the style here. Yeah, I told you how he holds the key. They bring up the 100, by the way, very early on here in the eighth over. Oh, and he misses out. And it's, uh, well, they're going to come through for a bye. A little bit unlucky for Pissal, the keeper. And it'll be uh, one to end the over. It'll be 100 and two for three then at the end of eight overs. Yeah, I mean, they're getting the acceleration, aren't they, just when they need it. So I was saying this before, most teams here are looking to bring up the 100 around about the eighth over. And now they'll be looking at 15s for the next two overs and try and get to that 130 score. So UNEF look like they're going to put a nice big score on the board. And Joe Marta, they're a team that, uh, well, all the way through the series, when they've scored well and won games well, they've batted first. So chasing sometimes has been their issue. Similarly to Kluge, so uh, it was a good toss to win by UNES, but winning it is one thing, and batting, getting the runs on the board is another. So far, they look to be doing just that. Bowler to come on to bowl here now. Now, this is uh, Sahi bowling. Sukran Sahi, and he's having to bowl because of no Safi. Slices up in the air. Could be catchable. Fielder coming across. Has to come a long way. Uh, and he gets hands to it. And who would it be? Is Chumka Fernando, who's already got a busted hand. Probably could have taken another there as the throw comes in direct hit. So Fernando, brave for him to go for it. Has to come in from a long, long way. And uh, we just see the catch goes down there. Here's the direct hit on the stump. Possibly if batters were alert, there's opportunity to take another. But at the moment, I think uh, Shahab Alam is saying, keep me on strike. Gets a wide one, and it will get called by Andrew Begg. Yeah, he was thinking of leaving it. Then he wasn't too sure if it was going to go, was he? So he played at it, and uh, luckily for him, he makes no contact because it is given as a wide by uh, umpire Begg. I have to say that umpires here in Romania have been pretty outstanding, led by, of course, Stefan Gooch, the uh, tournament referee slash commentator. He's gone. And what a delivery that is from Sar. He drags him down, and it's a rash, rash shot from Shahab Alam, and a good bit of work this time from Rajendra Pisal with the gloves. And a yeah, pretty simple one in the end to get, but he does the hard work and he takes it cleanly. Yeah, congrats to Sukran Sahi. Probably at the start of the day, probably wasn't even listed to have a bowl in fairness, but he bowls nicely. This is all about holding it back, isn't it, Charlie? He doesn't offer and he pays a bit of flight. The batter's eyes open. He wants to smack another six. Alarm. Good contribution from him, 42 of 19, but he has to go. And now the question is, can they still keep going at a pace to get that 130 score on the board? Yeah, it looks like it was a little bit of a flatter delivery, and I think that's what's done him there. He was sort of expecting it to be flightened up and, and allow him to have a bit more time to get down the track. But he was rushed a little bit by the flattered delivery from Sahi. Good variation as uh, someone who opened the batting yesterday. That's going to be uh, Yunus Jutt, who is coming out then here at uh, number six. It's 105 for four on the board. Yeah, Jack comes out, his partner, Ricky Gill, is a nine of six. So let's see if he can get some boundaries going here. Float it up, probably be another wide. Yeah, just toying with that line slightly. Yeah, that, uh, yeah he's just trying to keep it as, as wide as he can whilst keeping it legal, but just pushing on the wrong side of the line, isn't he? Just gets it a little bit wrong, but yeah, a bit of a sighter for Jutt. This one. He misses out and he's batting deep inside his crease, so he's not coming out to these. So, Sahi, if he just keeps it just short of a length, it's going to be difficult for Jutt to get hold of it unless he comes out of that crease. And this one a little bit too short. It's been hit pretty well, but it's been well fielded. Well, I say well fielded. They won't go for the second. As it uh, looks like Ricky Gill is saying, we need to try and stay on strike and deliver a few big blows. For my team and for me captain. Oh, but it stopped for a moment. Never mind, it's back. That's still going up there. I love it's it. A, That's going to go all day, I isn't it? I feel like I've like got a split screen where I'm watching exciting cricket and somebody also is watching an episode of Tarzan. <laughs> it's got the old Tarzan sort of 
bongos playing. You know, I'm that's expecting, a, a, oh, any minute coming through. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Up in the air. Chance. Will it be taken? Rico's probably hasting his bets. Oh, oh, hang on a second. This could be some of the best work we'll ever see because he's dropped the catch. In all fairness, that's not the best bit of it. But has he done enough on the ground here? It's our man in Amar Ali. Let's take another look at this one here because this one, this looked close. And I almost think that he's done enough on, on my first opinion. The catch would have been amazing because the ball was almost, I think, going over the boundary. Then just there, I think he saves it. I think he saved That is, look at this. People, incredible. If this goes down to a match, which is decided within four runs, well, that there, folks, is the the reason. And all right, some will argue maybe he should have taken the cat. Thing is, though, I think if he takes the cat, I don't think he would stop himself going over the rope. So either way, it was never going to be out for me, but that is a sensational stop. Amir Ali, take a bow. And the man who did that wonderful bit of fielding to keep that to a very good overlap, only seven from it. One for seven is now bowling the last. One and nine for four. Last over then. And well, this one is going to be flighted. And that's a dot to start. Good bowling from Sahi. I like the move. Of course, that's, uh, that's Ali now that's uh, is coming on there. Yeah, Ali, what a, they're clawing this. I mean, should have been 120, maybe 130. But they're clawing it back. This one, does it come in enough? Yes, it does, says the umpire. Ali, just getting this one to spin. Back inside that line. Look, looks like he's going out, but there it does. Cuts back in. It's a wild swing. Head is all over the place. He's got to try and just get Bannon Ball and get Gill on strike. Got to hit this one. He does. And Gill should just be looking to take the single. So one ten. Three balls to go. Got to be looking for 120, haven't you? You yeah, really do. You do. Got to be trying to get up there. But at this point, you're also probably saying, OK, let's just try and... Uh, at least let's get some runs on the ball. Let's not run the risk of just going dot, dot, dot and trying to hit the ball out of the park. Here is uh, Gill on strike once more. And he has gone down the ground again. He's clothed it. It's a bit of a nine-eye more than it. Oh, hello. They're going to come back. Oh, he's going to be gone. Should be gone. No, he's not. No, get back. Get back, sir, because he's not taking the ball. It's a poor throw, in all fairness, from, from our man Fernando down. He's got it wrong. It's yeah. a poor throw, in fairness, because he was on the half volley, and that's just not that's impossible for a bowler to, to try yeah, and Yeah, it wasn't well done, because the batter had already resigned himself that he's not going to get there. I think uh, Gil does the right thing. They would have crossed. That was the key thing, but you can see there the throw wasn't the easiest. They get the two. Gil then once more. Well, this is, again, just skewed up, isn't it? And he hasn't really found the middle. And well, now they are going to take it on, and this time they go to the keeper's strand, and it's a pretty poor throw again. And it's wayward, and we're going to have to take another look at this one. Ricky Gill gets the dive in, but has Pissau done enough after another wayward throw from Fernando? I think uh, he's confident he gets in, but yeah, the keeper has too much to do. Look at the steps he has to take, and then does he get there? It's going to be close. Let's have a look at this. He's going to slow it right down. Does he get the bat down before the bells come off? And... I think, he, I think he might have made it. What do you think, Charlie? Well, the thing is, is that angle doesn't tell us much because he's blocking the view, but then that, that angle doesn't tell us much because we, we can't see when he's in. So, to be honest, I don't think there's going to be enough conclusive evidence here, really, to sort of overturn whatever's been given on field. I mean, he probably would have been going through a bit of a bit of the uh, bit of the waves, and well, it looks as uh, yeah, they're going to want to. I think they may want to just take one more look at this one, if possible, from uh, a couple of different angles here. Els is getting her money's worth here this morning. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's when we see the stumps. Right, so the stumps move. That's what you're kind of going off, aren't you? Because the, the momentum, you're probably thinking. So he's in there. I yeah, think he's safe. Right, he's made his in. ground. He's yep. safe, yeah. Makes his ground and he's safe. Good bit of running. But yeah, poor fielding again from Fernando. Probably maybe due to that injured hand. Anyway, last ball. It did well, Fernando. You know they're going to be running too. It's got a, just a nice, easy throw to the keeper. This time on the bounce. And this time it will be out, of course. They had to run hard. It was the last ball of the innings. They'll get one. So they'll get to the 115. But be it that they won 102 at the end of eight. They'll be disappointed that they didn't get to that 130 mark. And Jai Marta, they'll be pretty happy that they managed to restrict the score to under 120. They'll feel they're able to go out and get this. But a lot of question marks, I think, there will be about uh, Chumba Cup Fernando and his hand. I mean, is he going to be able to bat properly? And uh, also, don't forget, UNEF, they bowled pretty well in this series. This one is wide open, Charlie, wide open. Yeah, it certainly is. Let's take a look at the highlights then here for this uh, this first innings of the first semi-final, the first game, one of four here on uh, Finals Friday. And let's take a look then. Let's walk you through it because it was a good start then here 
as uh, yeah, he hit it through the covers. It was a little bit unlucky, though, for the fielder there. That was, of course, Dylan Fernando. He came on and eventually he bowled an excellent spell, didn't he? This was a good bit of work. He does manage to sort of pick it up. And he's uh, yeah, he's a great fielder, is Amir Ali. First view for him for, for me here. But even still, though, it's a good, uh, good look for him. And, yeah, you can see here, well, there's a good couple of shots all over. Uh, got a little bit lucky in places. Did a couple of the openers. I saw Adil, Adil Mohamed batted pretty well. And uh, well, he hit some nice shots. But he was eventually, this was, uh, that was how Mohamed, Mohamed Yassir was gone. He was caught by Amir Ali. Two catches for him down in that area. And then we saw Dylan Fernando, the lefty leg spinner, came into the attack. And we saw him bowl excellently well. Picked up two wickets, didn't he? Picked up the wicket of Haider Ali. But also Adil Mohamed, who was in. A little bit of a mishap in the field there this time. But they were able to... Get, uh, get a couple of uh, couple of catches yet again. That was uh, that was Hyder Ali bowled, and uh, by Dylan Fernando caught by, of course, that man Amir Ali. Actually bowled pretty well in all fairness, have to say. But then we saw another Fernando came and he didn't really bowl very well, and his fielding was a little bit suspect. But at the same token, due to the fact he probably has a bit of an injured hand. But yeah, this one, now that hit the car and I'll tell you what, whatever car it is, don't park there, sir, because that's where you don't want to leave it. Nice looking shots. This one was uh, was over the head of the of that Fernando down at long off but then we saw a bit of a, an easy stumping chance really for piss out as Shahab Alam who was the main batter for Unity he was 42 off of 20 with four sixes and two fours excellent bit of fielding there might be the play of the day unless anything crazy happens well then there was a there two bits of or a miss run out due to the poor throws of uh, Chamalka Fernando and uh, the, they ended up getting back in well if they end up losing this by a run or two here Jim Atta, well they'll be coming back to haunt them Will Fernando. But this was the last ball then, and they knew they had to go back for the second, but they're pretty sure they know. Well, unless he pushed it, he hesitated, didn't he? Hang on a second, that looked a little bit short for me, but it doesn't matter because it's gone. And uh, yeah, that will be just one to the total. So they will finish on 115 for five off their 10 overs here in the first semi final of the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Romania. Take a look at the scorecards there in confirmation here. As you see, openers getting in and getting out, but it was mainly, it was mainly Javalam. He was the main uh, main batter for UNES here. 42 off of Tony with two fours and four sixes, striking at 210, which is uh, no small feat. Gill looked okay, 16 off 11, hit, hit the one boundary for him, but yeah, nerdled it at the end as you know, Juck came out and, and joined him as well. At the bowlers, though, it was a good uh, good day out already for Janitha Fernando. Will it be the last time we see him with the ball? Only time will tell. Folks, it's a simple equation. 116 needed off 10 overs for Giamatta if they're going to get to the final later on today. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Romania with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside Rico Fult on the European Cricket Network.
maintained, restricting them to 115. 116 will be the target, and uh, the openers will be Dylan Fernando. And we're going to chance to see Anand out there as well. So two attacking batters right from the word go. And they'll be looking to get off to a good start. I'm Rico Full, and alongside me is Charlie Hunt. Yeah, thanks, Rico. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be an exciting chase. It's probably the it's not a crazy uh, amount of runs to, to chase down here, 115. Only needing to go at just above 11. But early wickets uh, are going to be key here, aren't they, for uh, for UNEP, for... Uh, the UNEF's here, of course, if they can take early wickets, heavily reliant on Hyder Ali with the ball, of course. But, yeah, a couple of early wickets in this power plate, and it's uh, it's going to be a different game, in, in all fairness. Yeah, and what I'm noticing with the batting lineup here is that Jim Martin, when they started the campaign, they always said, uh, for the first three games at least, the likes of Anand Rajashakara was the opener. Hello, welcome back. Sorry, just a slight technical issue. Yeah, what I was saying, they've always had uh, Anand rogers Gura as the opener. And uh, then he sort of get got relegated, really, to, well, either not batting or coming in really low down, which I didn't think suited him. I think he is the opening batter. I think that's where he needs to be. I think this is the right call. And maybe with a score like this, he's the right sort of batter just to keep one end going and feeding the others. So let's see if that works for them. Here's the first delivery. Hyder uh, starts with not the best of deliveries. It's uh, down the leg side to the left-hander who tries to nudge it away to straight to the field and no run. He's uh, had this issue before as uh, Dylan Fernando when he's just basically gifted a wicket just clipping straight to the field who's on the, the 45 in a catching position. So he's got to be careful with that. Hyder Rally, he has been so economical and has bowled so well. And he comes again. And uh, gets this one to wide of the left-hander. It does come in a little, but not enough. So the first runs on the board for Jamata come courtesy of Extras. Yeah, they do. And you can just see there, just uh, Fernando just having a bit of time into himself and just relaxing and getting into the groove of things here. Yeah, it does seem as if it's uh, poised for a fun, exciting chase, this one, I have to, uh, I have to say. Oh, what a beaut, what a beaut, and gets this on the money, comes back, and if it came back a tad more, it would have kissed the off stump on the way through. Good bit of bowling from Hyder. Yeah, it is, and uh, yeah, you're right though, aren't you, Rico, in, the, in a sense of that he has been so, so key in this, uh, in this lineup for Unes, in both with bat and ball, but mostly with the balling side, he's... Uh, he hits that hard length, doesn't he? And he doesn't, he's not struggling for pace. Wants into the pad, so he starts this one more off. Still gets that movement back in to the left-hander. Straps the pads. So that's going to be another extra this time in forms of a leg bite. Now he's got the opportunity to go at the right-hander. We will feel a little bit more at home. Hyder Ali, see if you can get the radar right straight away. Loving these tops, though. Do you like these tops? Because the first time you're, you're seeing... Uh, the likes of Jew Marta in their purple, but uh, your nephs in their blue look pretty nice as well. Yeah, well, there's, uh, there's one thing I do want to say about the uh, about the kits of Jim Marta in a second. Oh, this is a lovely looking shot. Just gets away and oh, hello. Oh, I thought you know what? I thought that Shabalam had just done enough there. Got a boot on it, kicked it up, and then was able to flick it back in play. But he doesn't. As uh, yeah, that's a, that's Raj Shakara who gets away. Watch this. Yeah, he picks it up, but I thought he flicked it back into the field of play, but he doesn't. And he gets, uh, gets a four for his troubles. But what I want to say, though, it's very similar to a couple that we've seen already. Lisbon Capitals mm -hmm. in Portugal, for example. Of course, it's very reminiscent of the Scotland uh, of, the, of the Scotland national team's kit as well. But yeah, I've seen it. I feel like I've seen it before. A little bit more pace in this one. And uh, a little bit shorter. Moves away. A bit quicker as well. It goes for the similar shot. But uh, not going to get anything from for it is uh, Roger Scarra this time. Hyder then. He's only gone for five at the moment. But he's finding a way of, uh, of keeping it relatively quiet. Oh, this one clo could be close. 
Oh, I'll tell you what, Beg turns it down straight away, giving his leg buys. I'd be interested to see this one again, though. I mean, this one here looks if swinging back, impact outside for yeah. me. Might have gone on to clip the stumps, but yeah, it was swing the swing was late, but it was just too late. Yeah, very good bit of umpiring. Yeah, you said it, impact just outside. Probably could have come back and taken leg stick because he's getting enough movement. But uh, a good way to finish, just seven off the first. 169 matches now since that goal on the ball. Are we going to get one here in Romania? Are we just going to have to continue with this when we go to Hungary? Remember, folks, it's finals day here today, but tomorrow will be the start of the internationals here, the European Cricket International Series. And uh, we welcome, as well as the host Romania, the likes of Croatia and also Slovenia. Oh, clips this away, and I think he does well to get a bit of bat on this because I think this is full. If he misses it and hits the hits the pad, they would have been going for that LB, you know, because I don't think it was missing. But it is a full toss from Ricky Gill, and he gets put away. So Roger Shigara is the man who's uh, scoring runs at the moment for his side. Ball yeah, he's, to him. he certainly is, and yeah, you can see he's, he's liking the look of this bowling from from Gill, isn't he? This uh, early signs is. Yeah, it's, uh, I haven't seen Ricky Gill with the ball a lot in the last day or two, but yeah, he's. Uh, well, this one's down the leg side. So going to have to have to bowl it again. Uh, this is a good opportunity. You were talking about the internationals. Two Those are the, of the, the top squads teams for in the, uh, Romania for the going that are head coming up. To head. These two teams. Sem in that Romania squad, there's two Fernando brothers in there, of course. But yeah, Croatia, they've got an improved squad that we saw in the, the, what we score in the uh, in the international T20s last week. Slovenia, a bit of the unknown, but yeah, looking forward to seeing all of them. That is a peach, by the way. That's beating the outside, uh, outside off stump. Yeah, what a comeback that is after bowling the couple down the leg side. He gets this one right on the money on that off stump corridor, and he beats uh, the man. But well, we saw him. Played some nice shots, but they couldn't do anything about this one. None. Roger Scarra. And now he gets his stumps knocked over as he goes across the line to a similar delivery. And uh, Ricky Gill does it again. Gets the wicket. Well, he played some uh, good performances yesterday. You may have got player of the match in one of those. Well, here he is again, right on the money. Gets a breakthrough and gets an under. Roger Shakira, the only man so far that scored any runs for Jamata. Yeah, it's a good one to get, and they get him early. As uh, I mentioned, didn't I? I said, Jamata, they need to get some wickets early on. And they've got one here. It's going to be 12 for one, and yeah, they remove the dangerous Anand Raj Shakara. Yeah, good delivery, good areas. Like I said, started a bit wayward down the leg side, but didn't he bring it back good? And uh, hello to Prakash Mishra. He's saying a very good morning to Bulgaria. Hello, Prakash. Has it stopped raining there yet? Is what we want to know. <laughs> Rob Lever also is in the chat. Rob, he said he reckons Jamata are going to win this. And, of course, we've got Dave on there and Rob Thompson and Krum as well. Good morning to everyone and welcome to Finals Day here in Romania. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Romania. And, uh, yeah, we're glad to see that the sun's out. I mean, I tell you what, Rico, when we say there's no cloud in the sky, there is no cloud whatsoever. And at the moment, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's a day you would say it's almost a day for batting here, really. I mean, no sort of no, no clouds in the sky. The ball doesn't look as if it's moving too much. But here is a Kamara, aka Fernando. He just pushes into the onside. That'll be a single off the mark straight away. He takes a bit of a tumble for his troubles as well. Yeah, you, you have the feeling that the fielder, if he did pick this up straight away, would have had a shot. Oh, hang on. Has he, has he broken? Has he broken a, a pad here? Has he broken the strap? Or is it just falling off? No, no, it's fine. Or, or is it? Hang on a second. No, yeah, he's okay. Just testing it. Right there, he's doing the moonwalk now. Well, that's a little bit off the moonwalk. That's uh, Fernanda. Goes back to his mark. Okay, to the left hander. Short, not the best of deliveries. And if it gets past the fielder, it's going to be a test. He may have got a little hand of that just to slow it down. In comes the throw, and it's going to be close. They're going to have a look at these upstairs, you know. This is going to be closer than what you think. Let's have a look at this one, because, you know, I think Rico's right. I think this is going to be a little bit closer for comfort. Uh, maybe not. I think he's made his ground. Yeah, he has. Yeah, it does well, and really. he's uh, pretty quick, like a whippet. And the two Fernandos back together. 
because Very close that one. 15 for one to Dylan Fernando. Opens his account finally. Had to wait. Made a wall. To just pushes and goes. One thing that these two will do very well is they do run very well together. So end of the over. Didn't start well, but he does finish it well. And uh, it's a good start from UNEF so far. That one goes for nine, but they get the wicket. Uh, it was a good wicket to get. So 15 becomes 16. 16 for one at the end of two overs. Give you a chance to see how these teams finish. Of course, this is the battle of the team Jamata that finished second against UNEF that finished third. And credit to both these two teams because playing in their very first European cricket series and both have made it through to finals day. And... Uh, UNEFs get into 16 points as a Jamata includes a great performance from them. And of course, the next semi final, semi final number two between the winners of the group stage is Kluge taking on the team that finished fourth, the Gladiators. Here's uh, Raman then, and he's going to start with a delivery that possibly could have gone over the, the, the stumps there, but deemed not to have been. and. Yeah, it's just, just slightly down the leg side, but it's slow, slow start, in fairness, in, in reality, for, for Jarta here. And yeah, they haven't really been able to, to get deliveries away, and ones that they've hit pretty well have been stopped. So, see, this one just whipped away, and hustling hard, the fielders, as well as the batters. They'll take two again, good running between these two. Quick between the wickets, they've got a very good understanding as well. Oh dear, Prakash saying it's still raining, by the way. I, I thought it would be uh, thought it'd be done, but it's actually still raining. That's a shame. It's a real shame. It's really strange. I know Prakash was telling me that the weather in Bulgaria this year is the strangest that he's known it in about the 20 odd years he's been there. This is straight to the fielder. If he could have picked this, picked this up first time, it would have been pretty close. But uh, the batters go going on impact. And I think they're just feeling here that if they're not getting the boundaries, they've got to run and run hard. They've uh, doubled up a few times, keeping the, the rate at uh, just under under 13 at the moment, again around 12 and a half. So Rahman gets ready to come in again, making a slight change in the field to the right-hander. Welcome back. So just having a few issues here. Sorry, we went uh, went quiet there, but yeah, that was a close one. What are you thinking? I I well, I don't know. I thought maybe there was a little bit of bat on that, you know. And well, they're giving opportunities here. The opportunities are there, but they're not uh, not going the way of UNEFs at the moment. Well, what do you think? That was really close, wasn't it? I think it was close. I mean. I saw it first time in Charlie. We were both Charlie was saying pad. I was thinking I thought there was a bit of bat. I'm still saying uh, I'm still saying that it's going to be uh, going to be pad. But anyway, he survives. He does survive. This one gets played away. So they're trying to hustle. Trying to hustle. Unifs at the moment. Probably. I mean, you got to say they are the go into the day. Probably the underdogs big time. But they surprise everybody all the way back in the start of day one when they picked up that amazing victory in the very first match against the Bucharest Gladiators. So they were always going to be in contention. And here they are. Sorry, trying to turn this into the onside. That will be a wide, though, as it goes down the leg side. That's a shame, isn't it? Just needed to finish the over off there. 
was only five of it up until then. Yeah, it's been been tidy in all fairness. It's only really been the wise that have uh, that have troubled the the scorers in fairness. So they take on a quick single, just turn into the onside. Good running though, good confident running. They need all the runs they can get because they're just a little bit behind the rate at the moment. It's 23 for just the loss of one wicket after the third. Yeah, I mean good pressure and uh, keeping the score down in that uh, power play. So not too much power in it from the batting side. You can look at like for like 36 to 23. In terms of boundaries, only two, and that was to Anand Rajachakara. And, uh, well, he hit two boundaries to get to eight, and he was out. But these two, they're running well, taking taking the odd chance as well. And the reason they're doing that is because they're not hitting those boundaries. But a moment ago, I told you the rate was about 12 and a half. It's now moves up to around 13. Need to get going. And, uh, which one of the bowlers will they go after? Let's set the ball now here. Looks like it's being taken by Adil Mohammed, who's uh, so far in this series bowled pretty well. Yeah, no, he has. And uh, he offers a little bit of variation, can chuck in a few darters there as well with a bit of leg spin. So he's a bit of a tricky customer to deal with. But yeah, you have a feeling that if it's uh, if he strays off his line of length, he's going to get punished here, especially up against two, uh, two good batters. Oh, he's come down, catches into that pad, but... Should be a simple leg by. I don't think there's any bad involved. Nope, signal is leg by. Yeah, he goes after this aggressively. A bit of an optimistic appeal, but nothing. If you don't ask, you don't get weaker. It's all I say. Yeah. Although at the same time, if it's not out, it's not out. Don't be silly. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes you get surprised, don't you? When then, uh, you get an appeal and it gets given. The field that's moving around. So don't mind this. He's putting quite a wide third man in and the man who was at backward point comes to normal point so he wants to keep this ball outside the off and well, that's perfect perfect fuel placing and the man who gets moved to that deep third man position gets to field it straight away so good bit of bowling bowling to his field at the moment is a deal Mohammed yep that's all you got to do isn't it it's uh Keep it nice and, and simple. It's a simple game. You don't need to overcomplicate it. That's what you often see a lot of players will do. They'll overcomplicate it and have too many things going through your head. It's a simple game if you can do it right. Again, I'll tell you what, direct hit. He's gone. gone. I think he's gone here. And uh, yeah, well, the initial reaction from the umpire, he was nodding his head, but I think he's going to go. And he's not even waiting. Here's uh, Dillon here. Watch this. It's uh, again, just running for the sake of running, really. And it's a good bit of fielding. Great work from Adil Mohamed, and it breaks up this little partnership that was building, and they don't let them get comfortable. And it is Dylan that goes, Dylan Fernando, and it's going to be 25 for two. Yeah, well you can you can see uh, Kumara there. He's diving in, thinking that the throw is going to go his hand. That is really well done by Adil Mohamed. I'm liking what he's doing. He's trying to keep himself composed. He's not getting overexcited. He's set in the field that he wants. And then that one there just picks up the ball, doesn't rush, does he? He knows he has time to compose himself. He gets into position, aims, fires, gets the wicket. It's a very well done. And it's another key wicket. The batters, I was saying that literally they were running for everything because they weren't getting the boundaries. And that pressure, the pressure of not hitting boundaries is a result that Dylan Fernando runs himself out for seven. And uh, UNF's here, they're up and about, you know, they're up and about seven of ten deliveries, Dylan Fernando. And now, though, comes a man that can change everything, Amir Ali. Yeah, it's, uh, they've got to get going, haven't they? Because it's now to 14 needed off an over. And at the moment, a big over would, of course, get them right back into the game with this. This is the thing when the total of it is around that, that 110, 115, which, of course, it is at 115. But... Yeah, it's, it's one big over that changed it, but at the moment it's 91 off 30, off 39, which, you know, it's not an easy easy task. That's too wide, and when offered width, he's going to punch you into the offside. But a good bit of fielding, that is, from uh, the fielder out there. Good work, just uh, keeps it down to one. Yes, great stop, is it, for the man in shades out there. All by himself, got no friends, but he's making friends for himself with a stop like that. Keeps it just to a one. So, I'm there, Ali. Gonna have a go, you know. He's gonna have a go. That's his style. Oh no, that is a gift. And you know what? We've seen this so many times 
A shocking no ball like that, which gets whacked for six. That's a seven up. That could just change everything at the well, the drop of a pin, couldn't it? This is a bad delivery. It gets absolutely walloped. Six runs and the no ball. That's a seven up. And all of a sudden, you can see they can start to throw away this great start. Well, the thing is, was as well, is that was the quicker one that he was trying to push in. But, yeah, it's clearly not worked for him at all. He's, he's found a way to to get punished, isn't he? Not the best of starts. No, you don't want to be bowling something like that to somebody like Amir Ali because he feels one out the middle of his bat. And he says, OK, I'm ready to go. Well, it is Peacock Friday. Deanna Oros is wearing her Peacock Friday shirt. I'm liking that. And I'm probably just jacking the ball because I did bash the old fence before it went over it as well. Went through it, actually. It was hit with so much force. Free hit. And he goes for it. Bully, bully, bully. There's another one that's out of here. And Amir Ali continuing in the kind of form that he's been off late. He starts with two big sixes. He was gifted one. And then he does punish the free hit. It was looking such a good over, wasn't it, from Adil Mohammed? And now all of a sudden, 13 have uh, just come off the last, well, 13 off the last ball, you can say, with that free hit. Can he finish well, though? Amir Ali has got Jamata up and running again. High up in the air. Huge moment in the match. Taken. And he goes. Amir Ali gets two big sixes before he goes. He didn't have to play this shot. And it is Yunus Jutt that holds on to the catch. Huge moment in the match. Amir Ali goes. He goes for 12 of free deliveries. He didn't want to wait. This one is the bounce, the extra bounce generated by the bowler. So Adil Mohammed, well, he started as the hero, became the villain, but he finishes in the role of the hero by picking up that wicket. What a huge one that is. 39 for three. Yeah, big moment in the game, isn't it? Because you just felt that uh, the over was getting away from them. Of course, the noble that went for seven due to, uh, due to the maximum off it. And then they pick up the wicket, so it only goes for, for 15 at the end of uh, end of four. Score is at 39 for three. And at the moment, pretty evenly poised, but another wicket could be uh, could be almost game set a match, you feel. Yeah, I mean, again, batting, they have plenty of it. Got Aran Mohammed that comes in now. You still have uh, Janeth Fernando. So batting they've got, but the thing is, the rate that they're coming into just keeps going up. I mean, okay. That, uh, those two big hits from Ali helped. It brings the rate back down to just under 13. But to batters, it's no good. I mean, at the moment, you've got uh, Kamara there. He's at uh, four of six. He needs to go better. They're going to go back to the bowling of Abdul Rahman. Bowled a pretty decent first over. Yeah, he went for seven, didn't he? Off his first, but... He's got to try and keep this down to a minimum. The thing that was crucial, he didn't concede a boundary off his first over. Can he try and replicate this here? Oh, well, no, because this time, this is what we've seen a lot of from Kumara. He puts his foot down and he plays that on the leg side. Sometimes it's risky. But look, this is a delightful shot. He knows what he wants to do. He gets the ball that he wants. That'll do him well. That'll get him up and running. Yeah, he plays it down to Kishore's corner. That's what we call it, because Kishore loves to scoop and... and sort of paddle scoop it over there every single shot so we, we rightly named it Kishore's Corner yeah that's a that was whilst you were away very Rick, appropriate I forgot name. to tell you also we had a bit of a uh, James and I actually yes they had a bit of a bit of a chat and it was an interesting I want to get your opinion on it I'll do it after this one it's a nice looking shot straight down the ground it will be stopped and it is Wakas that does the work of course, Rana. of course oh hello oh, that, oh yes no maybe no put the skates on it would have been close. It would have no way near a run there. Yeah, so James Ketzer came up with the idea and said, of course, we've got Derek, right? Yeah. Why don't we have Derek and a family? So wherever we go, yeah. we have a duck in each location and you have a name that's from that location. Okay, yeah. So, for example, rather than, oh, a little tickle. Oh, that's Cheeky from Mohammed. That's Adian Mohammed who's come in. First delivery that he faces. Oh, it's been given as... a. Uh, Given his leg by, so I think he's got a bit of tickle on this one. Maybe not. I thought that it looks if it was off the glove, but maybe not. Maybe it was off the pad potentially. But still, 
It's, uh, it's going to run away. Let's take a look. Slow this one. Yeah, just getting a bit of the pad there. Maybe not. Then. So, but still, not the best of deliveries from mine. Just going down the leg. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think that's a good idea. So we, so we basically have, you have a, a sort of resident duck. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So for example, you could have a. You'd still stick with the D with the uh, with the D sound. So, for example, here in Romania, you could go uh, Dorin, Dorin the duck. Yeah. Is uh, is a common name in Romania. Or if you know if you're in Spain, you could go David. David. Yeah. Or Diego. Yeah. Oh, Di I like Diego. Yeah. James came up with that. He was quite like proud of that Diego. one. Diego yeah. in Spain. So, so I think I think it'd be quite nice because then you could have a little family, yeah. little family of ducks around Europe, which would be quite cool. That's a nice delivery there from Roman as he does get this one in the right area and it uh, nips back as well. So of course we're off to Hungary in uh, in the next couple of days and uh, oh according to this. If I uh, look at what a common name is, one of the common names, you've got a Dorotia. Dorotia the duck. Dorotia. Okay. Dorotia. It's up to you, because obviously you're out there with Rad with Corey, so yeah. Yeah, you've got Dorotia, Dorotia. Which, is a, which is an idea. Shot, lofted over the infield, and this will be one, two bounces for, and it's a good-looking cricket shot this time. Just leans on it nicely. Des Mohammed at the moment, he probably holds the key, and it's the halfway stage, and it's getting there slowly, aren't they? 62 needed. It's 54 for three after five. Yeah, they just need it. All right. I know that wickets have gone. So Ali, he came out there and he made some big hits, but he does go early. Ariel Mohammed come out there and he's played some night shots as well. And that just helps them to stay with the rate. And, uh, well, they get them to the halfway point, 54 for the three. But they've still got work to do. Number of ways that you can stay in touch with that. As well, me, Dr. Full there with my doctor's jacket on and uh, Charlie Hunt as well. And it's always great to hear from you. Thank you for all of your support and your lovely comments. And, of course, we can't always reply back to you all. So we use this platform to say thank you. And, uh, well, keep those comments coming. What's the one thing we also said the other day as well? Don't call. Don't call us. Yeah. Please don't call us. That's what we're asking nicely. Pretty pleased with a the, with the cherry on top. Anyway, here's uh, the spinner, Mohammed, And this is turned away. And six. And he's got a lot on this one. But it's all wrist from... Uh, Chamacra Fernando, and he's got this one going. And look at this one, nice two full. And he just flick of the wrist right at the end. Gets that extra bit of power, and it goes all the way. Well, that's his strength. We've known that. We've seen that plenty of time from this very good, young, talented player. Kamara probably wasn't at his best in the field. I think a lot of that had to do with the court and bold opportunity that smashes into his wrist. But now, well, I think he's sucking up to some of the pain as he's playing some nice shots. So good work once again in the deep from the field, that's worked very well out there. But, uh, made some very good stops. Yeah, nicely done again. Yeah, that's Hyder, that's out there. He, remember, has still got that one over as well. That's going to be pretty key. At the moment now, both these batters just starting to open up. Oh, this is too full as he gets played away. The chase is on. The fielder to get there and does. Well done, nicely chased as Ricky Gill Keeps it to two, gets the throw in, and you can start to hear Joe Marta up and about. Finally, they're starting to make some noise. It's not the best of starts, but if these two can get going, Kumara now starting to open up. And uh, Aaron Mohamed has played some nice shots as well. They want to get this wicket. A deal. Can he be the man to do it? But not with that delivery. That's a Gundy ball as that gets blasted away. Manos arriba, 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 arbitro. Porque eso es seis carreras. Don't bowl there because it goes to Kishore Corner. And it's, uh, yeah, it's gone the distance. Sails over the boundary. And that's, again, this is the big over that they've been looking for at the moment because it's already 16 off it. They've got two deliveries remaining. Bit of fluids being taken on. Not too sure as to why that's happening now, but fair enough. But anyway, it's yeah, it's got to be uh, it's got to be a moment here. James is just walking past us. James, you'll be happy to know, by the way, Rico's on board with the idea of having a family of ducks around Europe. Yeah, I think and he liked yeah, he liked Diego. We like the resident. Yeah, we like Diego for Spain. Of course, we do. Hey, it's nice to hear that uh, Ramesh Thiessen is in on the chat, and, uh, the captain of United, of course, and he's saying that Jamakala is very good with those sweep shots. Yeah, he is. And hello to Daniela as well, Daniela. I hope you're well. Glad that you can join us today. It's another Gundy delivery. You can't be bowling there. Well, this is a shocking over. This is exactly what was required for Joe Marta. 
Yeah, the over goes magical with that flourish of the bat. That's the four that they needed. And yeah, it's gone for 20 now. And yeah, at the moment, it's uh, it's not the over that realistically Younes would have been wanting because now it's, uh, it's going to be just above 10s needed. And they can... Uh, they can say goodbye to keeping this over down to a minimum. Yeah, gone for 20 with the ball left. Yeah. Dil Mohammed, who's been pretty uh, Mr. Reliable for them. It's not coming off here. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, baby. That is what we're talking about. Sun, C, San, and sexy cricket. No, not so sexy for a deal. He bowls a full toss on the pegs. And just like that, Jumpkala plays that away. What a lovely shot. Time to get funky here at the Moara Vasia Cricket Ground. Yeah, the joys of T10. One over and it can change drastically because the over goes for 24. And, uh, well, that's 24 runs for, for Kamara or for Fernando, I should say. Because uh, he faced all of those deliveries, which is rather incredible. End of the sixth, 78 for three on the board. Now it's uh, looking a little bit more gettable as it's 38 needed off 24. Yeah, just how quickly, Charlie, the rate can change. It's uh, just went down from 12 something to just under the 10 now so they're in the driving seat this partnership got to get this wicket pretty quickly and is the man who bowls with a cap on his head that's going to come on Yunus Jutt yeah it's uh the one way I would describe it and there's only one word and it's got to be used is village I've got to say it's village but hey if it pays off then it'll be uh, it'll be telling me to, to be quiet this is just turn around well a direct hit it's a great dive I tell you what, I reckon he's got some air time on this one. Watch this. Let's get a replay of this one from uh, from one of the cameras here. Watch this. He gets a serious bit of air time. Look. <laughs> he's dived very early, but he gets home. It's a single. He just gets there, but hey, that's it. That's dangerous one. You don't really have to do that. I mean, I know at the moment he's batting well, get him on strike, but oh, Mohammed he can hit the ball pretty well as well. You don't want another shocking run out. And, uh, well, Jamkala Kumara, a.k.o. Fernando, is pretty lucky to get there. Now, got a ball outside the off to him. Better areas. And a good response from Yunus Jutt. Uh, hardly any pace on the ball, just floating it up there. So he's going to make the batters work for it, but he's got to keep it outside the off. Yeah, big time. That's what he's got to do. Uh, well, he doesn't, and they're going to come through. Well, he's lost his glasses. He's appealing in the process. They've come through for a leg by, no bad involved, but yeah, not going on to, well, deemed to not be going on to hit the stumps, of course. Just a single again, but it's been a pretty tidy over for the first half. First three balls have been pretty good. Uh, looks pretty uh, pretty calm, doesn't he, and composed, you just jump at the moment. Always, always. Oh, just snuck that one in, and yeah, that's a good place to keep it, isn't it? Because it's, it's tough to to get out there. If you get it full, and that's Yorker length, that's an almost impossible delivery to, to get away. John. Good over so far. And this one may have just caught the line. It does. He tries to do the same again. I don't mind that. He's uh, got a plan in his mind. He uh, thinks if I can sneak another one in, it just doesn't. So it'll be a while. I'll have to bowl it again. But so far, it's a, I think a gamble worth taking. This time, a little bit closer, chipped up in the air, just out of reach of the fielder, and it will go to the boundary. This is placed magnificently, perfect placement, pinpoint accuracy, you'd have to say, from Arya Mohammed. Doesn't try and hit it too hard, leans into it, gets it enough of it to get it wide from the fielder. And then the man out there, Bur Burnham Hyder, just can't get to it. Four runs. His partnership is proving to be crucial here for Shirmata in their quest for this uh, spot in the final and end of the over it's not listen considering the last one went for 24 to come back and just give six away there it keeps your team in it it takes that rate back up to just over 10 hey folks this is the second semi-final clues taking on the Bucharest gladiators and as I said before Charlie this is a repeat of last year's final yeah absolutely and uh well, I'll tell you what, a couple of uh, crucial players walk past us. Give us a smile and a wave. Tarajit Singh looking as uh, relaxed as ever. Didn't look very concerned about they, it. Being. They're looking very relaxed. We're here. I mean, they were sat at the top there playing the bongo and uh, having a good time in the sunshine early this morning. And, yeah, looking very relaxed. But now I think it's ready for them to start warming up because the serious work begins. That uh, That is going to be a fantastic battle coming up in half an hour's time. Semi-final number two, Kluge 
taking on the Bucharest Gladiators. What a match that's going to be. Back to the action here, and it's another funky shot from Kumara. The fielder gets there, gets the throw back in. You're going to have to hustle. And uh, once again, there's another dive from the batter. He believes that he's there. I don't we'll have a look at this again, I think, because he has to rush. I mean, let's watch the throw. In it comes in. Yeah, he gets there. He likes diving around, doesn't he, Kumara? And he believes that gets him home. But once again, just got to get this ball outside the off stump to him. I think uh, Yunus Chan showed you how to do it as Ricky Gill has been called back into the attack. I mean, they're holding back Hyder Ali. But I just get the feeling that sometimes holding him back too long could be the mistake. Maybe he should have bowled this one. Uh, they're, they're hoping that they can take it deep into the last. Well, this has just been chipped up over the head of Hyder Ali. And this will be one bounce for Good shot again from Fernando. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's moving along pretty nicely here, isn't he? Yeah, and the thing that he's done here because of the way that he's batting, he has pushed the man on the 45 on the boundary because he's playing those scoop shots. That means that they bought long on in. I don't think that's the, the right move, to be honest. And uh, the batter, Kumara, sees that straight away and he plays his shot over the man who was mid on. He has now moved back, so where's the change? No square leg. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Watch him drop one short now. Well, he tries to go for it. It's gone high. It, it is a chance. Is there a man there? No. He gets no way near it. I have to say, he didn't look as if he was uh, going to get anything on this. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a drop. And, well, he's going to be dropped on 40. That could end up being crucial. Yeah, and that was uh, Roman out there. And uh, had a long time to see it, but he couldn't see it into the hands. And a big opportunity, Ricky Gill dropping a little short. You can see that uh, Chamakala Kumara went for the square leg vacant area. And now he blasts this outside the off. It's over pitch and he's dealt with beautifully. Moves to 46 now. What an innings this has been from Chamakala. Yeah, and you can hear them now. They're loving life and they feel as if they're almost there. 19 needed off 14 and it's all down to this partnership at the moment, isn't it? 46 off 21, looking to bring up a half century but more importantly, looking to guide his side into that final later on today. Yeah, here comes Ricky Gill once more. Better delivery, but beautifully played. Fielder has to get down and does. They'll take the single. But I've got to say it, I just think that this probably should have been the over, that the man who probably will bowl the next Hyder Rally needed to bowl because if he got a good one in here, he would have kept them in the game. But uh, now going to have to do it the hard way. It's going to have to be the perfect over. But even then, you'd still say Jamata will stay in the driving seat. In comes Gill once more to bowl the last of this one. And he finishes with a dot. So it's a good finish. He's felt 22 come from it. 98 for three. And that means that 18 will be required of 12 deliveries. Yep, 98 for three after eight overs then. And it's, yeah, it's the question of whether you go for him now or do you try and hope that you can hold him out for that last, but it looks as if they're almost saying, well, do you know what? If we don't bowl him now, we're probably not going to get to the last. Yeah. Pavel yeah. Florin's walking around looking as if he's going to bowl, but he, he passes the ball back to, to Hyder Ali. And uh, Pavel, by the way, first time I've met him in person is, uh, was this was yesterday, was the other day. Gentle giant. Yeah, he's a gentle lovely giant. guy, Pavel. And, and he's, listen, Pavel has done so much for cricket in Romania. Remember, I think he's uh, he's responsible for getting so many many natives into the sport and big he continues fun. to do that job so you know big shout out to Pavel Florin yeah no absolutely I mean the, the, the fact is as well is that you know I spoke to him a little bit earlier today and he was I was sort of like oh good luck for today and he went I don't need doesn't matter it doesn't want no issue about luck it's cricket we're gonna see what happens we'll play our best and if we win we win if we don't such is life yeah it's a great, it's a great outlook on the game, isn't it? Because if everyone else was that relaxed, it, <laughs> everyone's blood pressure would probably be a, a lot easier. He's, his, he's an energy of positiveness. If he sees you not smiling, he's the first to come up to you and say, "Hey, smile! Come on, smile!" Okay, then Hyder Ali went for just five off his first over. If he can replicate that here, it will come down to the last, and it'll be an interesting encounter. As uh, in terms of bowlers, they've, uh, I mean. The only man who's bowled at the moment is Yunus Jupp, who's uh, got an over left. So this one is just pushed and should just be one. They're going to think of two. They don't take it on, rightfully so. Just one. Good fielding from Ricky Gill. This is the thing. If it goes into this last, who bowls it? 
Yeah, this this is what the question is going to be. Pavel? Who does bowl it? I mean, <laughs> you could, yeah. I mean, a deal. He's bowled himself out. I mean, maybe there's no reason why you wouldn't go to Yunus Chuck, keep the pace of it, but he's got to have the runs to bowl to it. Here comes Hyder once more. And that it gets whipped away, and I think he's going to go all the way. It does indeed. Manos Arriba from the El Bitro. Just gets it slightly wrong, doesn't he, Ali? And it's been whipped over cow corner by Arun Mohamed. What a powerful shot this is. And uh, if you don't get the length right, you get put away. Huge, huge shot. Because it comes up against the, the main bowler, Haider Ali. Yeah. 11 required of 10 balls. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's they can do it in singles now, can't they? Mohamed on strike yet again. Dot ball. Dot balls and, uh, well, we can, what do you say dot balls are? Dot balls are gold dust, Charlie. Gold dust. Swings and misses. Doesn't get his feet moving, does he? He's, he's uh, staying on that leg stick guard. It doesn't come across. And Haider, when he's going to be getting that swing to go across you, you've got to move. You've got to move to the ball. And if he does, he's got the opportunity to try and get it over cover and into the gap presented there between the two fielders. And this one is going to be a good stop because it's flying pretty quickly. One hand stop by the man at third. That was important. It was crucial. OK, now this is key because it's uh, now Chumkala Kumara back on strike. He's on 48 as well. And... Uh, a boundary here would really just uh, will be final now yeah, in the coffin. Would, it kind would just of, kill it, it off, wouldn't it? Yeah, you feel that uh, you've got to try and break this partnership. Dot balls are great, but if you have two of these go, these two going into the last, you've struggled. 48 then. Oh, he's turned inside out. He really has been. And they're just going to only get one, though. So a bit of a win for for uh, for Yunus there. But again, listen, the joys of cricket, you take it into the last, anything can happen. Anything can happen. You're absolutely right. Somebody from UNEFs can be the hero. The nerves will play a part in it as well. You can see Jamata. Some of them can't watch. They're walking up and down. Some are sat. Some are walking. And uh, the superstitious ones are saying, stay there. You can't move from there because you'll be responsible. Anyway, Haider, can he finish well? Or will Aaron Mohammed finish with a bang? And it's not a good delivery up here wide. Uh, that's uh, disappointing. Can't afford to be offering easy free runs. And that's exactly what he's done there. And uh, with that wide, you'd pr I'd probably turn around and say, I reckon that's the hope's gone. I think eight off seven, get a run here, and become seven off six. I, I can't see any. I can't see it being defended. But in all fairness, some, we've, uh, we've seen crazy things happen, though. It is going to be a dot, though. And it's a good comeback. And Hyder Ali, he does eventually go. He goes for ten off the uh, penultimate over. And, well, that ninth over could be crucial, and it will be a hundred and eight for three then. All coming down to last eight runs needed off six, Rico. Eight off six, but the question is, who is going to bowl it? That's the big question, and I think they are going to go to Eunice Judd, so there's going to be no pace on it. And I'll say this, Eunice Judd, if he can get the ball outside the off stick, so stay away from the pads from the young man, because he will be looking to whip this away. And you can see there, his first over went for just six runs. But that's the key. Jumpkala Kumara will try. If he gets the length, he gets the line, he'll be trying to either hit it or behind square to the boundary, or he also will try and play that uh, scoop shot of his that he's played really well. It's all about the length. Just have a look at this field here. So they've got protection for the scoop shot. Long on his back. And, uh, now that's not where to bowl. The field has got some work to do, and he doesn't do it. He lets the team down, the Shabam Alam, he needed to slide in to make the stop, but I have to say, it's not the best of bowling as well. The 50 comes up for Tomokna Kumara. Yeah, he'll be pleased by that, but of course, the bigger moment is getting the winning runs and book his team place in the final. Four now of five balls. Yeah, and uh, it's just a matter of, of time, really. They can do it in singles here. Don't really need to have any, any sort of uh, rush of blood or... Don't need to panic. I think and as long as no one presses the panic button, you'll be okay. Yeah, the squeeze has been put on now. Most of the fielders on the offside are in. Short. Oh. Edged away, and that probably will seal it. It will. It goes all the way to the boundary. And Giamata have booked their place in the final. A team on debut on this European cricket series. They have gone all the way. And uh, they get taken into the last over, but they do it 
with four balls to go. Congratulations to Jumata and also to Chumkla Kumara on his half century. They booked their place in that final. Yeah, absolutely. And credit to these two putting on a great partnership. It was uh, they were in a bit of sp a spot of bother at the at the time when Ariane Mohammed came in. But uh, yeah, they came in at 39 for three, but they were able to, you know, get this uh, partnership worth about 80 odd and get them over the line. And it is Yamata who will take that first spot then in uh, in the final later on today. And uh, yeah, mostly down to him though, isn't it? For uh, Chamaka Kamada, 57 not out off of 26 deliveries. That's, a, that's no small fate. There you can see there then, bronze final, Younes will uh, be participating. But the final will of course contain Giamatta, or who joined them? Well, that's coming up next. That's coming up in 20 minutes time. Kluge taking on the Bucharest Gladiators in a repeat of last year's final. Yeah, big shout out also to Younes. I mean, here they are putting an effort in in the field. I mean, the team in blue, well, they were electric blue a lot of the times, weren't they? But just little things maybe, just not going their way. I mean, it was a good start from Harder. He bowled really well. He's had a really good series. They certainly have entertained us. They were the dark horses. They were the underdogs. They battled hard, but they couldn't get past Jumata. Good bit of bowling there early on from Ricky Gill. They had the squeeze on their opposition, didn't they? Restricting them just to 23 off the power play at the halfway point. 54 for free, but you're right. It was that 77-run partnership between Champa Kumara, who uh, batted really well, and Arun Mohammed that got them that victory. And maybe that just one expensive over, really, from Adil uh, Mohammed. Remember, he was the man who was hit for two big sixes at the end of his first over, which went for 15. And uh, that was a key wicket, though, wasn't it? Because that was the one that got Ali, but unfortunately, they got Ali. But this was the man that they had to get the little, little magnificent... A player, he's been absolutely superb as Lee Chumkla. He's played lovely shots, he's been great with his bowling, and he's been great in the field as well. And he's turning on the star like good players do, Charlie, when it matters. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he held his nerve, didn't he? Because he could have uh, played a couple of rash shots trying to sort of get a move on, but he knew that he, all it took was one over, and that's what they got, didn't they? They had a couple of overs that, that went rather big, didn't they? I mean, looking back at the history of this game, there was a good few overs where he probably... The bowling choices would have been suspect. I mean, Adam Mohammed going for 24 in the sixth is where it kind of changed. And it's 6-2-2, two, two, six, four, four. That was where the game was was almost uh, lost, really, for me, for Younes. And, yeah, not having Hyder Ali bowl that uh, that over as well, that eighth over. Just applying the squeeze a little bit more changes the game. But that was it. It was an outside edge, but it doesn't matter because it runs in the book. And it will mean that Giamatta will go ahead and beat Younes here by seven wickets. This is what's coming up though, the second semi-final in at 24 minutes now. And you can see there that uh, Clues, little teaser, they're gonna bat first. So Taranjit Singh, early look at him alongside Tatwin Nati Gottler, of course. And well, do you know, that's the first time I think I've ever seen someone near enough 1,000 fantasy points. He's not far off it. He'll probably pick it up by the end of today, knowing him. But it's a big contest. It's a repeat of last year's final. And uh, yeah, certainly looking forward to that one, of course. And it's gonna be an exciting one. Let's take a look though at uh, at the uh, scorecards here and you can see they're all about one man and one man only Chamalka Kumara take a bow sir yeah I mean he batted superbly well and remember he did that under pressure as well he's uh, an injury to his hand when he was in the field which is why he probably wasn't at his best in the fielding department it has to be said but you know what he came good when it mattered did the young man batted beautifully played lovely shot and if you have a chance to look at uh, Look at his wagon wheel. You will see that he played shots to all part of the ground. But he needed that partnership. He needed that stability. And Aaron Mohammed provided it. Have a look at the bowling figures there. I mean, yeah, you said it. A deal, Mohammed. It was expensive, wasn't it? He went for 39. And it was, uh, well, he was attacked by Amir Ali, who hit him for two big sixes. There was that no ball as well that he bowled. And uh, after that, he seemed to lose lost the plot. Whether it was right to bring him back on to bowl straight away, well, could that have been the turning point? Because that second over went for 24. And then after that, really, there was no coming back because by then, all of those 24 by the hit what were hit by Chumbaka as well. He batted himself into form and he batted his team, Jamata, into the final. Well, they are there, but it's not the last we're going to see from of UNEF. I'm pleased about that because they're a team on debut on in this series, have the opportunity to go back with something they will be playing in that bronze final. Who they'll be playing up against? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Will we see a battle of big brother versus little brother? Will Cluj make it into the final against Giamata? Well, that certainly will make that a very exciting contest. And there'll be a few 
fireworks going off there as well. Or will Bucharest Gladiators book their place back in the final? They were the winners last year. Can they do it again this year? Well, that, Matt, coming up in around about 15 minutes' time. Join me and Charlie Hunt when we return in 15.
semi-final number two, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. Two of the top teams in Romania going head to head. These two teams gave us an absolute cracker of a final back last year in 2022, and it was the Bucharest Gladiators that were victorious over Cluj. Cluj, though, won it the year before, and they're looking to come back with a bang. One thing that Cluj have been able to do is beat the Gladiators in the group stages in this contest, but this is the one that counts. Let's join the two captains for the coin toss. Okay, Bucharest Gladiators to call. Tails is the call. It's heads. Okay, good luck, guys. All the very best. Vasu Saini calls it right. He's going to be having a bat first. No surprises there at all. Cluj, when they've won, they've won because they're batting. Why? Well, it helps when you've got someone like Taranjit Singh in the side. 394 runs in the series. Of course, he's one player that has scored a century here as well. He's going to be key. I think somebody like the wicketkeeper batter, Satwick Nigotla, is going to be pretty key in this one as well. And the captain himself, Vasu Sahini, has to hold the, the key as well with the bat. Because other than that, apart from him, the only other man that's probably made some contribution with the bat is uh, Sivi Kuma. With the bowling front, they're gifted with some talent. Rajith Pereira is the top wicket taker for them. A little bit of spin has been doing the job. But then he's got the swing master as well, hasn't he? Gaurav Mishra has bowled really well. And Athupathi gets the ball to cut away. So they're well-balanced um, side that are looking to get the win over the Gladiators. The Gladiators, though, they're a team that you can't count them out. They've been batting so well themselves. Tazib Hassan is incredible. He's back to scoring half centuries again. Remember, this player went through four matches where he scored two lots of 50, 55, 55, 70 and 92. He is in great form. Another man that can provide a lot of sport up for him up there as well is the reintroduction, of course, of Mohamed Moyes. He came back into the side yesterday, last year's MVP, and he was in the runs straight away. They're a talented side. They're going to go for this, they are. And uh, with the ball, a lot of talent there as well. But one man, their captain, Cosmin, just can't stop taking wickets at the moment. What a great match this is going to be. We're ready for it. Charlie is ready for it as well. Charlie, the news from the coin toss is that Cluj are going to have a bat first. Yeah, thank you very much, Rico. Interesting news that uh, we can see Cluj are going to bat first here. No real surprise. I mean, they've got probably arguably one of the uh, better batters on the circuit in Taranjeet Singh at the top of the order alongside Natty Gottlieb. So you've got to back yourselves in putting runs on the board, and that's what they're doing here. Take a look at the lineups here and the fantasy dashboard. And I tell you what, one thing I want to say, what a game for a man such as Imarsha Sanidu comes in for his first involvement in the tournament. And it's a semi-final for Cluj. Then we look at the expected scores, just two runs between them. And it's, uh, well, Supercomputers just pitching the Gladiators ahead of Cluj in what is set to be an exciting thriller here in uh, the uh, fan code european cricket series here in romania the second semi-final then of course we've got this game and uh, well then in between this and the bronze final there'll be a bit of an extended break as we set things up for those two uh, those two games but we're ready to get things underway here then and it is going to be it's going to be interesting for sure as this is uh, turned into the onside and we start with a dot ball of course and that's uh, katka opening the uh, the bowling for the Gladiators, of course, up against uh, the well-known Taran, Taranjit Singh. For, uh, for Cluj, good morning to everyone in the live chat. To Cricket Mania, who's joined us, good morning to you. Good, always ple a pleasure to see you. To Dave B as well. To Rob. That's rank down the leg side. He's got that one wrong, and that will be a wide to, to start. And Dave B says, happy Peacock Friday, finals Friday. Of course, hey, yeah, Rico's uh, sporting good. Looks like a good... Uh, Good Peacock Friday shirt, I have to say. I've got one out of the bag out of nowhere, which is, uh, hey, listen, better late than never is all I'm saying. But a good, uh, good to see everyone in the chat as well. It's a pleasure to have you alongside myself and Rico, of course. That's another wide. Yeah, big match up this, of course. We already know that uh, the first final will, uh, of course, involve the dangerous and ever-present Giamarta. Marta, of course, they will, uh, yeah, they're taking that spot already in that final. And, yeah, it means that Eunice, they'll be playing in that fi bronze final that starts at quarter past two. So about an hour later than what we normally would. And this one is uh, hit away through the covers. And uh, in classic Taranjeet Singh style, he's off the mark with a classy looking shot through that offside cover region. Pierces the infield. And on this uh, 
on this outfield. As soon as you get it through, it's going to run and run away. And that's exactly what it does. Good shot, four runs, and good time to welcome back Rico Full into the commentary box. Rico, this is, uh, this is a big opening partnership for Cluj. Yeah, it is. And, uh, these two have got to be pretty key in it. They've been in good form. And uh, it's a good comeback from the bowler, Kadak. Just uh, brings this one back to Turanjit, who plays it out well. And also, it's nice that the likes of Julian Dawson and Maya joining everybody on the chat as well. The chat has been bright and breezy this morning and did expect it to be on finals day. Yeah, absolutely. Bright and breezy like your Peacock Friday shirt, Rico. I like it. I'm a fan I'm of yours. I'm liking your number. So I know that uh, there was a, a lot of stitches that are coming on and uh, on uh, last Friday and telling me you forgot in Bulgaria. Mind you, you probably didn't have the weather for it. Up in the air, huge moment and taken. And that is the big wicket of Taranjit Singh. And it's the captain, Cosman, who makes no mistake. Look, as soon as this goes in the air, you can see Cosman, he's shaking at the knees. His hands are shaking. His knees are weak because he knows this is the big wicket. But his hands hold firm. He holds on to the delivery. And he gets the wicket of big Taranjit. Big moment in the match. Taranjit Singh goes, and he goes for four. Yeah, that's the massive wicket they were looking for, isn't it? And it was not an easy one to take. It had some airtime on it as it popped up off the uh, off the bat of Taranjit. And, uh, well, Taranjit Singh goes full circle, doesn't he? He was there right at the start, all the way back in 2019, and all the way here in 2023. Well, he goes cheaply for four. Great catch. By the way, Kasmin Zavoy, he's a cheap pickup on Fantasy if you're playing. 5.5 is all he costs, and he picked up 18 wickets. And the catch to the list as well, because he's uh, he's in fine, fine form. Is the skipper for yeah. the Gladiators, and a good start for the Gladiators here. Of course, they were the the victors in uh, in this matchup last year, of course. But uh, this time around, it's been a little bit more Cluj who have been on the positive side of things, but not a good start for Cluj. They lose their main man. Yeah, not a good start at all. Remember, Cluj did beat the Gladiators in the group stages, but uh, that is an amazing. Amazing start, getting Taranjit early. I remember Kluge winning by 20 runs when they met in the group stages. So if somebody else is going to get the runs, will it be the captain, Vasu Sahini? And just like that, as he's about to have a bowl, I think there seems to be some movement behind the bowler's arm where the side screen is. What's that? You went out of the peak. I can't, I can't see. I can't, the cable's not on. I'll tell you what, I'll take my cable off and have a look who's Go on up then. there. You can have a gander. You can have a little gander as to what's going on. Investigate ECI Rico. What's going on then? He's, he's going to come back. Very brief. That was very quickly. Uh, okay, there was a team. A team moving along as they settle in to, to have a watch. I think he's telling me that uh, Giamata were, were just uh, coming across. and Well, they're just trying to get to the stand and have a watch and get the best view of, uh, of the action. That's a full toss and he's going to get punished. It's not convincing from Zaini. It still runs though as it flies off the outside edge of the willow. And uh, yeah, that'll be four and a welcome boundary. Yeah, it doesn't come out the hand right, does it? From Cuddock. Goes for pace, but it sort of slides out of his hands and uh, well, Zaini, yeah, it may not be where he wanted to go, but he hits it hard enough. He's going to get four runs. Yeah, that's the thing though with Clues. Clues very much like Kajimata in that respect, that uh, no matter what the situation is, the batters are going to come out and play their shots and be aggressive. And, uh, that's a better delivery, but beautifully played. That is top draw. It's a lovely shot, beautifully executed. Uh, this is the on-drive played to perfection. A lovely shot in the power play. Yeah, it really is. And this time more convincing than the other. And you can see there, look how big that wicket is of Taranjit Singh, a man who scores. Well, it's now 398 runs, of course, after that four. But he is out. And, uh, well, now they're going to be relying on those two. Natty Gotla alongside Saini. But uh, looking on the other side, the Gladiators, Savoy. Look at him. 18 wickets. What a man. Yeah, I mean, he's been, he's been top draw, hasn't he? Kadok, remember, he's going into double figures now as well. But Mick Conley, I still think... We haven't seen the best of him. And uh, one man that uh, doesn't feature on there, but probably because he hasn't played too much cricket, is uh, this guy who's coming on to bowl now, Mohamed Moyes. And, uh, what a good come back into the score he is for this side. Last year's MVP. Remember, he scored a half century in the final when they got that victory, over an eight-wicket victory over Cluj. He's a good, he's a good addition. 
He's, he's a pretty, he's a pretty handy one, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he will. And he's looking. I've got to say this. As he gets this one, we'll get played away. It will race over Cosman. It will go to the boundary, four runs. So Natty Gottler, he gets off the mark as well. Once again, a little bit edgy, but, you know, if it's there, swing and swing hard. Yeah, maybe fortune does favour the brave. Yeah, I was going to say that Moisey, he that looks a bit trimmer to me. Looks like he's uh, done a bit of work since we saw him in Kartama. Yeah, good to see him. Yeah, we'll often see him, though, trying to hide this delivery and the ball out on the outside, uh, outside off, almost touching that wide line. He'll swing it away, start on off and swing it out. But, yeah, we're we'll trying to hide it out there nine times out of ten. This time, though, it's played away, and uh, Natty Gottler, he'll uh, open the face this time, and it's uh, played down there purposefully. And he gets rewarded for it. Four runs again. A lovely shot. So Moyes holds this one back a little. Doesn't go so short. Doesn't give enough width to Natty Gottler to play a similar shot to one before. But Natty Gottler gets right on top of this, controls it, and plays it beautifully. That one is a top draw. What a lovely shot. The response needs to be something different, doesn't it? And this time he goes uh, straight up, and he's uh, he's got him all ends up. And Natty Gottler all just sort of says, "Yeah, that's a pretty good delivery. Fair enough. There's not really much he can uh, he can do with this." And we'll see it again here. But you can see there, look, they're having a bit of a chin wag. Moyes isn't uh, he's not scared to have a word with the batters and, and tell him what he thinks of the shot selection. But yeah, he had him all all ends up there. I don't know how that one misses, Charlie. That was such a good comeback for Moyes. Got a bit of purpose about him as he goes back to his mark. Up in the air, whips it around. There's no fielder out there. The fielders will chase. Should stop it between them. And they do. That's good work. Stronger together, as we say, on the European Cricket Network. Well done with the fielders. Yeah, good bit of work there. Not easy, in all fairness, to get down, and after, especially after that long chase. It's all a pretty fair distance out there. Yeah, just uh, trying to sort of paddle it onto the onside was uh, Natty Gottler. That big wicket of Taranjit Singh, I mean, he's probably thinking now, OK, well, I've got to, I've got to bowl my, my heart out here, isn't he? Because, of course, he'll be crucial in the uh, response and, and defending of whatever they set here. But uh, they bat pretty deep. They've got a lot of batting still to come, though, of Kluge. Last delivery then. And it's uh, lofted over the top. And this will uh, plug a little bit. And it's not going to go. It does plug. Good work from Coley out there. He's uh, the man with a floppy hat on his head. And oh, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a big fan of the fielding he's just done. Keeps it down to... Just the uh, just the one, and it's uh, going to be at the end of the first. It's 25 for one after two. Great chase that is, and that's what we expect to see from these uh, both these two teams. They're going to battle, and it is going to be a battle, isn't it? The two teams that have dominated cricket here in Romania, going head to head in semi-final number two, and uh, that over for Moyes, game for 11. 25 for one. So once again, we've said this before in terms of the score, pretty healthy. They have lost the wicket of Taran, but any one of these two batters can get going and, and make up for that loss. They've done it before. They can do it again. Kadok to finish off. And, uh, a little bit outside the leg as he's coming over the wicket here to the batter. And see this one just uh, gets him on the thigh pad and... I think he feels that a little bit. That's the batter. So having a little walk around. Beautiful day here in Bucharest at this Moravasia cricket ground. What a location this is. What a what a ground. I know so many of you have fallen in love with it as you've watched it over the last fortnight, day in, day out. I must admit, I have as well. It is beautiful. Full outside the off. Doesn't get it past a few days. Overcommitted himself. And a direct hit, and that would have been the end of the captain, Vasu Sahini. He wants it. Nadi Gotler doesn't. He gets sent back. He would have been out. Yeah, it's a nervy start, this, in all fairness, from Cluj. I mean, probably losing uh, their opener in Tarrant was probably not part of the plan. But, yeah, they've got to just settle their nerves. This is what we saw in the chase from uh, in that first semi final. Keep your nerves, and you'll be okay. Or oh, a bit of dancing and. It doesn't pay off because it's a dot. And, uh, well, now he just looks a little bit silly. Yeah, he does. Because what he does do here is, uh, well, if he stayed standing firmly, he would have played the shot. But by moving around, he takes himself away from it and misses it. Yeah, it's uh, it does feel a bit of a nervy start. And of course, why is he saying he has his first two deliveries for, for, for boundaries? And, oh, well, that's well bowled. And 
Gets a bit of bat on it, then they'll come through. Good running, good confident running. Good bit of cricket this, I'm liking this. It's a quality stuff that you'd expect to see from both these two teams. A nice in-swinging Yorker gets dug out, but the batters, they have the vision to take the single. Really good delivery. Kadak, he's been there. He's been quite sprightly, hasn't he? Short up in the air, but he gets his away. It's going to be a long, hard chase. Andre, Andre, Iba, Iba, Iba. And well, he gets the perfect landing as he slides through, but he can't flick it back. It's a really, really good chase. And it's going to be four runs. And uh, nice to see that from the fielder. That's Sudan Pereira. But he just can't get there. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a boundary. It's a, a valuable one, but sign he's got every every delivery he's faced at the moment's gone for four. So uh, Kadka trying to finish out this again, tidy over. He's only gone for five. Yeah, that's uh, again someone behind the bowler's arm, and well, uh, they've got it's got to be sorted. Someone's out there at the moment, and uh, they've got to got to stop walking behind there. Even though it is quite elevated, it's still in the uh, in the vision of the batter. Zaini, good start from him, the captain. And uh, you'll feel that he misses out on this one, just loses his shape there as he needs to stand a bit more upright. That will be the end of the over. And uh, at the three over mark, Cluj again at 10 and over pace, 30 for one. Yeah, end of the power play then. And uh, yeah, 10s for Cluj. But again, you still feel that the big miss for them is Taranji. I mean, you look at that since he's gone. It's uh, the run rate's just been uh, tumbling, hasn't it? A little bit. They've gone for 14 off the first, then 11, but just five off that last. So uh, good spell from Kadka, 19 off it, but uh, picks up the wicket as well off his two overs. But at the moment, it's uh, yeah, Natty Gotler just biding his time. He's 12 off 10. Whereas saying he's 12 off four. He's gone four, 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 and then another four as well, just to finish it off. But yeah, 30 for none, 30 for one, of course. And uh, yeah, gonna get a, an early sighter at Mamik Kohli then. Goalie comes in and he starts with a good one. Look at this one nip away. Good delivery. He's got five wickets in the series. I think for a player of his stature, it's below par. Maybe he hasn't had all the luck go his way, but he's, uh, he's better than that. But as I always say, Charlie, big players perform when it matters. Yeah, and that's when you want them as well. That's when you would expect them to sort of stand up, and that's why they'll probably be a little bit disappointed with the fact that Taran has, uh, has not paid off in this uh this uh, semi-final, this is just pushed for one. Good fielding again. That's one thing that's impressed me about the Gladiators is their uh, their fielding's been pretty uh, pretty good and pretty. St the standards have been set pretty high by a lot of them. And uh, well, the standards were set by Cosmin as he took that catch early on in the first over, didn't he? Yeah, very good catch as well and a very important one. Okay then. What's the response going to be then here after he's just pushed? But at the moment they haven't really found a way of keeping Saini quiet. He's uh, Every ball he's hit has currently gone for four, so you need to find a way of uh, minimising the damage from Saini at the moment. Uh, oh, well, how does this not take this time? This is so unlucky from Mamit Kohli. He's expecting this. Look, he's ready to celebrate things. Yeah, I've got me wicket, and well, a big swing, an inside edge, a bit more luck from Vasu Saini. Well, sometimes you've got to make your own luck. Well, the captain is living a little lucky here at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And it's another boundary to his name. It's the it's the fourth one that he's uh, that he's faced now off of uh, five deliveries. So yeah, he's going pretty well, isn't he? And uh, well, this is the thing. A lot of uh, a lot of Cluj fans in the chat as well. But a good morning to everyone joining us in the chat. I hope you're all well and well, we appreciate all of your uh, all of your support and yeah, enjoying the cricket here at the moment. Big swing and a miss. He's trying to be aggressive. But doesn't get to the pitch of this one. Sasari Akal to Sarabjit Gaur, who, of course, is the the wife of Taranjit. And uh, she'll be supporting Cluj no matter what, despite uh, Taranjit 
getting out early just for four. But uh, she will know that uh, the likes of Nadi got La Sahini. And you also got the likes of uh, Siva Kuma to come out there. And Mishra as well. Any one of those can get the runs pretty quickly and help their side. So she's still going to be pretty confident. And uh, a bit of bat, I think, here to see what the umpire Andrew Bay gives. I don't think there'll be any signal. Yeah, he signals that there's bat, so could clearly hear it. Yeah, definitely, definitely very a, w a very woody sound, wasn't it, from uh, from Sayini? But yeah, at this moment in time, you'd, you'd probably say that Gladiators are, I'd argue, well on top at the moment. I think uh, that big wicket is so so crucial. I know we keep mentioning it, but this is a man who's. Uh, He's got the best strike rate in international T20 cricket of all time at the moment. And uh, he's, he's one of the highest run scorers here at the tournament, if not, if not the, this time just elegantly pushed down the ground for what should just be one and will be. Yeah, easily fielded by the man on the boundary to the left of us. That's Josh Akkoda, who's a man to get that wicket. And I think it was clever bowling from him as well. It was a brave delivery because he decided to go upstairs on Taranjit and uh, made him rush into the shot. Taran gets the top edge and Cosmin takes the all-important catch. So another over comes to an end and it's 37 for one. And uh, new bowler who will come on to bowl here will just try and keep the pressure on. It's going to be Wakas Ahmed, somebody who's uh, made some good uh, good appearances in this series already with bat and with ball. It's a bit of a character as well. We like characters on the European Cricket Network. There's a fair few of them, isn't there? <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, he's just one of one of many. But uh, yeah, even still, though, he's uh, even though he's a, he's a character, he's also talented. Well, I tell you what, it looks like that the outfield has had a nice trim this morning. I reckon that uh, Akers well, Ahmed had a bit of a nice shave and polish this morning as well. Well, it is finals day, and he comes for his first delivery, and he's going to be whipped away. Gear, gear, gear. Shaka lagia manos arriba, Bitro. Burguesa always says Carreras. Well, Satwick Nadi Gotla hasn't looked too comfortable out there, but there's nothing wrong with that shot. Yeah, don't bowl there because he will very happily and uh, will very happily whip you away. And you can see he's just looking a little bit more comfortable now. He's getting into his rhythm, sort of the tap of the gloves and looks around and, and approaches and he's got his rhythm going now. 20 off 14 for him. He's making it. Well, the change he's making here is actually bringing up Square leg into the circle, pushing back a wide, fine leg. Makes you think he's going to bowl a short delivery. Let's see. Hit well outside the off and four runs. Early movement from Nanny Gotler. And uh, Wakas wants to follow him. Big mistake. And uh, Nanny Gotler puts this one away. So back to back boundary. Six and four, Charlie. Hungry for more. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just thought you do just now feel that. Yeah, that Natty Gottlup is realistically, uh, he's in now, isn't he? He's seeing it a bit better. He struggled early on, but once again, similar to what we saw in the first game this morning, that give yourself a bit of time and well, eventually you'll be able to kick on and really go on and hopefully, if you're a clue, you make a big score. Well, this time he does go short, but it's leg side and there's no one out there. And I think it's just got over and it has. It will be a maximum. And he races into the 30s now. And this is the big over that they were wanting. And it's the good start that they were looking for as well. Yeah, when Eddie got that, and like you said, Charlie, he's, he's bid his time, hasn't he? He's waited. He's got frustrated with a couple. And now he decides that Rakas Ahmed is the one to go to. And uh, Wakas, he does fire the short ball in, but he's onto it like a laser beam. Sends it to the boundary. What a good over so far, this for Kluge. Goes up and over. Seis Carreras Mas. Shaba, Shaba, Ginna Sona. Nadi Gotla is taken. Wakas Army to the sword here, and he wants more. Yeah, and uh, he is in now, isn't he? It's pretty easy to, to say that now, but yeah, you called it the Sardi over that you felt that he was going to going to get a move on and that's exactly what he's doing well they're finding a bit of shade up there are uh, the on the side up there but in reality Ahmed's been taken to the cleaners gets whipped away wants a oh, bit of a misfield but I think they'll just keep it to one it's, uh, they won't be worried about trying to trying to go for a risky single there 23 it's a shame it's a real shame. You, you, everyone's going to know what I'm talking about in a minute. But <laughs> Isn't this very similar to the first match? Yeah, There was time. that one magical over that wasn't it from Adil Mohamed 
would seem to make all the difference in the match. And it could be the same here. 60 for one, a ball to go. And he's hit this beautifully. It's going to take some stopping. And the fielder does really well to come across. He does even better to keep his trousers on. It is the family show. In comes the throw. And it'd be 61 for one at the end of five. And uh, this semi-final number two between the two big guns of cricket in Romania. Very evenly poised. Hello to everybody. Great to have you with us. Yeah, absolutely. Charlie Hunt here alongside Rico Full, who's put his jacket on. He's hiding a good number under there. Yeah, yeah. I would, but I don't have one because it's uh, 30 degrees and I'm not putting myself through that, to be perfectly honest with you. But at the moment, this is looking uh, pretty evenly poised and what a good time it would be to see the skipper come on. And it looks as if he's going to be here. All the way through this is, we know, when Cosmin has come on, he's made things happen. I wonder if he'll do it again here. Just to keep you reminded of this, 87 matches to go for the European Cricket Championship. And that's happening at the Cardamo Oval. We just want to keep keep that in your diary. Write it down. 31 nations, one European champion. And uh, Netherlands, of course, are a team that you'll see in the final. And Netherlands, well, what an incredible victory they had against the West Indies the other day. Of course, Charlie was talking about somebody we know pretty well on the network. Vivian King might have a good one. Nice start from Cosmin. He's full straight. Got to get something on that. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So, Vasu Saini, who's sort of handed over the main striking now to Nadi Gotler. Nadi Gotler here, Charlie, I don't think he's going to hold back. I think he's going to go after him. He's in. He wants to go big, and that's what he's going to try and do. So, here we go. And swing and miss and nothing. Swings at this, and I don't think he's going to get the boundary. He doesn't. Doesn't really make a thing contact. Probably spools are wide there, to be fair. That's uh, that he got up at hands. A strike back to Vasi Sahini. So, two captains to go battle. Rocks back, hits it firmly, and he's going to get four runs. Really powerful hit. You can see. A good effort. Garfi Korsius could defield field in there. 30-yard circle a bit, but Joka Lug here. And, uh, that one goes past uh, Lahiri Dushanta like a flash. Yeah, good shot. Waits on it. And, uh, well, the thing is, you're up against the, the most dangerous bowler in the entire tournament in Zavoy at the moment. He's 18 wickets to himself, and he's had a good start this morning. He took that big wicket or the big ca catch off, uh, off Taranjit Singh, so he's going to be uh, up for the challenge. That's not very good, though. That's a wide. Yeah, thinks but about going for it, does uh, Sahini, but he thinks he might spoil it, so leaves it. What a story, though, it is for Savoy. It's a, you know, the thing about him is, is uh, I will mention this about Pavel Florin, but uh, Savoy as well, he just has put so much into cricket here in Romania, and this one just gets looped over the infielder. But picking up against, he is the leading wicket taker. He's got 18 scouts to his name. And he's bowled really well. Okay, occasionally he just loses his line because of what he's trying to do. He'll get the, the odd one that'll be a little bit short down the leg side, which good batters put away. But it's a tremendous story. It really is. And it's, it really is a, an icon for youngsters in Romania. So this one is a good delivery, good length. Won't get any runs. So what a good over. Comes in after an expensive one. And just goes for 8.69 for one. Yeah, that's, all, uh, that's what they're asking for from your skipper and uh, yeah he's done it well there he's done it well and down to a t and that's this is the story so far that big wicket of taranjit singh just four or four for him and uh yeah it was uh it was a little bit frustrating for him because he goes but at the moment it's uh yeah it's they've come back well haven't they saini's looked very comfortable as has uh, Natty Gottler. But they've got a lot of batting to come you know perry Alwa, yeah. capable mishra still capable i mean mishra will come in and hit a few seriously quick uh, flows of the yeah, bat. and of, of course, looking forward to see what Imash Sanidu has to offer as well. Isn't this so similar to semi-final number one? Even the scores, look, that over from Waka's Army went for 24. Adil Ahmed, Mohammed, sorry, went for 24. The very next over from Jat Yunus only went for six. This next over only goes, well, for six. It's really so similar to very similar... It is, and the one thing I want to mention, I haven't actually mentioned it since I've been here, Romanian cricket plays a bit of a 
bit of a uh, special place in my heart. They were part of the first tournament I ever commentated on back in in Valletta, uh, in Valletta in Malta. Met a lot of them there, and a lot of them were very welcoming and very complimentary, and I'm very, very blessed to have uh, to have met them all. And uh, well, this is a good shot, but straight to Moisey. Looks very good in the red and the red and red hats. I like it. Yeah. One thing I will say though, yeah. I'd like to see a, you know, it's good to see that a couple of teams are going away from the usual blue and red, because it's uh, we t I think we spoke about it in Bulgaria potentially. A lot of the teams will go with the blue red and, yeah. and uh, different variations of it. But I mean, these two sides going black and red and blue. So it's uh, well, they take it on and rightfully so. That's uh, a bit of a, a unfortunate misfield from Pereira. Then get there. Yeah, Moisey looks like a man with a purpose, doesn't it? And he's taking the opportunity to have a few personal shots taken there by Deanna Oros, who's uh, got her peacock outfit on as well. So that's good to see the team getting involved. This one will be four runs. Desperate effort from Cosmin. The captain dives to his right. Can't get there. And once again, hay poco de suerte ahí por el batador porque... It's a no el golpe que quieres, but it don't matter. It's four runs either way. Good old uh, Spanglish. Yeah, bit of Spanglish. <laughs> Good old Spanglish. <laughs> how long did you? How long you lived in Spain, Spain for now? Uh, a long time. <laughs> a long time. Bit of Spa it, it, The weirdest thing is when you go back after a bit of a break because you start talking all sorts, all sorts. Good delivery, well played, good running as well, really good back it up. Well, the worst one is when, is when you come here and, or to a different place and you start speaking Spanish and they look at you and go, what are you on about? Yeah. But have you really, because you, you're starting to travel a lot now, but i found that wherever I've been, so the likes of Rome, even recently the likes of Bulgaria, wherever it is, you speak a bit of Spanish, they understand you. They understand me Same talking Spanish more it? than English chance and just out of the reach of the outstretched fielder and the batters. They will come back for two. Yeah, no, it's, well, it's the same principles, all Latin, and they all get involved in somehow, don't they? That's the that's the thing. But uh, yeah, just uh, just one there. There's a sign. He just pushed it over. He's striking at over 200, though, is the skipper. And by the way, I just want to say I can't take credit for this number. This little uh, this number, I can't take credit for it. Why? I didn't pick it. Who picked it? That'd be my girlfriend. Uh, yeah. And she's texting me as well. She's saying, "Yeah, it was a good choice that one." It was a good. I look. I, I must admit, I did tune in now and again. I was busy over a couple of days. I put. I like you in I like you in the white shirt. Yeah. Look, yeah. I got to compliment you on your. Don't like you, my polos. I got to compliment. What's your girlfriend's name? Elisa. 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 If you're tuning in, I got to say you know exactly the right <laughs> the colours that uh, Charlie should be wearing. So you're doing a good job. Anyway, <laughs> this is what we got here today. Only four matches, and uh, we do know who won of the final attack, Jim Marta. We know. Which team, UNEF, that is, will be playing in that bronze final? Who will join them and where? That's what we're looking to find out. And uh, Cosmic will come back into the attack. 79 for one. So they need, they got that magical over, but they need to get the acceleration. There we go. Just like that, it gets updated. It's almost as if Elsa knows what she's doing, see? She's, uh, she's on it. On it today. Oh, pulled. And uh, not quite got all of it. Is that Savoy is going to continue? I want to face an over of, uh, of Cosman, you know. Do I want to face an over. I've got a game next week as well, by the way. Have you? Yeah, yeah, little little T20 evening uh, against the Vatican City. Oh, wow. Yeah. How did you get that sorted? Is that, is that at, That's uh, at La Manga? At La Manga. Yeah, so the Vatican so they're City, tour. are, they're touring yeah. Spain, yeah. So they're, do, they're playing in Alfas, Sevilla, Malaga. I don't know if they're up north at all, but, yep. So they're, uh, yeah, so we're playing against them in two T20s. So yeah, I'm going to dust the old pads off and... Well, I want updates. Okay. When do you play? Uh, Thursday night. Okay. Thursday night. So I'll, I'll let you know. I want updates. Yeah, I want maybe updates. I'll, maybe I'll try and get someone to film a couple of shots. And, uh, but if I get out, then I won't be sending <laughs> I it in I was going to say, <laughs> you're, you're, you're going, you're assuming you'll get a couple of shots. I feel confident. I feel confident. Listen, I'm going to recover you from had this a little weirdness. last weekend. Did you say you had a net? You had a bit of a uh, net? Yes, just before Bulgaria. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was all right. First net in a while. A little bit rusty, but it was fine. Listen, we've just got a new couple of players. And uh, a couple of little quickies, so it was a little, little tester. Goes for it, and he's going to get it. This is a really good shot. Loving the footwork from Laddie Gottler. Takes himself to 49. Look at this. Uno, dos y tres. Ay, ay, ay. Así me gusta. Que guay, que genial, que grande. Eso es seis carreras. He's got to go now, though, hasn't he? He's got to, both these batters have got to go. They've got wickets in hand. They've got to start throwing the bat. 
Got to find something over there. And he's gone for it again. Has he picked up the man? No, because it's flat and it's hard and it's gone all the way. And that will be his half century. And what a way to do so for Natty Gottler. And he raises the bat and there we go. Look, that's the celebration from him. But he knows that the work is not done yet. He's only he's got to keep kicking on, isn't he? Look at that wagon wheel, though. Not exactly uh, hoiking onto the leg side. Very impressive, isn't it? Some lovely shots. Took him time. He's time to get going. And then, well, he gets his 50 ball. But then, yeah, sadly, he got the new half century booty He ain't done yet. He'll be loving to bring up the 100 if he can in this over. That will be the plan. He goes again, slices his up. But he's going to get safe as Moyes makes the stop and then flicks it back to the fielder in the end to get the throw in quickly. They don't take another game for three. No, they're not. I think a wise decision made to, to not to take that on. You don't want to risk a wicket, not a cheat one like that, not when these two are batting so well. Remember one thing about Kluge. We've seen them do this many a time, Charlie. I know you haven't seen Kluge play, but they won't risk throwing the bat at everything to try and get to a bigger score. They will settle. If they can get to 120 and it's 120 for one and they keep batting like this, they'll settle for that because they believe the bowlers can do the job. Well, I tell you what, that is an outstanding hit. And I think James Cantor was somewhere near this because he walked past it. Well, James, I don't know if you saw that coming or not, but this is another blast. What a lovely shot this is. Shaba, Shaba, Kinna, Sona. And Zawi Nali Gotla is turning on the style. Three big sixes in that one. And he does take the score to 100. So just like we saw Yunef do. But the problem with Yunef was when they got to this score, they couldn't get the 15 or so that they wanted for over to get to the 130. And you got to say, that probably cost them that semi-final against Giamata. Kluge would not want to make the same mistake. Yeah, big time. And I just went to see if James caught that. He didn't because he it was, it went all the way up the hill. It went all the way up the hill, so we had to go chase it. So he's getting his money well. I don't think James would have had the attempt to catch it, do you reckon? No, probably not. I think he would don't have gone running up the hill. Yeah, he yeah turn around. <laughs> would have turned around, probably. Anyway, 100 up on the board then, as you mentioned, Rico. 101 for one. Natty Gottler, I mean, he was struggling, wasn't he? He was mo wasn't really... He was sort of chugging along at sort yeah. of slow snail's pace. But now, well, he's going over 200. Yeah, well, both these batters are doing just that. So that's why this partnership's been so good. Mamit Kohli comes back to try and quiet things up, and he won with a Gundy ball down the leg side. And this gets mullet by Vasu Sahini. He now is in the mood of hitting sixes. And not a good delivery, and gets punished. Yeah, that's a gets punished, but with an excellent cricket shot at that as well. It wasn't a slog, it was still played with a straight bat. Sahini closing down on what would be his own personal half century as well. Yeah, not this part, it's got to be close to 100, Charlie. I mean, what, the 107... I mean, Terranjit went pretty early. Yep, just, it is. Just gone it's over. past 100, 101 they put on now. What a partnership. Yeah, it's going well at the moment. And he's going to come in again. And yeah, well bowled. Just hides it outside the uh, outside the off there. Yeah, it's the area to bowl to say. I mean, he's very strong with his legs. He's good at anything that's over pitched out to the offside. But he hasn't played the cut shot very well, it has to be said. So good areas to bowl to him from Mamit Kohli. Yeah, big time. That's where it's got to be, though. After being uh, dispatched over over sort of square leg for a six, he's a yeah, good comeback here, isn't it? And uh, Rob Lieber saying he loves the name Natty Gottler as it rolls off the commentators. It is a good name. So is Saini, but it's, uh, oh. Saini's hit a beautiful shot into the offside. And understandably so, the Cluj gang are up on their feet applauding this one because he waits on it, plays it late, plays it under his nose, just runs it down to third man. Beautiful shot. Top draw, isn't it? Well, if you can't play the cut shot, well, why not just wait and play it late and play it like that? That is beautifully played, well executed, four runs. Yeah, it certainly is. And it's uh, it's getting getting good this total, isn't it? I mean, they're up to 111 now. One's all on the board. One, one, one for one. Sahini's on 41. Off 18. What an innings it really has been. Just quietly gone about his own business. But he's uh, he's hitting some beautiful shots. This one going across. could be close. Oh, dear. Well, this is interesting. I mean, I want to see first of all if Cody comes across. No the, signal. Uh, so I think he's saying he's got bat onto this. No, I haven't seen any signal from the umpire. Outside the stump. Now's the signal. So you're it's saying outside. outside. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah, right. Miles absolutely outside. outside. Absolutely right. Good delivery, though. It was just a, it was just deceiving as he stepped well across. So you thought it would have been uh, would have been closer in, but uh, yeah, even still, though, just a dot ball, which is uh, still crucial. Oh, well, out. He's done that a lot. I don't like it. Oh, Argy Bargy. 
<laughs> we saw that a couple of times yesterday. But uh, yeah, Natty Gottler, when he tries to get funky, he doesn't quite get it wrong. Watch this here. He clatters into the pads and then he says, get out of my way, get out of my way. I'm trying to get the ball. But well, within his right, Fazi Saini. Yeah, a bit like Rush Hour in Mumbai, that is. You've got <laughs> you to fight. Fight to get your way through. Fight to get on the bus or the train, whatever it is. And, uh, okay, a couple of de quiet deliveries there from... Coley, can he finish well though? Ball to go, 113. Looking for a boundary though. And he's gone high up in the air and he's going to get it because the captain, Gosmin, can't get to this. So four more runs, he gets the boundary to finish. I think they're just checking whether it's four or six actually. Just keep an eye on this. It could actually have gone all the way. I think it has, Rico. Oh, has it? No, I might have just bounced just before. Just before, was it on the rope? Oh, no, it's just a difficult before. one. Just Can't before. I want to have a look at yeah, four That's runs, four. I think, just bouncing there. You can see the, the white of the ball before the rope. So, cuatro carreras. And uh, healthy, isn't it? Because that takes the score to 117. There's six balls to go. And one man who had a hard time, Wakas Ahmed, is going to have to come back. There's a big applause there. I think they're saying it might have gone for six. It does. They've called it six, Charlie. Six runs, 119 for one. Hey, you, we need to get our eyes sorted, clearly. <laughs> because we're not seeing what everyone else is seeing. The only thing anyway. I'm thinking is maybe he hit the rope full on. But maybe, but I don't know. This guy got though. carted for 24, and he's yeah. coming to bowl the last over yeah, this against the same batters, can I say. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Here we go, then. As uh, That is the biggest wasp. But Rico, do not move. Oh, dear, that's huge. Well, so is the uh, the shot from uh, from Natty Gottler as uh, I was describing the wasp that was on your back. I don't even know if that was a wasp, but I tell you what, that's massive from Nadi Gottler, and he races onto the 70s now. Full toss from Ahmed, and he's gone for 30 off of just 1.1. Yeah, well, Ahmed tries to be clever and start with a slow delivery, but it's overcooked. Hit beautifully, time beautifully. Six runs, Nadi Gottler is going to go to town here. He goes again, hit hard, and it's well fielded. Great effort from the fielder, keeps it to one as well. That's it. That's a good bit of work there by Kadok. Now, Charlie, he's uh, got his gloves on. He's after the wasp. That was uh, that wasn't a wasp, Rico. That was about that was about two inches big. <laughs> so what are you calling it? A hornet. <laughs> a hornet. Okay, so there's some hornets about. Who's on your back, Rico? Okay, and I saved you. Here we go. I saved you from imminent death. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty or not for Sahini? This ball. Yes. We've got a bit of a delay here. Not sure. I think it's just checking just the field. Just You're saying yes? Oh, 100 percent. Looks. I reckon it's an outside edge. Okay. Let's see. No, 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 no. no 50. Boo. Just a single. That's he said, uh, did, I mean, at the moment, the way Nadi Gottlieb is hitting the ball, I suppose Vasa is saying, he's saying, well, you know what? Rather than me swinging and miss or trying to get my 50 and getting out of the boundary, I'd rather just get the single and say to Nadi, there you go, get us to, get us to as close to 140 as you can. Come on then. 127 on the board. Oh, this is going to be called a wide. So it's unfortunate it. because it's actually quite well bowled because he's trying to, he knows he's stepping well across, but it's really tough on the bowler because that's only missed by about, what, about an inch, maybe less? Yeah. We mm. often say, don't we, that if you see a batter moving around so much, the best reply is to go full and straight. Mm. That was almost the proof in the pudding, but he just goes down the leg side, has to bowl it again. One, two, eight on the board. Hits this well straight down, though, so it will be one. So still a chance for Saini to pick up this half century, but he probably won't, in fairness, as the skipper, he's uh, well, he's a very talented and uh, and an experienced player. Of course, players played a lot of cricket for his national side here. He knows that his personal milestone in the grand scheme of things doesn't mean squat because yeah. uh, he knows that he's got to get runs on the ball more than any other. And this is uh, dragged on side and they're just going to get one. So he will be left stranded. On, uh, on that 49, not out, but it's going to be 130 up on the board with a single delivery left, though. Yeah, and the uh, thing is, though, Charlie, we'll say this. I know it's a it's a big score in a semi-final, runs on the board and all that, but they haven't batted the Gladiators out of this contest. And uh, don't forget, you've got the likes of Tazib Hassan, who was back to scoring half centuries yesterday. Mohamed Moyes is there. Mamit Kohli as well. They've got plenty of batters high up in the air. Will it carry? Yes, it will. That's a really, really good catch. By a man who's been sensational in uh, out there. That's just as Kodak. The Romanian Duracell bunny. <laughs> the Duracell called it yesterday. Bunny. Did you call I it called it yesterday? yesterday. And uh, he's proved me right. Look at him. He's run in about 15 metres and taken a great catch. So Natty Gottler will go. 
and he'll be out on 72. And uh, well, 72 off of 34 is an outstanding innings from him. But it will mean that Cluj finish exactly on 130 for one. Saini not out on 49. And uh, yeah, well, there you go. You can see at the moment that it's uh, it's not going to be an easy chase. We'll take a look at the highlights then. Well, there's a the Jurassic Bunny. It was a good shot from Taranjit Singh opening up the uh, the batting, but it was the comeback that was of all comebacks. It's short, hocked up into the air, and it's our man Cosman underneath it. Yeah, very good catch. So just the angle of the left-hander and uh, the short ball. Just a little bit too spicy for Taranjit first thing in the morning, but you needed a good fight. You needed a good response for the likes of Satwick and Nadi Gotla and Basu Saini. Saini started well. Nadi Gotla, he was a little bit shaky to start off with, but he needed this over, didn't he? from uh, Waka's Ahmed, and that one went for 24, and just like that, Nadi Gotla was up and yep. running. He was up and running, wasn't he? Exactly that, as uh, yeah, he took the liking, a little bit of liking to Cosmin in his over, but it was the, the over from Waka's Ahmed in that middle uh, middle part of the of this innings, realistically, that went for 24 off that fifth over. That was the issue. Cosmin had to come on after and, uh, and try and keep it quiet, but he wasn't able to qu quite do so, because in his last over, he went for tw well, he went for 22, so they had, uh, had a fair few amount of runs in the last few overs. I mean, they had 22 in the uh, in the eighth, 18th in the ninth, and picking up 11 off the 10th. And of course, that wicket on the last delivery. There's a good catch there, wasn't it, to remove Nadi Gotler? So, but Kaluj, they finish on 130 for two off their 10, which will mean that. Uh, it's, they're being set, uh, they've set the Gladiators 131 runs for victory here. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be an easy scorecard to run down because look, only three batters being used. Taranjit Singh cheaply goes for four. And do you reckon Saini and Nadi Godel are probably going to turn around and say, it's an easy day out there. What are you doing? It's a, Yeah, you're going to say that it's an easy day. But I think, and I said this right at the beginning when Nadi Godel and Saini was going, these two are not going to be thinking we've got wickets in hand and going for big shots and Frank the wickets away because I think they know that if they can get to this 120-130 score which they do, they're able to defend that. They've done it before, they've shown it in the group stages. Can they do it again here? I mean, it's a big pressure situation. It's a semi-final. They've got the runs on the board. Bucharest Gladiators, as we have a look at their, their bowlers there, they've got to go out there and go big guns. I mean, apart from Wakazama, that one over that went for 24, you'd see the bowl pretty well. Cosmin, I mean, he's he wasn't able to pick up a wicket this time. He just drifted a few down the leg side. But that was basically when you, you had sort of Vasu Sahini going after Cosmin and you had Nadi Gotla that went after Wakas Ahmed. But they were able to do what uh, uh, NFs weren't able to do. And that's get a good finish. Got a good finish. Got the runs on the board. And really, they got a, they probably fancy themselves clues now to wrap things up and book their place in the final. Yeah, absolutely. 131 runs needed then here in the response. We'll be back in around about eight minutes or so to see that response. Gladiators, they've got it all to do here. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Romania with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside Rico Full, all on the European Cricket Network.
Hello and welcome back to the middle of this beautiful Moorava Sia cricket ground. And it's a perfect setting for this fan code European cricket series. And it's finals day, semi final number two. It's evenly poised. Clues have had a bat. And despite a failure from Taranjit Singh, the likes of Satwin Nadi Gotla, 72 of 34, getting out off the last ball of the innings. A good catch in the deep to remove him. But uh, Vasusani is captain also, 49 not out, helped Kluge get to this score. But I will say this, though they've done well and they've put runs on the board in a, a semi-final, I don't think they've batted the Bucharest Gladiators out of this game. They've got some key players themselves. Uh, don't forget uh, Tazib Hassan, 364 runs he scored in this series. Mamit Conley has been batting well. And uh, there's always Wakas Army that can hit the ball pretty big, but don't forget... They've also got Mohamed Moyes back in their side. And he had a good introduction the other day where he made a fine 44 versus Vanessa. They just get the feeling, there he is, the man we're talking about, that he's ready for action and he's got a point to prove here. And uh, he's going to make it as uncomfortable as he possibly can for clues. These two teams battled it out in the final last year. It was the Bucharest Gladiators that were victorious by eight wickets. Which one will go through to the final? Which one will have to settle for the bronze final? The action about to start. It's going to be Gaurav Mishra. He's going to be hoping that his swing will do the damage and he can swing his team into the final. They're just loosening himself up as he gets ready to bowl to Tazib Hassan. And Hassan is going to be fair to say, and he won't mind me saying, it's all or nothing from him. Just had a reach of Mishra as he plays this down the ground. Gets himself off the mark. Hands the strike over to Mohamed Moyes. Moyes playing a lot of his cricket now in the UK. I think he uh, plays in one of the, the leagues in Essex. Speaking of the UK, uh, I think myself and Charlie remember this well. It is National Cream Tea Day in the UK today. So... If you're in the UK and you're having a cream tea, let us know. I love a cream tea. This goes up in the air. Doesn't quite middle it, but a good shot to play in the power play. And four runs straight away from Mohamed Moyes. Uh, that's the start that he wants. Yeah, cream tea day. And uh, it encourages people to come together, enjoy a cream tea, and raise money for worthy courses. So if you're having a team cream tea event, let us know. Let us know what you're doing it for. We'll give you a went to you on here. As Mishra comes in again, this time it's wide and he's been absolutely clobbered. It's the wrong length and uh, if Moyes can get under it, he will. Uh, this is just there begging to be hit. He doesn't get any swing either, Mishra. And that's the other, other problem. He's far better getting the ball pitched up around about that off peg and getting the ball to come back in. At the moment, Moyes has made the perfect start. Two deliveries, two boundaries. As uh, you see, the captain, Basu Sahini, has a chat with the bowler and just moves the field around. I think what he said to, to Mishra is to go back to pitching it up. You've got the field set for it. He does go back to pitching it up. This has been hit very, very hard towards Azupafu, who makes a really good stop. This ball, not only is it hit hard, but it's bouncing around to lively. And it's a good stop from Azupafu. Well, that's better for Mishra. Just uh, taking a bit of pace of it, but he gets the swing. Hassan back on strike. And he hits this well, and it's another good stop. This time from Taranjit Singh, who is at long on. Taranjit was unable to capitalise with the bat, but uh, probably will get an opportunity to get in the action with his bowling. 11 of the first five balls. Last ball off the first over. And it's high up in the air. Gear, gear, gear. Shaka Lugia. Says Kuridas. 17 come off the first. And Moyes moves on to 15. Two fours and a six. And it's game on as we welcome Charlie Hunt back to our cube. Yeah, 17 for no loss after one for the Gladiators. Excellent start for them. Looks as if they uh, 
They're uh, having a bit of a conversation as who's going to come on and take this next over then because it's, uh, it's a big one because you're going to want to try and keep things down to minimum. Look as if uh, they're going to go for up the path who, who's going to take this on. 170 matches though now since the... Uh, since the last golden ball, well, Rico, you were there for that. I wasn't because I was on my day off, and you went, "Yeah, that's all right, Charlie. I'll take all the, I'll take all of the, uh, all the limelight. That's fine." I gave you two days. I gave you two days. Okay, I know you ruined two because of the rain. It wasn't my the, fault. The rain master. Anyway, I gave you, I gave you time. Did you come close? Uh, no, no. Mm. not really. No. So the closest we came was when we were together. Yeah. That first day, we had two matches, right? That went right down to the wire. Exactly. Absolutely. So. It's coming. You feel as if it's coming. Do yeah. you know? I had a tingle in that last game at one point. I had a little tingle. Just felt. Nothing, nothing. Now this guy gets the ball to do the opposite mystery. He gets it to to nip away. Starts off with one that's a little bit too full, and Moisey in trouble. Direct hit would have been interesting. Wants to get to the to the end where all the action is. Look, he commits, and then he has to get back, and he would have probably just perhaps. I've made it back. So, uh, Mohamed Moy's playing, I didn't tell me something new that he plays in his uh, cricket out in Essex at the moment. Yeah, he's played, that's where he's, uh, when I was talking to him, he was playing out there and then he'd just come back to come in for the last few days here. And uh, he, I was saying, he does look a lot trimmer. He's done a bit of work. I know, I remember seeing him in uh, Cardamom at the, and, uh, he said to me, he said, yeah, he said, after cards, I put some work in, and it shows. It does show. Okay. Well, if I'm not wrong, I think I've found the team that he's playing for. Okay. Done a bit of digging. I think it might be Brookworld CC. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. I'm going to have to double-check that one. But uh, well, I might, might have done a bit of digging there pretty early on, which is quite good. He said he's in Essex, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, I tell you what, this one could be going to Essex. He's absolutely launched into this. And a little bit too short, and he is onto it so quickly. How quickly he picks the length, and he says, OK, if you're going to bowl it in the arc, well, I am going to put it away. That's exactly what he does. Smashes it. Big hit. Uh, Moyes, 21 of just five deliveries. Yep, so confirmation it is Brookwell because they, uh, they play in Brentwood in Essex. Fun fact, that's where my dad's from. So, uh, yeah, they're... they're uh, a decent side in uh, playing in Southwield in in Brentwood. See, the more you know. He's looking good though here, isn't he? 21 off five at the moment. I mean, another sort of big over or two, and this game's going to be uh, going to be very largely ploys for the for the Gladiators to be successful here. Oh no! Well, it's not going to be for much longer because he tries to pull this into the onside, and it just stays a little bit skiddy from at the par two. And the fun comes to an end. It was an over of fun for Moyes, but he goes 21 off six. First over down, or it's the first wicket, I should say. It's 24 for one. Jagadeh Hante. Athu Pathu. Clever. Goes much wider. Changes the angle. Moyes doesn't pick it. Goes for the big shot. And as soon as he swings and misses this, he knows he's in trouble because he can hear the clatter of woodwork behind him as the stumps get destroyed. Just as you were saying, Charlie, they were looking to bat Cluj out of this early on with Moyes hitting big. But he goes. He goes after hitting 21 of just six deliveries. They get one of the danger batters as uh, Mamit Kohli comes out to join Tazib Hassan. Yeah, it's uh, the big wicket to get as well, isn't it? It was crucial for them to, to get that early breakthrough. By the way, that wind is really pushing that smell of food over here which has been dropped off our little care packages yeah it smells nice doesn't it? it smells really nice you had a quick sneak what you got i think it's a little bit of beef and uh or, or something like that i don't know what it what the meat is it smells lovely look once again a huge shout out okay. to the federation of cricket romania they've you been splendid hosts pork and their hospitality pork has steak been fantastically pork steak is what we've pork got steak? by the way okay that's uh, pork steak and some potato smells nice though doesn't it they smell nice Good news is, is we we can we can eat at peace with that little break that we get. We get an hour's break. Not too sure what the break in play is here though. I think they've only just found the the bale, which apparently flew all the way down to the boundary. <laughs> that was quite amazing, isn't it? That went a long, long way. And a round of applause on the man who finds the bale. Anyway, Azupathu has the ball back in his hands. We'll meet Conley 
He is the new batter that comes out. He's uh, made some good contributions in this series. He scored a 70. Scored a very fine 50 the other day as well. Can he continue in his good form? Oh, that's such a good delivery. What a great start from Matthew Party to the new batter. Doesn't make any mistakes. Right in the block hole. This is where you got to be. Matthew Party, so many times they've relied on him. What a good delivery right in the block. Okay, then. Good comeback, that delivery. It was a peach. Can he replicate it once more? Oh. No, he can't. That's, uh, that's a great delivery, even though it uh, doesn't come away. It goes angles in towards Coley. And, well, he says he's got a nick of hitting runs at the moment. He's struggling because he's faced two quality deliveries. Uh, that will be the end of the, uh, of the second. Scored 24 for one. Yeah, what a good over that was in the end after being hit. For a big six, he comes back and he bowls two beautiful deliveries there at Coley. That second one hits the seam and takes off. Very difficult to get anything onto it. And a chain. So not bowling out Mishra or uh, going with any spin yet. Vasu Sahini will come on and bowl this one. Maybe he's thinking that uh, Mishra was a little bit, which he was. He went for 70, but it was Moyes that went after him. So he's just holding Mishra back and the captain, Vasu Sahini, He's already had a good day. 49 not out with the bat. And looking to come into the attack here now. And they probably will bowl this one before they go to somebody like uh, the spin of Pereira. Let's wait and see. Well played. It's a good length delivery though as well from Sahini. This is going to be a very good contest now as uh, Sahini bowls to Mamit Kohli. Two men that uh, know each other very well from playing in the national team together. Yeah, they certainly do. Of course, uh, probably see, we'll definitely be seeing Tazeev. I have to double check if Cody's in that squad, but I think he is in for the ECIs later. Shot crunched over the offside. And, uh, well, this is 2 full, and uh, it's in the slot from Vazu Saini. And this will run away. And this is, uh, yeah, that's slot bowling in all fairness but you've got to hit it and he does it's two bounces four runs yeah it was a good shot wasn't it hand speed was good he got right underneath it and knows that once this goes over the infielders it's uh, safe and it will go to the boundary and it does so power play is so key remember this is the last over in the power play so whenever the opportunity presents itself they will go after Coley Usani I would say Coley's a man who's going after him and uh, tries to get it in the gap uh, it's fielding, then take the single. Just one. Uh, good comeback from Saini, but good cricket, get the boundary and then turn it over. Uh, what do you reckon, Taranjit Singh to bowl the fourth? Taranjit or probably, I would go probably more with Rajith Pereira. But uh, yeah, either one, either one you could go with. Taranjit probably, I think, after failing with that, will be more hungry. Bangs this one in, the batter. It's almost like a straight pull, gets it past. So he didn't even take the single. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'd go one over of just uh, just quick darted off spin from Taranji, try and slow it down and keep it down to a minimum. I mean, this isn't gone crazy. This over is only seven at the moment, but of course he's still got two deliveries left, and well, it could all change in the matter of a heartbeat. That's a good delivery again. He's not slow, is he, Saini? He's uh, he certainly is. He looks uh, looks like he's got a little bit quicker since I last saw him. Yeah, he's he's varied his pace well. First few times we've seen him, he hasn't bowled. Him. Any pace at all, it's held the ball back, bowled it nice and slow. But he is able to, when he wants to, bend his back. And uh, he's bowled a couple of good bounces as well. So this one, he just holds back slightly, gets this to move away. So another good over. We saw the over from Adipathu go for just seven. He picked up a wicket. And this one from the captain of Clue, Dwasasani, goes for seven as well. 31 for one. At the end of the power for like for like at the moment, at this point, is Kluge with 30 for one. Yeah, so just the one run different, and uh, yeah, just sort of says uh, and tells you all you need to know. It's very tight and close at the moment between these two. Well, it's not going to be Taranji, and I think it's going to be the, the man you were talking about. It uh, looks as if it is going to be Rajith Pereira who's going to come on then. So they hold Taran, and uh, well, do you know what I'm going to say why I got that wrong? First time I'm seeing Kluge in this tournament. That's yeah. why. That's why I got that it That is wrong. true, actually, yeah. yeah because both Kluge and uh, Jamata played most of their matches earlier before you got here. 
They certainly did. I didn't get to see them, and I was a little bit disappointed. But hey, good things come to those who wait. Sorgi Amata in a in a good win against uh, against Unes in the course of that first first semi final. Clues though, not quite over the line here, are they? I mean, 100 needed off 42 for the Gladiators. Not easy, but one or two big overs changed it. Good start for the left arm left arm spinner Pereira. Look at the keeper here. Nelly Gottler thinks the wicket is going to go. He's he's about to celebrate. Let's watch this. It's right on the money. Floats it up. Hassan wants it. And for a moment there, Nelly Gottler thought this was going to be pad onto stumps. In that area again. They want to take the single on. Nelly Gottler is good in these areas. But, Ooh, well, yeah. it's a wild throw. He didn't know which way to go. I think he looked and wanted to throw ease and he decided, nah, maybe he'll go the other end. Ends up being a wild throw. Well backed up. Yeah, well backed up and, well, the news at the moment is, by the way, that it's getting warmer and warmer. Currently sat at around, well, that's saying 26. Feels a bit warmer than that, I have to say. It's, tell you what, <laughs> it's getting hot next week, though. I think we're not here. It's up towards 35 next week. Oh, that's going to be a leg side wide. Tries to sort of goes nice and straight and spin it away from him, but doesn't quite pay off. Yeah, I think... Uh Maybe a good job we're not here, but Charlie, I think it's probably going to be around about the same temperatures. Actually, that's true. Shall I have a look Hungary? at that one? And I think, well, are you going back to you're going back to Spain, right? Yeah, back to Spain for it, a week. It is hot there at the moment as well. 33, I think, temperatures were yesterday. Okay, uh, but best is nice next week. Just sort of mid to mid to high 20s, nothing crazy. So there's a bit of rain at one point, but that'll probably change between now and then. And then if I look at if I look at home, what's what are we saying? What's, uh, what's that going to be saying? Oh, hang on a second. Well, this could be gone. Yes. And I tell you what, the uh, the batter in, in Tazib, he doesn't exactly look very confident. He's already making that walk. And Pereira, well, early signs that he's going to pick up his wicket here. Yeah, I mean, you haven't had a chance to overlook much at Neddy Gottler. He has been the pick of the keepers. Takes it and quick work. There's no, I mean, have a look at this. He's stranded. He's trying to get the bat down, but he's got no chance. And uh, soft dismissal because the man who we know to be smashing the ball all over the place is going to go without hitting a single boundary. It's going to be six runs to Hassan. He'll go ball number eight. That is a huge wicket. And you've got to feel here now with that wicket going down, Kluge hold the upper hand. Yeah, you'd probably have to agree is that's uh, Deshantha who's coming out then in at, uh, at number four. But big wicket to get in to see because he really can take the game away from you, but he doesn't this time. And uh, yeah, Clues just dragging themselves back into it. Big wicket goes. And it's 100. It's going to be uh, 34 for two. Yeah, Deshantha comes in to face Pereira. So Pereira done what he's done all the way through this series. Bowled well. Beaten batters with the flight, got them to commit, got them to come out, and got them, got them stranded. And Nadi Gottler does the rest. Another victim for Satwit Nadi Gottler, who don't forget had a superb knock as well. And he batted his team into a strong position. Oh, he said it's going to be called a wide, and it was going to be a minimal. As it goes all the way. Well, we're talking about Nadi Gottler. Not easy, these, Charlie. You would know about it being beyond a stump yourself. But he does drag him out. And if he was able to take this in his gloves, he had the chance. Yeah, you can just see there that he just comes up a little bit too quick. Does uh, Nadi Gottler gets a little bit excited at the leg side uh, take. But, yeah, it's a, that's going to be costly. I mean, DeSanta gets a life then on, on naught, And now he's going to go big into the onside. And that's going to be one bounce for... So it is costly because he turns around and hits uh, off his first legal delivery. He hits a boundary. Yeah, so that's basically nine runs of that ball because the last one was a minimum. with the five and this one is four runs. So just like that, those nine runs from nowhere. Just keep them in the match. And then he pegs him back, taking him on. And oh, direct hit. Does he slide the bat down? The umpire is going upstairs. Let's have a look at this. I suspect he, my initial impression is that he's home, but it's worth having a look at. Yeah, I mean, tell you what, that's a great bit of fielding from Pereira, you have to say. He's, uh, he didn't look like he was going to get anywhere near this, but yeah, so just fends this back. Watch this. Great flick into... Yeah, he's made his ground. He's home. Comfortably. Comfortably yeah. home, and he sort of... You can tell because he, uh, he looks pretty comfortable as he sort of makes his way back to the other end, and 
Yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be a dot then to finish, and it will be 43 for two after four. Yeah, and any of the youngsters that are tuning in, that is the way to run. I know a lot of kids are on their holidays at the moment, tuning into the cricket. So when you're running, run hard. Don't try to look where the ball is. Look at where you're going, and slide that bat in. And that's why it gets there comfortably. Do you know what? I'd love to know the demographic of those that are watching at the moment. I'd love to know what the percentage is. James is here. Mm -hmm. He's got... I reckon I can find out. You reckon? I reckon I can ask him. Okay. Will I? Probably not. Probably forget to do it. At the, at the moment, though. Here is Taranjeet Singh, then, coming in for this fifth over. Starts with a full wide delivery. And I'll tell you what. A bit of suspect running, potentially. They're looking a little bit nervy at the moment. But that's, uh, that's a dot to start. What bold? Yeah, Taranjeet just floats it up there. And this one is the one he darts. Oh, it's a dolly. It's a dolly of a drop from the man who's been put in the perfect position. Who is that? I get the feeling, just based on who normally feels there, that's Chandupa. Oh, well, what a chance goes down. And then the next one, as you would expect, gets hit to the boundary. Four runs. Well, yep. big moment as uh, we see all a drop. Jashanta gets a life. Yeah, that exact ball in the previous innings went for four as well. So you can see at the moment... They were 53 at this point were Cluj. And the Gladiators sat on 48. So not a lot separating them at the moment. But they had just, yeah, one bit, one big over is all they need. And well, he's not exactly read that whatsoever. And uh, well, I'm not too sure what DeSantis is asking for. I think he might be asking for a wide. <laughs> but when it goes over your stumps, you're uh, you're not exactly going to get it's much on it's offer. Hit, what's it, it's hit him, hasn't it? He can't have a wide of it. it hits I don't him. know what he's asking for, but he's complaining about something. Complaining about something, isn't he? Down the track and launch. Oh, oh that's big. Oh, that's going to be huge. Yeah, see you later. That's going to make its way all the way up to uh, the food court area. And that's going to be big. That's six. That's out of hit. Well, it's ordering a bit of biryani as we speak because this is into the food hut area. He, well, <laughs> something angered him and he comes down at Taranjit and he bangs that one. He makes it into a full toss. Big hit. Taran won't like it. Ball to go in his belt. Going for 10. And well, comes back with a spicy one and sneaks it in. It will be the end of the over. So it's still less than what they require. They're needing around about 14 and over here. Tarajit goes for 10. And let's have a look at some of the upcoming events. Yeah, well, you're going to be there in Hungary. You're looking forward to that first week. I know you're excited to be reunited with Corey as well. He'll be back on your airways for the first time in a while. And, yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting two weeks there. And then we've got uh, Netherlands and... Uh, with a tri-series out there, women's tri-series. But at the same time, we've got the Medina and Valletta Cups. That's, of course, the two cups running on the same weekend, on the same week as the uh, second week of the uh, ECS in Hungary. Yeah, and uh, Czech Republic to come, as well as a night series that starts in Portugal. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Corey in Hungary. And Corey will go to the Netherlands and you'll take his place. So we'll be reunited again. I w we will be. It, it's, it's been our little summer, isn't it? Here's Pereira and this is launched high in the sky. Chance and taken. Excellent grab this is from, uh, that's uh, Sivil Kumar Pedialwa who's out there. The wee man, as he's known around these parts. He takes the catch. And it's a good one to get as well because that's going to be, uh, that's Coley who goes and Pereira picks up his second. That's going to be 54 for three. Yeah, big wicket to get, isn't it? Because Mamit Conley is uh, another man who can be dangerous. But once again, it's about getting to the pitch of it. You know if you don't, Pereira, a little bit like Terranjit, gets a fair bit of bounce and you're not going to get the ball, the desired impact that you want. He doesn't, offers a chance and Siva Kuma. Takes a very good catch. He comes out. I think he just loses his footing but momentarily, but keeps his eye on the ball. Takes a catch. That means that's the end of Mumi Coley. And now, really, you're throwing a bit of a dice here as the next batter comes out. Wakazama. Now, this guy, he can, if he parties, well, he can go to town and he can run. He can score runs really, really quickly. But that's if. And the other thing is... I one thing I did notice, though, with him last time, when he did score, he scored 50 in just 14 deliveries, and he did it against spin. So they may change back to the seamers. Maybe Mishra and Athupathu may come back to just break the spin up. Let's see how he goes. Has a go. He's up in the air. It's a chance. Tomaji, will he take it? Is he in the hunt? No, he isn't. Just gets him over him. And like I said, this is what Ahmed does. He's there to attack, and he will attack the spin. 
Yep, he goes for it first ball, doesn't he? He's no waiting around. He says, yeah, don't worry, Rajith. I know exactly what you're about. I'm going to come here, and I'm going to hit you for a, for a sixth first up. What's the response going to be from, from Pereira? Because that's a, that's a bit of a damaging uh, blow to the ego. It's shorter, and this time over the infield, it's going to run away, and it'll be back-to-back -back boundaries then as it's at six and four, and it's hungry for more from Wakas Ahmed. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, yeah, he's hungry. Well, he's as hungry as the grizzly that went all the way down to the food hut earlier. Now, Waka says, yeah, I'm hungry for some more as well. Wasn't the best of deliveries this time from Pereira. I think he was expecting Ahmed to come out to it. Ahmed won't. He'll bat from deep in the crease. Goes for it again, and he's got enough on it, I think. Yes, he does. And it's going to be a big, big over this one. This is what they needed because that run rate was creeping up towards 16 and over. They're dragging it down because it's 6-4-6 six, six here. And Wakas Ahmed's come out and he's really taking the attack to Pereira. Yeah, we know all about it. This is what he will do. And I just get the feeling that uh, the captain, Vasisiani, will probably go back to other parts of Mishra while uh, Ahmed is out there because he handles spin really well. We saw him do this to Giamata when he took them to town, and that was when he scored that half century. So, still there. Pereira maybe needs to try and fire this one in. He does, does go for a slightly quicker yeah, delivery. A bit of a back of a length as well. Gets a bit of elevation on it once more. And well, Diana's sat here to our left. Diana, food, yes or no? Is it nice? Yeah, looks, uh, okay. looks like somebody's come off the old Barbie there. That's the, the, the pork you were looking at. I'm liking the look of the salad. At the moment, salads are are to go to, aren't they, in this heat? It will be a single to finish the over. And, uh, well, OK, the worst wicket of Mamit Conley from Pereira. And he, of course, took the wicket of Hassan as well. He's gone two for 30. I think uh, if you're the captain, you'll take that, bearing in mind the key men that he's got. But it keeps the contest alive. But even though that was an expensive over, it's still uh, 15 required from here on in. Yeah, one thing you mentioned as well is the fact that he likes spin. Well, guess what? Spin no more because it's going to be Atapatu. He's going to take his place back in this lineup and he's going to come into the attack. So Taranjit Singh doesn't continue. And uh, yeah, Atapatu, one for seven off his first. He'll look, be looking for something not too dis dissimilar from uh, his first over in his second one here. Yeah, Atapatu will just be looking to get that, uh, that ball that nips away, sort of a Yorker length type of delivery. But uh, Ahmed, 17 off five, he's not going to shy away from the challenge. Drops the bat on this. They want the quick single, and they'll get there. That's it. Dushanta will get back on strike. He's on 15 off eight. So partnerships are required. But at the same time, it's got to be a, a high-scoring one as well. Otherwise, they're going to fall further behind this rate. Yeah, it's the rate that's uh, the issue, isn't it? Every time it doesn't go to the fence, it's, uh, it's creeping up. 15 needed. And over then at this point, and well, it's now up to 15.4. So at uh, at the moment, it's not quite getting all the way there. Dave B still obsessed with Daniela, clearly. <laughs> so, uh, comes back in again, and as Destante, all he can do is sort of just squirt this on the onside for one. Yeah, trying to get some footwork involved and get to the pitch of it, but Andrew Parthu has uh, bowled so well all the way through this series. I mean, probably I'd go to the point of saying that he's perhaps being the pick of the bowlers for me. He just bowls so well. He's always been able to perform and get Kluge out of trouble. And here he is again, trying to get a tight over in. Back to the hard hitting up. Ahmed, who, well, goes down to one knee and he's trying to launch this, but he ends up nowhere near the ball. We just see this again. Look where he is. Look at the head as well. Head is nowhere. And he misses this by a long way. Yeah, clearly a fan of uh, batting against spin, isn't he? You're right, Rico. He doesn't quite look as comfortable against the uh, the pace of Atapurati as, uh, as he does against sort of Pereira. A lot of foot movement, and he misses it. Misses out completely. Good take from Nadi Gottler, who takes a bit of a tumble, but still manages to to take it nonetheless. It's a good, uh, good comeback this is as well, in yeah. all fairness. That's the one he goes wide. That's the one that he got to... The wicket of Moyes with goes wide, takes the pace of it, changes the angle. And you can see the batter doesn't pick it at all. It's another dot. Gold dust. Atupathu just gone for nine off the ten that he's bowled so far. And he goes the same way again. What a good delivery this is. And at this time round, it's almost like Wakas Ahmed has just resigned 
to the fact that he can't do anything with it. He doesn't even attempt the shot, which means now, I mean, he's going to, wherever this is, he's going to be committed to it. And if I'm the bowler here, Tyler, I'm bowling this full onto off peg because I reckon he's going to come down and try to make something off this. Well, I'd try to anyway. That's that's for sure. At the moment, this rate now up to 18.3. So it's creeping up and they've got to get something here, haven't they? He does go full up, but he gets a lot on this one. Has he picked up the man, though? No, he hasn't. And this looks as if it will be a boundary. I think it's going to be one bounce for signal there by the umpire we might have to just check it just in case but yeah it doesn't go full goes but sort of slot delivery really and he gets punished for it so wakasama gets a bit of a, a, a life-saving moment there because they do get a boundary and it will be 77 for three after seven yeah they get the boundary but it also takes the rate up now to 18 vinnie sandu would say that's the point of no return you'll see vinnie in malta we're having a look at what we know so far Chilmata. A book their place in the final. Unefs are waiting to see who plays them in the next fixture, which will be the bronze final. Will it be Cluj? Will it be the Gladiators? Well, if the Gladiators want to avoid being there, they've got to do something special, and they've got to do it up against their captain of Cluj now, as Vasus Haini comes back into the attack. Yeah, they've also got to do it sooner rather than later, haven't they? As this is uh, full, and it clatters into the stumps. And I tell you what, it's uh, business as usual from Vazu Saini, because you can see there, no reaction. Stone cold from him. He knows what the job needs to be. Wicket falls. It's the one of De Santa, and it is going to be 77 for four. Yeah, well, the captain, he's an experienced campaigner, takes a spin off, goes back to seam, gets his right on the money, and a little bit of an inside edge, I think, as he drags his onto the stump. But once again, it's clever bowling. It's the variation that we're talking about. And, of course, the likes of Vazu Sahini who plays at international level, of course, as well for Romania. He's going to vary that pace, and he does the job there. So Dushanthu, he will have to go. And it's a tall ask now as a new batter comes out. Is Joshua Karak, who uh, joins the likes of Wakas Ahmed out there in the middle. Yeah, batter's getting in, but not getting, uh, getting a push on really has been the issue. I mean... You, you saw that they, you know, in the previous innings, they lost an early wicket, did Cluj, but Saini came out alongside uh, Nadi Gottlieb and they settled the ship, didn't they? And they were really able to kick on after getting starts and they got big scores each. But at the moment, it's, uh, yeah, it's not been great, has it? It's uh, it's almost a sense of running out of time, really. 54 needed off 17 then. Here's uh, Kadka. Nice looking shot, trying to get it in the gap and he's going to beat Taranjit, so... Nice shot from the left-hander. Gets down, gets low, and plays it beautifully. Lovely shot through extra cover. Yeah, good-looking shot first up, isn't it? Gets down on one knee and positively plays this into the offside. Good-looking shot first up for a man coming in at uh, number six. That run right now up at, at, at just under 19 at 18.7. So it's sort of teetering on uh, 19, but that dot ball will probably get it up towards 20 now. Yeah, also clever there from Ali Gottlieb. He knows that the batters are probably going to try and take whatever they can. So as soon as that comes through to me, releases it very early to Vasis Haini, who has the ball in hand, ready to whip the bells off if the batters do try and take him on. Uh, it's really well bowled. And once again, there's the throw. This time he has a little shy at the stumps. I wonder if he was out of his crease here. Let's have a look at this again. I mean, what's the throw coming in? And uh, you know what, close. if that hits, I think he may have gone because I don't think he had the bat past the line. I think the bat hits the deck of the line, then goes up. Nadi Gottlieb almost gets a surprise. And the batter now tries to do the old reverse Malachi. And Sahini follows him. I think they're just checking if this is a wide or not. I mean, they might give this. But I'd, I'd like it not to be given. If the batter's allowed to change... He starts. The bat is allowed to go all the way across here. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with it, so that's fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm glad it's not being given as wide. So, dot ball. And a really good exhibition of bowling here. Versus Saini. It's another quiet over. And now that rate uh, is going to take something magical because it's magical overs that are required in the last two. 81 for four and... Well, the, the winners of 2021 are runners up here in 2022, up against their opponents, are looking to book themselves into another final kludge. Well, it's theirs to lose from here on in.
Yeah, we need to see a pretty magical two overs, wouldn't we? They need 50 off of the next 12. And, uh, yeah, you'd probably say at the moment it looks as if it's going to be a, an, an all-cluge affair in that last, uh, in that final, if you think about it, because, of course, we know that they, uh, the team that they would come up against would uh, would more than likely would end up being a, uh, well, it's sort of the spiel over, isn't it? Of course, that yeah. the Giamarta. Yeah, I mean, what a what a finale that would be as well. Two teams that know each other really well. High up in the air is an opportunity. Fielder gets under it, looks confident, and takes the catch. Nicely done. No mistakes there. Who is it? Yeah, it is the key player once again, Athupathu. He hasn't done too much wrong. They went to him when they needed something to happen in the second over, and he made it happen. They went to him in the seventh, and uh, he got that tidy over in. And uh, now safe hands as he takes the catch. So Wakas Ahmed's brief encounter, brief assault comes to an end. But they, they judged him well. He came on when spin was on, and he hit the spin all over the place. They took the spin away from him, and he couldn't get bat onto ball. He departs as a new batter. Sudan Pereira comes out. Yeah, Mishra picks up a wicket. He deserved one as well. Felt as if he bowled okay, to be fair, but just got a bit of tap at the start. Yeah, new uh, new batter is, of course, uh, Sudden Pereira. And it's a bit of a sad one to come into, isn't it? 50, uh, 15 off 11. And, yeah, they're going to fall short here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. And Mishra, he's, uh, all he's got to do, really, is just get that ball pitched up. And he's be well, in the hunt for a few more wickets. And there he goes. Jagger, they've had their time. Two out of two. And Gurav Mishra will now be bowling a hat-trick ball. We've seen two here in Romania. And uh, it's Abdul Alim has got one. And, of course, Dulum Fernando, the player from Jaimata. But this is right on the money. That's the delivery that gets so many batters into trouble. It's full. It's pitched up. Look where this is hitting. It's hitting the line. It's the perfect Yorker. And, uh, well, Sudun Pereira will go. And he's going to go for a golden. So he's going to get quacked off. <laughs> Derek says, adios, amigo. And Hattrick ball coming up. Are we going to have another entrant on the Hall of Fame? Yeah, there you go then. You can see it here. And there's confirmation of the two we've had. Abdul Alim alongside Dylan Fernando, who's uh, he's going well at the moment. And, uh, yeah, at the moment, this is... Uh, this is rather crucial here, and uh, well, could, it's a hat trick opportunity here. Yeah, hat trick opportunity, and in comes Mishra, and he wastes it down the leg side. It would be a wide. Tarajit Singh just talked to me from the boundary rope, and he's uh, got a big smile on his face. He said, "You know what? When we started this tournament, this is what we wanted. This is what we were expecting—a final between Kluge and Jamata. So they're going to get what they wanted. Jamata going to get what they wanted." But who is going to be victorious as Mishra comes in again? Better delivery, but this one will go all the way. Manos arriba, Mitro. Porque eso es seis carreras. But is it coming too late? It's still possible. have to say that. There's a, a little kick of the foot from Mendes first before he smashes this one for a six. Yeah, he gets it uh, out of the screws, doesn't he? That's gone a long way. Well, well if he continue on this rate, they'll, uh, they'll have a pretty fun time of it. What's this the result going to be then? He's tried to get it again this time. Sort of slashes this away onto the on offside. And well, now they're going to take on the arm. And it's off the uh, misfield. And I think he's made his ground. So they will come back for two. But still, two's aren't enough. Yeah, they need boundaries all the time, don't they? Clever delivery that from Mishra. He knows the batter's going to try and hit straight down the ground. So slightly, slightly shorter. But yeah, just that the misfield doesn't take the ball cleanly. And allows the batters to come back for two. Mendes, though, stays on strike. And that's really well bowled. That's that York in the livery. This time, Mendes just gets a bit of bat onto this. And it'll take the single. Yeah, and uh, at the moment, this is, this is going to come to a pretty disappointing end now, isn't it? Of course, uh, if they get a four off this one, then they can do it. They've got to do it all in sixes, don't they? It's... Uh, 40 needed off seven. If they're going to have any chance, this has got to go to the boundary, isn't it? It's got to go, isn't it? It's got to go. And it's Kadok, left-hander. He goes for it. And he probably will get a four, perhaps, as the fielder. Well, he tries to make the stop, but he ends up smashing it into the back of the net. That's the captain, Vasu Sahini. It's, uh, 
I think the ball probably had already gone past the rope. Here we go. Here's the chase on. And, well, not quite. But he goes for the foot. Couldn't stop it. They get four runs. So they keep it interesting because, well, now we've got to see six sixes in the over if they are to make it. The score, 95 for six. Yep, 95 for six. Plays uh, 130 for two. And, uh, well, it's 36 needed off six. So we'd have to see... Uh, Something rather outstanding, and they've got to do it against the tough bowling of Taranjit Singh here. So uh, Taran's probably thinking, well, oh, it's fine, I'm just going to bowl one here, and they won't get a six, and that'll be a big game set of match. Well, that's what he'd be thinking, yeah, just try and get one ball through. And the first one, he's hit pretty well, catching chance, and very, very well taken. Well, there he is, the captain of Cluj, Vasil Siani, and taking that catch, that one surely seals their spot in the final against Giamata, we're going to see Cluj and the overspill of Cluj go to battle in the final later. And that means that, disappointingly, the last year's winners, the reigning champions, Bucharest Gladiators, are going to be playing in the bronze final against UNEFs. Yeah, of course, that match coming up in around about an hour and at 25 minutes, of course. It's a bit of an extended break due to the due to just the four games here today. Always happens on finals day. So we'll have five games, though, tomorrow of internationals. Then we go back to the four on uh, on Sunday. Looking forward to those internationals, of course. But, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's all a little bit too late. They're going to come uh, They're going to come a little bit short here as Tarrant comes back in then up against Cosmin. And that's going to be a dot to, to start then for Cosmin. Yeah, Cosmin, spare a thought for him, the captain. The boy who has uh, led his team very well. He's the, still the leading wicket taker. As he swings and misses this one, that almost clutters into the stumps. He's led his team well, hasn't he? But just when it comes to the big match, they just uh, the batting just didn't click. But well done to Cluj. Seem to have done their homework and they've done the number on the reigning champions, not just for the first time, but the second time in this series. This one gets played away and it's uh, uh, coming up to a pretty... Sort of painful end, really, for the Gladiators. They haven't got to the 100 here yet. But credit to Cluj. They were a team that lost last year. They didn't have this man in their side, Terranjit Singh. Has he made a difference? Well, I think so. With the amount of runs that he scored so far, he's been absolutely incredible. Didn't click with the bat in this one, but still 398 runs in this series. And he'll be looking to go past the 400 in the final. Yeah, he'll be hoping so. And he'll probably be backing himself to at least get two. And, uh, well, I would be as well, hopefully, as uh, yeah, it's going to come down to this last ball then. And they're going to fall short here at the moment. And here we go then. Well, he's going to get a run, potentially. And they will come through for just a single. They might come back for a second. They are. And uh, hang on a second as they're going to come down. And they will get two. So they will be a all-round victory here for Cluj as they make it. A final here in Taranjit Singh. There you go. Celebrations for Cluj because it will be Cluj taking on, of course, the team we saw win earlier in uh, Jamata. They will be taking on those two, of course, and uh, it's going to be set up a, a very interesting final. But before that, we've got an interesting bronze final to take place as well. Yeah, well, you saw there from Taranjit Singh just what it meant to him. Well, Singh is uh, translated to lion and turns it roaring like a lion when they get that victory. It means a lot to them. This now is what the rest of today's schedules looks like. So the bronze final, that is going to be UNEFs taking on the Bucharest Gladiators. UNEFs, I think, will not mind being there. They're a team on debut on the European Cricket Network series, and they've made it through to a bronze final. Bucharest Gladiators, they'll be disappointed, but they're going to have to shake that off because there's still an opportunity to go for something. But Giamata also on debut in the final against Cluj, an all-Cluj affair. Big brother against little brother. That is going to be absolutely brilliant. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be some fireworks. Talking of fireworks, there was fireworks at the beginning of this one as uh, Mohamed Moyes went big. He went 4-4-6, four, four, and he really was looking dangerous. They had to remove him pretty quickly. This one from Athu Pathu was sent out of here, but Athu Pathu was the one to get his man as he went wider, took the pace off, and he smashes the stumps. Chuck their foot this style. Then after that, Charlie, it was all one-way traffic. Yeah, it was. And uh, Mami Kohli came out and he went. He was uh, stumped, of course. And, uh, well, that was Tazib who was stumped that time around. But then there were some big shots from a bit of a 
a renaissance from uh, from DeSanta and Wakas Ahmed in the middle order, sort of four and five, having a having a little bit there. And yeah, realistically though, it was uh, it was never meant to be because they realised that hey, I think we we realised that Ahmed likes a bit of spin, so they brought a bit of pace onto the attack, and that uh, well that certainly uh, shut him up a little bit, didn't it? And you can see here with uh, he he did take on that bowling of. Uh, of Pereira, and as soon as he uh, came on against a bit of pace, well, he got this one away. But after that, it was uh, it was a pretty simple affair. Saini took a couple of a uh, couple of good wickets in there. In all fairness, he was able to get Distanta, who sort of played on and chopped on. But then we saw the uh, the eventual downfall of Wakas Ahmed. It was a good catch fought by Atapantu, and it brought uh, realistically brought the uh, the unlucky Pereira, who went first up for for Mishra. And uh, well, after that, that was pretty much all she wrote. Because uh, it was a little bit, little, little bit too much for uh, for Gladiator to chase down in this uh, in this setting. But yeah, this was a good catch, of course, to remove. Uh, that's Mendes there, caught by Bazu Saini, and then Taran. Taranjit Singh, well, didn't quite do the get with the job with the bat, but he did the job with the ball, didn't he? He bowled really well. As uh, yeah, Cluj beat Rugrex Gladiators by 31 runs here. Yeah, so well done. Of course, the subject call is going to be very happy. And so she'll be jumping up and down and say, yeah, go, go, Taran. Well, there you go. But Taran Jeet, you will get a chance to see him bat again, subject. So don't worry, he will be batting in the final because clues are going to be there. Let's have a quick look at uh, the scorecard here. So the Gladiators, they started well with Moyes. But the thing is, I just wonder with Moyes coming in the side, maybe to see Hassan just uh, thought he had to play a different role. Didn't play his natural way today. Didn't hit a boundary at all with the six that he scored. Moyes, of course, he did hit a few, but got he was out early. Mamik Kohli went as well. Dushanta played some nice shots before he went. Bakas Ahmed, we know that he's good against the spin, but once the spin was taken away from him, he went to a good catch taken from um, Azupathu. Mendes there played a few shots down the end, but by that time, they needed magical overs all the way through. It wasn't going to happen. Look at the bowling here. Rajesh Barrera, yes, he does go for a few when Waka's got hold of him, but he still picks up two wickets. Once again, Mishra, he swing too hot to handle for some of the players. He was on a hat-trick once more, two for 31 for him. But for me, Charlie, pick of the bowlers. I'm loving the bowling of Rivran Azupathu. Yeah, no, they all bowled well, though, in all fairness. They defend their title of 130. And, of course, there you can see their confirmation. Cluj beating the Gladiators by 31 in, set in the second semi-final. Setting up an interesting bronze final. Before we get to that final, of course, we'll see uh, the Gladiators taking on UNEFs. That's coming up in, uh, in around about an hour and 20 minutes or so. So do make sure that you're tuning in for that. Looking forward to that, though. And we'll, uh, we'll enjoy a little bit of a break here as we get ready for the final two games of the uh, of the European Cricket Series here in Romania. That's all that's left to say for now is uh, we will see you very, very shortly in about an hour and 20 minutes time. You're watching the Fanco European Cricket Series here in Romania with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside Rico Full on the European Cricket Network.
Hello cricket lovers and welcome to the bronze final. Always a difficult one this because of course both the semi-final losers would have hoped to have won their semi-finals and been playing in the big one later on today. UNEF's, they're a team that have surprised everyone. Credit to them. They started the tournament with a win against last year's champions, the uh, Bucharest Gladiators, and they performed all the way well in the tournament. They're up against, of course, a team that won last year Bucharest Gladiators disappointed after losing to Cluj. It's all about, for me, how each one of those two teams can recover from the way that they played in the semi-final and be positive in this one. I get the feeling that both would want to get their hands on those beautiful medals, courtesy of Locker Lifestyles. Let's have a look at the two teams in detail. I think UNEF's, that uh, the key players for them in this one for me would be Yassir. Yassir has to come back big with the bat. And I think somebody like Haider Ali will play a huge part in this as well. And with likes to the Gladiators, I think Mamit Kohli will probably want to finish on a high. Of course, Mohamed Moyes has come into their side as well. He'd be looking to play really well. And maybe we can see a final flurry, a final blast from the master blaster himself, Hassan. It's going to be a match that two teams will want to win. They'll want to take something away from this fixture. They will be disappointed that they're not playing in the big final. But still, there's something to play for here. And a little bit of pride as well for the Gladiators. UNEF, though, if they can finish with those bronze medals, they will know that this has been an outstanding performance from them. Let's go over to the two captains for the coin toss. And straight after that, back over to Charlie for the start of the bronze final. OK, Gladiators to call. Tell, tell's the call. It's heads. Okay. Bump, 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 bump. <laughs> okay. okay, good luck, guys. Have a good game. Thank you. All the best. And we're lucky, huh? You know, have won the toss, they're having a bat. Back over to you, Rico and Charlie. Thank you very much, Stefan. Yeah, there yeah, you can see there, Pavel Florin. He was out there doing the, the duties. He was, uh, yeah, he was out there doing. Uh, Doing the toss, and hey, he called it right. He got it right, didn't he? He won, and he, uh, yeah, you can see that uh, UNEF's are going to have a bat first here in the bronze final. And yeah, as Rico said, that it's one of those. It's it's a tough one as a player, but in all fairness, you've still got to go and put the uh, put the effort in for the hard yards. Let me take a look then at the uh, the lineups here, and you can see there, yeah, the change there. Wakas Rana, he's the skipper then here for UNEF's, and uh, yeah, you can see the man who was at the toss, Pavel. He's there. Well, in the break, had a little hit against Pavel. Well, I tried to. It's, I tell you what, it's not as, it's not as easy as it, as it does uh, as it probably seems. Take a look at the lineup for the Gladiators here, though, and of course you can see Tazib alongside uh, Pereira and Manmeet Kohli as well. Of course, Wakas Ahmed in there also. Take a look at the bat versus Bulwell here then for the bronze final. Five runs in it, according to the supercomputer. It's uh, just edging the Gladiators ahead of Unos here, and if I had to place any uh, if I had to put my uh, my thoughts on it I think uh, yeah I'd be back in the gladiators here of course last year's champions there they have a point to prove here missing out on the final but they'll be uh, they'll be hoping that they can of course put the the hard graft in here and and just take that third spot and of course those uh, coveted bronze medals of course look that of course uh, like a lifestyle provided and yeah, they're stunning medals they really are and one day I'm gonna try I reckon one day I'm gonna try and see if I can bargain with a player <laughs> and uh, and see if I can grab one of those and stuck chuck it up in my in my uh, <laughs> in my in my room. <laughs> Pavel, I can't, I can't hold it. He's he's sig he's giving me signals from whilst being sat down in the in the dugout. <laughs> He's just enjoying life. Rico Full joins me here in the Ice Cube. Rico, you just come out of the middle. It's a scorcher out there. It is very warm, and uh, I love it. That from Pavel, he says we're going to go bam, bam, bam. <laughs> well, that's the idea, and uh, that's what he'd be telling his boys. Go out there, go bam, bam, bam. Well, let's see how they get on with this. They have won the toss, uh, thanks to Pavel, and they will be batting first, and they will know that uh, well, they need to, again, be eyeing up the sort of score that uh, we saw Kluj put on the board and they were victorious. They'd be looking at around about 1.30. And uh, Karak is the bowler that's going to try and stop them doing that. As we get ready for the battle of bat versus ball in the bronze final. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoyed your break. Why don't you let us know what you got up to. Maybe a, a little snack. Well, we had a, a bit of lunch here, so it was very nice indeed. And uh, well, I'm looking over, I'm looking to see if I can see Daniela, because Daniela has said she's at the ground now, so. You can say hello to Daniela in person. And uh, here's the Kodak, who's the bowler. It's got to Coley up there, but 
Uh, there we go. It changes to the correct bowler. Yeah, just pushed into the offside, off the mark straight away. Here's Adil Mohamed. He'll be thinking, well, let's see if I can do a little bit more uh, more work here than I did last time, especially with the ball. He got tumped, didn't he? So he'll be hoping that he can uh, change it up a little bit this time around. Of course, we'll have to wait until we see what the uh, see what the total is they put on it. It's just sliced up in the air. Fielder comes to try and take the catch. It's not over to. That's Mendes that comes charging in. But uh, no run either. So this one just gets sliced. So, yes, here has been good. He's uh, when you have played well, he's played well, and uh, they're sticking with him and Adil Mohammed to be opening. So not quite going with Chabam Alam, who was, I suppose, the pick of their batters in the, their defeat in that semi-final when they he got 42. This is a quick delivery, and uh, he's played this so late. So it thuds him into the pad. Yeah, good afternoon to everyone, to Kroom, to Dave, and to, and to everyone else who's in the chat as well. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, uh, yeah, and Daniela was in the chat saying it, it looks even better in person. That's something I picked up as well. I mean, it looks great on camera, but when you're really here in person and you can sort of take it all in, the fact that the, uh, you know, the outfield's cut, cut you know, to, to pristine levels, it's, uh, it's a stunning place to play cricket. It really is. It's trying to hit it so hard. It's not the first time that uh, we've seen this from UNF today, and uh, he's not the only batter that's guilty of it. Just look at this pitch, look at the outfield, and really, you don't have to hit it that hard, Charlie, do you? No, absolutely, and uh, it's all about sort of just timing it and getting your, your full body behind it and, and leaning into the shot, especially when it's nice and full. No, it's, uh, it's been a good tidy start. It's just the, the one runoff, the four deliveries so far. Oh, well, this one has taken off. Well, the question the umpire's going to decide, are wise or just buys? We're going with four buys. And, well, just look at this one. That is quick. And, yeah, I think, well, looking at that again, I think he probably does just sneak this in. You'll see it gets past the first line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine by me. But it, uh, it lifts off, though, doesn't it? <laughs> and, uh, well, he's a little bit unlucky for having some serious bit of accuracy there. But, yeah, four buys and... Goes against the keeper, which is also a little bit harsh, in fairness. Yeah, that one just rocked off the pitch like anything. Quick delivery. Kind of, once again. Now goes for the slow one. Really well bowled, but going down the leg side. Good thinking. Clever delivery. Just the execution goes a little bit wrong. But still, it's a very good first over of him. Only the one run, but because of the uh, four buys, it will be five of the first. As we have a look at some of the key players in this one. Plenty of good batters. You can see yes here why he does need to go back into form. He scored 242 runs. Shohab Alam has been batting well, hasn't he? You've got Aaron Mohammed in there as well. But over to the other side, Hassan. He's somebody he has been a little bit hit and miss at the moment, but still right up there. 370 runs to his name. Mamit Kohli, he wants to find his form again. And uh, Waka's Ahmed, he wants to go Waka Waka. But don't forget, they also have in their side. They've got uh, some more talent, some good players, players that they haven't had in the before. But uh, one thing I'm noticing there, that uh, no Moyes in this one, Charlie. So that's a bit of a surprise. Marvin Moyes, not listed. Yeah, big miss, isn't it? And it's, uh, it is a shame, but yeah, they'll have to make do, won't they? There's a, you can't really uh, go on to uh, harper on too much about it because you've got to find a way of, of overcoming it. So uh, this is Coley then. It's a little edge. Fielder, man at third. Here's Cosmin, who attacks the ball. Keeps it to one. Good bit of fielding from the captain. Yeah, it is. And uh, what did you get up to in the hour off? What did you get up to, Rico? I just strolled around a little bit, spoke to some of the players. Had a nice opportunity to have a chat with Chumkla. And uh, he says, yeah, carry on calling me Fernando. So we will, Chumkla. And also to Taranji. It was nice to talk to two men who will be going head-to-head -head in the final. And uh, maybe whoever performs out of the, those two could uh, bring the trophy home for their side. Just had a little chat with them. You can look out for that on social media. But it was just really pleasant being down the ground and talking to some of the players, those that have played and uh, will play no more. So players coming in to watch finals day from some of the other teams. And that's what I loved about here in Romania, that uh, the players do stick together. And, of course, a lot of talk, Charlie, about the international cricket that will start tomorrow. Yeah, no, absolutely. And... Uh there's a lot of cricket still to come here this weekend and 
Yeah, certainly looking forward to it as uh, we're ready to get things back underway again. Here is Coley yet again then, this time around. Coley, this one is wasted down the leg side, so wide will be signalled. And a good afternoon to our men in black out there. We've got uh, Nishant Devra and the man who's in charge at the moment at the bowler's end would be Ajay Gobalapa. And of course you've got uh, Andrew Begg, who is the, the third umpire. Coley once more, charging in. Yeah, it's again down leg side this time, not taken cleanly by the keeper. And uh, it's Imran Haider. And, uh, it will be an, another wide. Yeah, just struggling for a bit of rhythm here is Coley, isn't he? Just hasn't quite uh, found the right, right area so far. Big edge, Cosmin does the fielder once more. And uh, what a series that uh, Cosmin has had as well. Zavoyu, he's been superb, he's led the team well, leads by example in the field as well. He's made some really good stops. Remember, the all important catch to get Tarangit, which could have been the one that makes the difference, wasn't to be. And with the ball, he's been absolutely brilliant. And remember, we always have a small uh, matter to sort out of the MVP. His name will be right up there, Charlie. Yeah, big time. I was just thinking about that as well. As this is again, this is well bold, but here yeah, is uh, Mohammed struggling this time around. And yeah, look at that, by the way, Yassir, one off seven. But yeah, no, that's the one thing that, yeah, luckily, it's not our decision, is it? And uh, well, thankfully, because I don't think I'd be wanting to make the decision as to who the, uh, who the MVP is going to be. Yeah, it could be a difficult one. And uh, at the moment, it's uh, yeah, it's been a relatively quiet one, hasn't it? Just the four off this one at the moment. So we're going to miss. So uh, though he's had issues getting it in the right area to begin with, I mean, Coley, as you'd expect from the experienced the national team player, he gets his nine right. And now it's uh, Adil Mohammed who can't get bad onto ball. Yeah, a bit of a lacklustre opening start this is, isn't it, for Younes? Not really lacking that intensity. And you probably feel that at the moment, just with the uh, with the way that it is at this point, and it's the fact that it's probably a bit of a bronze final, and maybe that might be paying a bit of a bit of a part on it. But anyway, end of the over. It's a good one, just four off it, and it's a, it's a pretty poor start for Younes. It's uh, Younes, it's... Uh, Nine for no loss after two. And, of course, this is uh, what we have coming up for the rest of the day. We've got uh, Younes taking on the uh, Bucharest Gladiators here. And, uh, and then, of course, the final, the big one. Jim Arta, they take on Cluj. Yeah, everybody's waiting for that. And what a clash that is going to be. Jim Arta and Cluj, two, uh, two clubs formed off, well, the overspill of Cluj. That's uh, the way it's been put to me. And uh, there's certainly going to be some bragging rights. It's the final that a lot of players wanted to see is the final that Taranjit told us he wants to see. And Tampakla Fernando as well was saying, yeah, this is what we want. This is the big one. And uh, one of those two teams is going to go back home very happy as uh, Kadaka continues. It's high up in the air, but it could be the first wicket. And it will be no mistakes from the fielder. And that's exactly what you needed to do. And it's uh, not a good day from the likes of Mohamed Yassir, and he's dancing around, is the fielder, quite happy to show everybody who it is, and it is Sachin Chavan who takes the catch. Good one to get as well, isn't it? And, uh, well, Yassir was chewing up a fair few deliveries, and, yeah, realistically, it was uh, it was either hit out or get out, and it was get out for Mohamed Yassir. So he goes, first wicket down, nine for one. Yeah, Kadaka getting the wicket. Yeah, it just doesn't... Uh, doesn't seem with it, does he? Did uh, yes here that one? He was playing and missing a lot. He never got one in the slot that he wanted. And in the end, Erka gets the wicket. And uh, you're right, he chews up eight deliveries for one. So probably one that you don't mind coming back. Because they don't forget, they have got good hitters off the ball. We know that. And this man, Shaham Alam, he was pretty good against Jamata. 42 of 20 that he made. So he certainly played their part. So let's see if he can get going in this one as well. 
Yeah, he did, didn't he? It was a great... Uh, it was a really good innings, wasn't it? I mean, of course, on the wrong side of it, but I mean, to come out when your team were, were really struggling and hit that sort of destructive pace was rather impressive. He's up against Kadga this time, though. Into the pads, beats him with pace. Charlie beats him with pace, but he's unfortunate that he wasn't able to get this on the pegs because if he does, it would have been all over. Yeah, it would have been, and uh, clearly a uh, bit of extra pace is troubling Alan there. Just uh, He's not slow as Kadka, is he? He's got good rhythm and good momentum as he calls his, uh, calls his way all the way through through the uh, through the crease. And yeah, the good thing is, is his run-up isn't extensive. It's long, but it's uh, it's you know it's all necessary. It's a big build-up. And uh, well, I tell you what, it's a big build-up to then get swatted onto the leg side. This will be a couple of bounces, and this will be a welcome boundary. Yeah, they get one away finally. The only boundary so far was the full buy, so that's the first one that comes off the bat. It was in the slot. He doesn't try and hit it too hard, and that's the beauty there of that shot from Shabar Alam. Just hits it through the ball. He's just concentrating on making contact. If he makes contact, he knows that he's going to get over the infielders. Yeah, absolutely. Got to take it on. Probably going to go again, and it's a great delivery. Almost takes one on the chin, in fairness, but it yeah, does well, doesn't he, to, to, uh, to find a way of... Of getting out of the way of this one does alarm because he probably would have taken one on the chin or possibly the shoulder here. Watch yeah. this. He rolls the fingers all the way around. It doesn't need a very clever slower ball. And he's unlucky that he hasn't taken the top off the bales there. So good delivery. Let's see if he can finish well. I've liked his bowling today. He certainly has stepped up to the mark for his side. And he gets this one outside the off night stop. Taken by Imran Haider, who's behind the stumps this time. It's a weird game, though, the bronze final, isn't it? Because you've got two teams that were coming in today thinking, hang on, we could do something here. We can go ahead and, and possibly make a make a, a shout and a run for the final. But, you know, you find yourselves here in the bronze final in the game that you probably weren't wanting to play in. And well, you've got to try and uh, and get a little bit of uh, bit of oomph in you and, and find a way. This one again, the batting. I, uh, I don't know about you, Rico. I'm not impressed. 13 for one after three. That's a poor, poor power play. Yeah, it's a, I think the best way to describe this is that you've got batters out there that are looking to score runs only by hitting boundaries. It's not the only way to score runs. And it, if you're swinging and missing all the time, then you're just, all you're doing is you're batting yourself out of form. Play each ball on merit. You've got good bowlers that you're up against here from, from the Gladiators. Get in line, play the ball around, look to get it in the gaps. You Look to use the pace off the lights have cut it against it, but they haven't tried to do that. They've gone for the slog, and at the moment, it hasn't worked. 13 for one after three. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, you look at that projected score, they continue where they're going. I mean, they could be looking at sort of, you know, what are they on, 4.3, looking at, yeah, looking at 43 at the moment. I mean, that's uh, not the best of starts, and, you know, you'd sort of, if they... Uh, now this one is... Uh, Hit nicely, but uh, well fielded, and yeah, they haven't changed the, the the top order, which is the concerning part. And it's just yeah. uh, it's one of those days where it's clearly just not clicking. Yeah, just not happening at the moment. And remember, they have got guys that can go out there and perform. We know that. Let's go again. This one that's nicely struck, and this will well it ricochets off Mamit Coley, and he'll be disappointed with that effort. It's going to be four runs, so. It should have just really been just a single, though he hits it well. It is to the field and Coley, he attacks it. But maybe he gets an unlucky bounce as that ball ricochets off it, but four runs. And this time goes for that big swing, loses his shape. Just needed a little shuffle across, didn't he? If he got the shuffle in, he would have whacked it away. It's not to be. A lot of people in the chat saying hello to Daniela and saying how lucky she is to be here watching the action live. And, uh, well, Daniela, it's, uh, saying she's loving it here. And that's a lovely shot. Well, I tell you what, some batters have struggled to hit it with two hands. And uh, Alarm says, well, I'm in good form. I only need one as he plays this one away and whipped away. And the fielder has got no chance as that sails over him. Four more runs. Yeah, good-looking shot, wasn't he? Uh, got a bit of bat on it, and it just ran away and... Yeah, got a lot on it. And, uh, yeah, one-handed. Hey, who needs two? One's it's easy enough with one anyway. Good afternoon to Shrug. Drone is in the chat. How are you, Shrug? Good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Response needed then from Desnanta. And he does. It's a wild swipe from Alam. 
Yeah, Harm seems to play one nice shot and then gets a bit carried away and wants to hit one monster shot, but he's missing out on the monster ones at the moment, but it's a better over if uh, if you're a UNEF Sky. UNEF's a, a team that uh, is made up of university guys. This one, go oh, he's hurt himself. Oh, no, he's hurt his I reckon he's pulled his shoulder out here, Charlie. He's played one shot with the one hand already, and this time, again, he's gone with it one-handed. I reckon he's pulled his shoulder out. That does not look good. It does not look oh, good. Well, they are the University of uh, Physical Education, so they should know all about this and how to deal with it, shouldn't they? Yeah, they should do, but in, he's moving it, but he's, he seems okay. I think it might just be a little tweak, in all fairness. Well, uh, he uh, takes the bat, and he has to walk to the other end. But watch that. He, oh, he says, out. That hurt. Yeah, I can imagine it does. So, but alarm, he will walk to the other end. He wants to stay there now, but he's got to keep an eye on it. He's still, you can see there, He's still holding on to that shoulder. End of the over. It's a 22 for one after four. So still they haven't really got going, though. That over was better. Only nine came from it. Still lackluster, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, I think it was just an over-rotation of that rotator cuff, and it just sort of may have just pinged a little bit. He's still sore, though. Here is uh, Ahmed then. That's a full toss, and just pushed down the ground for just one. Okay, this is going to be interesting now, because Shobha Alam, after what looked like he pulled his shoulder right out of its socket. It's now going back on strike. He's up against uh, Wakas Ahmed. Here comes Ahmed. Oh, he's, well, he's all right, everybody. <laughs> he's all right. Though this time he tries to use two hands instead of one. It's a big swing. He misses out. So it acts as if nothing ever happened, really, isn't it? All business as usual, clearly. Come on then. Come on then, Ahmed. What's he got in him? This time it's just uh, back of a length, but on the wide side, and they get off his width, and Alarm is quickly there to pounce on it. And, well, what sh what, inj what a shoulder injury here, because he gets this away nicely. Well, the bat is probably is injured or could be injured is Coley, because that's another one that gets past him. It's another awkward bounce. It's going to be four more runs, so... They are hitting the odd one to the boundary. The thing is, though, they've got to they got to back them up one after another. Got to line them up. That's what he's got to do. Um. Needs a response, doesn't he? Got to find a way. Fairly well hit. Will be to the fielder this time. Makes no mistake. Yeah, good, does well. Gets what gets his uh, hits his body behind it, which is. Uh, where it needed to be. <laughs> oh dear, Rico. The joys of a Friday, hey? <laughs> joys of a Friday. Joys of a Friday. What a day. I had fun in the break. I uh, got out there. Had a bit of a hit. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for my game on Thursday. Yeah, I saw you taking on Pavel. You had a few good ones. I've got a few out there. Because I've not held a bat properly and played a game in about a year and a half, two years. It's not too bad. Yeah, but it feels nice, doesn't it, to hit a few oh. out of the park? Oh, it's nice to get some here. Do you know what? I didn't realise. One thing I will tell you as we come towards this, uh, this quiet over comes to an end. Just seven off it. It'll be a single. It'll be 29 for one after five. Charlie Hunt here alongside Rico Full, And you can join us here in the ice cube. But I'll tell you what, it's not really very icy because it's a warm one here today. It is warm, yeah. I mean, we've opened. We've opened we're have we switching and taking off sides as the sun moves around. We're getting a bit of air through, but it is hot temperatures around about 30 31 degrees at the moment so it's been a thought for the players and also the umpire haven't the umpires been brilliant all the way through yeah, this yeah they've uh, you know i can't really think of too many that they've got wrong in all fairness yeah. i mean the fact is that they're you know they don't have the use of the of the of the replay so they're smashing it out of there and uh yeah well i smashed a few out of the park but uh listen i haven't yes. played a game in a while so it's it's a little bit different but you know it's you know, listen if i get any runs on thursday night you better know I'll be in the chat on Friday. If you get runs on Thursday, I know you'll be in the chat. You'll be you'll be spreading the word. I'll, let, I'll wish you well as we return back to the action. And not a bad delivery. But all the action, you know, it's not been too much action from the bat at the moment as, uh, as Mohammed gets another single. He gives the strike back to Alarm. Well, he's the one man who is at least hitting boundaries, but they've really got to go some here, get the acceleration in. That was the problem in that semi-final. They made it a good start, but then once they got to the 100 after eight, they things slowed down. That's a nice-looking shot. This time, 
No mistakes from me. Coley and everybody is uh, giving him uh, a little clap. Coley is saying, hey, guys, those two that went through were well, my fault. It was the bounce. Anyway, he makes a stop. The Shanta comes back in again. This is hit pretty well. It will be one bounce and dealt with by the fielder. Gets hands behind it. Nice bit of work. He's uh, turned out to be quite a quite a good player for his side as uh, Jashak Kodak. Yeah, is that... Uh Stunt. Uh, he's put pretty well, isn't he, in all fairness? Getting it in the right area. outside edge and dropped, put down by the keeper in Amran Haida. Good chase, though, from, uh, from Cosmin. A little, uh, it'll be just one. Good chase, though, but yeah, put down by Haida. Yeah, let's see this again. He gets a big swing and it goes for it with one mitt as one of those uh, super wasps comes in. Now that's the thing when we open things up, it's easy for them to get in. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. Oh, oh Lodge, adios, Palota. This is huge. What a big hit. Manos arriba, Mitro. Porque eso es una grande. And Adil Mohamed, well, that was, is what we know he can do. And from here on in, that's what he has to do. Yeah, he's got to go big now, isn't he? Look at that. He makes it into a slot delivery and gets all of it. Makes use of the extra pace and... What was that there? What are you pointing at? What I think Nishan Devray like that. Ah, good. Square leg umpire went, ooh, well, he goes back to back, and it's two on a row. Bole, 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 kina sona. And uh, Adil finally gets going. Oh, that's nice. Right out the middle. Sweeter than a bowl of rasmalai. Yeah, we were waiting for this, weren't we? We were saying, well, when's it going to come? But this time, he's uh, he's got all of it. He also at the end of the over. So slightly better. 45 for one. After six, well, maybe they're going to do a bit different to what they did in the semi-final and go quicker and bigger towards the end of the innings. But as long as they get to that sort of, I would say, they've got to be looking for a 110-plus goal here. I mean, all right, no Moyes in the side, but still plenty of good batting, as we know, from the Gladiators. And so here he is, Gosmin comes on. Man who has always found a way to pick up a wicket or two. I say a wicket or two, the way he started, he was picking picking up fives, fours and threes. He really was. To start to run this a bit wide. Could have been left. Batter chose to play for it. Play at it. Okay, here we go. Now, can he continue in his hit? Six hitting spree. He'll have a go. And rocks back, but plays it straight to the field. It will just be a single. Yeah, just one. And uh, gets it uh, gets it away to the onside. Well fielded by that's uh Budica. Who uh, gets that one? And uh, yeah, at the moment though, you know, it's looking like they're going to finish in a very subpar total here. Comes down, gone for it. Hasn't quite got all of it though. Oh, well fielded. Great bit of work in the end from Mendes. That one bounced just in front of him. They're the awkward ones that you got to con uh, contend with, but he got enough behind it, didn't he? Yeah, does really well. I'm thinking this is game for four because it was rocketed. It was travelling. Mendes though had other ideas. Down the leg side, not the best of deliveries. The work to be done there by the man on the 45, and he can't get there. Four runs. Guatro Guerreras is a long, hard chase, but uh, Adil Mohamed gets another boundary, so he spent a bit of a time at the other end, either watching batters swinging and missing or watching the likes of an arm get a few out of the middle. Now it's his turn, and uh, he's going pretty well. So these two have finally woken up. The 50 comes up. I've finally woken up as well. It was a bit of a slow start, wasn't it? it? That's the problem. When you have a break, you need some excitement to start you off. We haven't had it, but it's happening now. Hey, rather and sooner rather than later. And here goes another, Charlie. Uh, Adios, Pelota. Bole, bole, bole. I mean, that's a great catch taken out there by uh, Senum Perea. The only problem is the ball has already gone out of uh, the field of play. So six runs. Yeah, nice looking shot again. He's picked it up nicely, isn't he? And Cosman, he's not having a great day, is he? Because he went for 30-odd in the first game. Oh, hello, up in the air. Has he got all of it, though? Yeah, I think yes. As, uh, that was Mendes who was eyeing it up. It was anywhere near him. I think he was going to have it because he's been pretty good out there. So it's raining sixes all of a sudden. The acceleration is coming from UNEFs and it's coming from both the big hitters. But uh, Adil Mohamed now, he is racing along. Yeah, he certainly is. End of the seventh, 64 for one 
after seven. And hey, this is what's coming up over the next few weeks. Of course, we uh, finish up here with some internationals this weekend. Then we move uh, move over to Hungary. Rico makes his way over there on Sunday. I'll be here on my own holding down the fort. Netherlands uh, Tri-Series. That happens during the second week of the Hungarian event, as does the Medina and Valletta Cup. Then we make our way over to the Czech Republic. And during that, there's an ice series. So a lot of cricket still to come here. Plenty of cricket still to come. Of course, that's just a snapshot. As uh, Wakas comes back in, and it's a swing and a miss. Wakas Ahmed. And it looks like a man who's, uh, yeah, he's been through the walls for his side, hasn't he? Look, he's got a, well, that's hello, better. Hello. That's what we like to see. Hello. Oh, there you go. He was looking like a man that's been through the walls, but now all of a sudden, he's chirped up. da 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 Come on in, Wakas. Come on. Oh, the effort ball, but it get pushed, it get puts away, and he's got enough on this. It'll be one bounce for Alam getting involved now. And well, that little dance, he thought he was going to come in and, uh, and bowl a ripper, but he doesn't. It sits up nicely well, swatted away. Yeah, the acceleration continues. It's, it's been a fair bit of acceleration. They were 29 at the halfway point, so starting to get going now. That's good. Cosmin Zabuhu, he went for 19 of his over. The shunter was pretty expensive as well. This one is right on the pegs and just gets played away to the man who comes across from the square leg position. Keeps it to one. And just a single. Do you know what I'm really annoyed at? I what haven't had a it? catch. I haven't had a catch. Y yeah. You've, you've, there's been a few, but you've always been you've been doing other things, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. I've been doing my job. But, hey, there's still this match and another to go, so you might get one. Well, if, right, listen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a... Right, if there's anything here... I'm going for it. All right, between here and that banner, right? On the other side of the scaffold. I reckon you've got time to get there. What, take okay. head, what headset off? Headset so off. So turn it off, take it button off. Button off, headset off, and go. Okay. And if okay. I make a fool out of myself, does that mean you're going to buy me a beer later? I think the good thing is you might be, you know, like I don't think I'll get caught. You yeah. might be out of the camera, so you might be okay. Well, that's true. Who's up there? Is it? Okay. Race is on. Will they go for two? They will. And it'll get there. That's good running. Yeah, good, uh, good commitment. Yeah, Kirill's is up there at the moment. I wonder if Kirill's going to give me a wave. <laughs> Stand here and wait, see if he gives me a wave. Someone's going to, uh, Elsa's going to tell him. I'm gonna... liking this one, Waka. I don't know if we ever replay this. Just watch this. Waka. Watch this. We hey! just a little bit, and then he blows the kiss. I da think he just taken a few of the cover. A little bit quicker. Off my bowling, please. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, uh, that's a dot. He said, let me entertain you. Yeah, well, oh, Waka's army, we Williams. do like it. Do you like a bit of Robbie Williams? A little bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind bit it at all. Bit of rock DJ. All. Don't mind it at bit all. Of angels. Yeah. I've seen him live. Yeah. Yeah, saw him in Madrid. Very good. I haven't heard much of him lately, though. What's nah, he he's just sort of doing these silly little gigs and getting money because he's already got enough renting nah, yachts. I see. These private gigs, right? Shrugs asked if, am I, if I'm doing the uh, the Portugal gig like last year. Um, no. End of the over, by the way. 73 for one after eight. No, I'm not. Rico's going back. He's going back after a hiatus last year. He's going back for the first week, and he's excited to do so. And then, uh, yeah, well, Corey will be taking the second week. Corey, first time experience coin run. That could be interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I always started off. It'd be good to go back and see uh, the setup there and how it's how it's uh, improved. And great to see the crew there at Coinbra. So I'm looking forward to that, and seeing the girls as well, the likes of Anna and Kirsty, and uh, that will be they'll be certainly be giving me loads of the nuns belly. Because hmm. they's they're delicious, the nuns belly. Yeah. I like those. The old, the old, uh, the tarts, the nata tarts. Thank you very much. But yeah, look, and uh, it will be good. And of course, I started off. And then I'll have a bit of a break. Corey will come. I was and then say you've been, uh, you've done, you've done quite a lot recently. Tazib comes into the attack, by the way, for this ninth over. Just one into the onside. Yeah, you've been, you're going to be, you've been busy, aren't you? I've been very busy. Very so busy. you have been. Where were you before here? Did you come from? You came from Paris, right? Yeah. Here from Paris, you've been here for a week and a bit. A week and a bit. A week and a bit. Nice. And then, then you're going to Hungary for two weeks. Hungary for two weeks. Then Portugal. Portugal for, for a week. A week. And then you're off. And I get a break. Then I'll finish Switzerland with Vinny as this one probably catchable. And oh, unlucky, Mendes. Uh, he just judges this wrong. I think I think he feels he needs to go up higher. He jumps up, but the ball. Stays around about chest height. I think that's what you'll see here. So he gets a jump in here where he really probably didn't need to. And then he passed it for six. So six runs, valuable runs. Yeah, he didn't need to jump, did he? Oh, well weighted and swats this away out to 
deep point for one. Yeah, so you're busy. I've been busy. busy, busy. I, busy. You know, I, sh I should check this, but I get the feeling that I've uh, probably, I think the, the 2,000 has come up, 2,000 matches. I was thinking this to myself during my day, what, days off. This? I, I didn't go back and like go with it back, but I reckon, yeah, around about 2,000 matches now, oh. Charlie. Oh, that is huge. That is looking to go in the lake, I think. If the fence doesn't stop it, he goes over the fence and he keeps rolling, rolling, rolling into the lake. Well, over it goes. He's absolutely mashed this. Well, that's brutal. It's a monster hit and watch it disappear. One bounce and it's gone in the lake. Bring another one out, please. And, uh, okay, into the 80. So, looking here, maybe getting to that sort of 100 and something score if these two keep going. Yeah, they're thinking about it, aren't they? And, uh, well, hang on, look at this. So, you know when Shub was here, when Shub was doing the PMOA? I'm yeah. going to say this loudly. When Shub was doing PMOA, he would go down and get the balls. Ravi Panchal has says, no, I'm not doing it. Someone else go do it. And he sent the box. He sent the box. Yeah. <laughs> he sent James the box. Oh, Hello. wow. Good luck. He's a long way up. He's got a long way to come to field. He's got his heart on that. He Mendes again. And he puts it down, Mendes. Oh, well, he's still stinging. His fingers are still stinging from the last time. And Mendes, well, he was the star out there in the field, comes there. I don't think he really wanted it 100% because uh. I think his fingers are still hurting. He thinks he's in position, but he doesn't take it. Tazib sees the chance go down. Alarm. Oh, swings hard. Misses. A bit of swinging and missing going on there. That will be the end of the over. 88 for one. At the end of the nines. And you can see, if they were going at this sort of pace at the beginning, they would have got to a decent score. Never really got going until the halfway mark. No, they never did, did they? And uh, you can see there, though, the bowlers that have come on in the sort of latter stage, they've taken a bit of a hit. He, a hit, haven't they? 19 off Savoy's over. 15 off Ul Hassan's. Yeah, at the moment, it's uh, yeah, not great. It really isn't uh, great. They're coming back and, yeah, lying up that 100, lying up the three figures, which... Uh, well, I would have said that they uh, they had no idea of, uh, of no chance of getting that. Kirill still hasn't hasn't waved at me yet. I'm still annoyed. <laughs> he's concentrating. He's following the ball up there. Is it Helsinki himself? Oh, I've dropped me. Oh, hang on a sec. Clearly, it just gets played away. So, Adil Mohammed so just gets a single. You thought he would have uh, lashed at this to try and. Get to his 50. He gives the strike back to Alarm. Alarm. I got my wave. Did you get your wave? I got my wave. I kicked on the scaffold. <laughs> okay, then. Come on, then, Curly. He hasn't picked up a wicket. Oh, well, bowled. Too quick for Alarm. He was trying to turn it into the onside, but got no way near it, in all fairness. Into the pads. Hey, I haven't uh, haven't heard from you uh -oh. in terms of this day in history. Come on, tell me something. I haven't heard what day it is today. I, I told you one already. What was it? I told you one already. Uh, you see, you're not listening. Oh, to yeah, no, it was cream or something, the, the English one. Yeah, yeah, cream tea day. So the, in England today, not nice. a lot of people having cream teas and they're doing it for charity. Uh, for ch what? Hang on, what? Cream tea. So you organise a cream tea and all the money that you raise goes to a designated charity. You're looking, you see, you ain't done your homework. See, no, I, I just, done this. I just no. flick this button here. You see here, look, and I can tell you if you already that's tried called, it. That's, called, that's called the notes button. Yeah. There you go. Well done. Well yeah. played. This would be a good one, wouldn't it? <laughs> What's that? That one. Go on. I'll let you read it out. Do you want me to? Go no, on. I don't want to read me. that out. No. Iron Mike. Iron Mike. Iron Mike. Mike was born. Yeah, it was born in this day. Oh. And well, I tell you what, that is big. And this is right on cue. We're talking about what days it is. It is International Asteroid Day. And that one, well, that is up to the task of any asteroid that's coming down this way. Well, this is an asteroid blaster. What a hit. Do you want us to talk to the interesting information behind asteroids? Oh, hang on a sec. Don't do that. What? 50 up for Adil <laughs> Mohammed. <laughs> it's 54, not out of 25. I guess we should probably concentrate on the cricket because we're coming down to the last two Here deliveries then. And, uh, yeah, he's going to look to go big now. And he's got enough on it. It's just going to be one. It's a good bit of fielding, aggressive fielding as well. Comes in like lightning. Yeah, we'll save that story for the, for we'll the second save those. Yeah, we got, We've got loads of time. So, Paul to go. Can they get the 100 up? There's a, look, well batted to Adil Mohammed. At least he did finally get going. He gets his 50, 55. I'm saying no. Is he saying no to the 100? Mm -hmm. All right, you're saying no. 99. I'm saying an arm who's missed so many will...
take this to the boundary. 99. And he does it. No. <laughs> Go on, no, run they're gonna hard. get one. They're gonna get one. Run Come on. Hard. They're not even gonna get there you go. To see, the 99. See? 90, no, 99 target. Oh, the target. <laughs> Fair place. <laughs> so it yeah. just never it happened where, I mean, second part, they got gained, didn't they? 29, it was at a halfway point. Problem was the first five overs. Nothing really happened. So it's gonna be a below par score, you'd have to say, but UNFs, they get to 98. And uh, only lose the one wicket as well. That's what makes it more disappointing for me. Yeah, big time. Let's take a look at the highlights, though, of this first innings. And, uh, well, it will be a disappointing start because they didn't really get too much away. Well, that one lifted after hitting the crack. Well, that white bit of paint. And uh, there's a few uh, interesting ones here. This was a good catch, though, wasn't it? He uh, well, almost lost his balance. Had a hug to congratulate him. But then that brought together these two. And, uh, well, these two ended up uh, doing the, the job, didn't they, as... Uh, Ended up hitting a nice couple of boundaries in all fairness. And, uh, yeah, they've been able to, to really sort of take the attack. And uh, although it was a little bit uh, a bit of a waiting game on it, however, this time around, though, they were finally able to get things going due to some big overs, mostly against the bowling of Cosmin, but also against uh, the likes of Rana as well. In all uh, or Ahmed, I should say. Wakas Ahmed, that is. Big, uh, uh, some big hits. And there you go. See, he's having a good time. His old Ahmed. And, well, this was a big one down the ground. Should have been caught because he uh, decided to have a little bit of a jump. But then realised he probably didn't need to in the first place originally anyway. And uh, you yeah, see here, it was, these were a couple of big shots towards the end. And this was how he did it. Brought up his half century in style. And, uh, yeah, that was rather, rather sensational. And let's take a look then here at uh, at the scorecard. And uh, yeah, realistically, it was just about the uh, the three openers or the two openers, and then coming in at number three, Sharp Alarm not out off 30 for 35. Or 26. Well, 26 deliveries was enough for Adil Mohammed to bring up his half century though. 55 not out for him, and just the one run off eight deliveries for Mohammed Yasir here for UNEFs. And uh, yeah, they're getting up to 98 with seven extras alongside those runs off the bat as well. Take a look at the bowlers scorecard then here this time around. And uh, yeah, a mixture of a bag, really. I mean, it was a good start for the openers, I have to say. Kudka and Kohli bowled pretty well. However, it was the mo those overs from Cosmin and Tazib, who, uh, which uh, got the, got the uh, opposite opposition back in the game as uh, we get ever and ever closer to this final that is coming up very, very soon. But at the moment, all you've got to remember is that we've got this innings to go. 99 needed for victory. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Bucharest, Romania, with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside the one, the only, Rico Fool. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you very shortly on the European Cricket Network.
Good afternoon. Welcome back to sunny Bucharest here in Romania as we are ready to get things underway then for this response of the gladiators here as they are looking to chase down this uh, this target. It's a pretty measly target of 99 off of their 10 overs. So 9.9 .9 required an over clearly. And it's not going to be a, an easy one. They've got to negotiate a few tr a few uh, difficult bowlers here. Of course, Haider Ali being one of them. But yeah, it wasn't the greatest of innings in all fairness from Eunice. They were able to finally get going. But, but they realistically were, uh, were finding ways of of getting going slowly towards the back end of the innings, which meant they were able to motor along to a ninth score of 98. At one point, though, they were uh, they were struggling, and they looked as if they weren't going to get to a score of potentially 60, maybe even 50. But yeah, they finally got able to were able to get going, and uh, yeah, good to see that they there is a total here. So we do have a game. There's something for them to bowl at here for UNEFs, and of course the Gladiators looking to chase it down in uh, in quick time here. But it's uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here for the, of course the bronze final, the main final. The final is coming up in, uh, in around about an hour, an hour and ten minutes' time. We're looking forward to it, but before that, we've got to find out who's going to come third. Here's Hyder Ali then. Oh, and this is uh, this is just going to be uh, a dot to start. Good start from Hyder Ali. Response then the second delivery is uh, pulled into the onside once more, but uh, yeah, no run then. Of course, deceive opening alongside uh, Coley. And uh, yeah, well you see, you can just hear that wind picking up slightly, but it's uh, it's not too much. It's a nice breeze here on the. On the outfield, it sort of cools everyone down ever so slightly. It's another dot ball there. That's three in a row now for uh, for Tassiv. Unable to get going at the moment. Right, good afternoon to Neville, who's jumped in the chat. Neville, always a pleasure to see you. And, uh, yeah, glad you're joining us here for the bronze final, of course. And then the uh, the, bond, the uh, final. Oh, I tell you what. He's tried to get nifty. Umpire, umpire takes a look. Has a think. And he says, yep, do you know what, for me, that's good. And he's taken a good amount of time to have a look at this one. Let's see here, steps right across. Oh, I tell you what, could be close. It just depends if it do if it's doing more. And uh, it's out swing, isn't it? He steps right across. Yeah, I mean, that's a tough one. There, isn't it? Let's see here, I mean, impact there, just on off stump. So it's nice and full as well. And uh, yeah, you can see there, impact is uh, is on the line of off stump, nice and full, probably going on to, to clip off stump. So umpire's cool would probably be the reality there. So uh, a wicket goes and it's none for one here. Pulled into the onside, and Pereira, who's coming in at three, we well, might as well be the opener because, of course, no runs on the board. And yeah, that uh, that wicket. I'm sure there'll be a few uh, there'll be a few conversations about that one. But yeah, in my opinion, it could have just gone on to to hit the stumps. And the thing that I do that I did like to see was that the umpire took his time and really considered his uh, his options. And, uh, I think there was enough. So if if, if you if we had the DRS system, I think it would have been. Impact in line, contact would have been, uh, well, I'll tell you what, hang on a second. Taken. And, well, this time it's Coley who goes for a golden duck. And uh, he's trying to pull this and gets it completely wrong. And yet again, Hyder Ali proving to be costly and proving to be too much here. As, uh, yeah, this one, it just gets up really. And 
Yeah, he has to go. There's Golden Derek. He's back. And uh, he's been on a bit of a hiatus, but he is back. And that will be a uh, another one to go. That's going to be two. That's going to be one for two then here for the Bucharest Gladiators. Rico Fool joins me back. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, a yeah, good start here for, for, the, for UNEFs here, isn't it? Tremendous start. And one man, and I said, has been bowling lightning quick. Probably the quickest bowler that we've seen in this series so far. Well, he's making things happen, isn't he? And it's Haider Ali. They are up and about because the Bucharest Gladiators, they are one on the board, two wickets down. And look at the batters that have gone without scoring. Two men that have been scoring runs for fun. So Hassan has gone and Kohli goes as well. So what a great first over that was from Haider. Yeah, and uh, he's such a tricky bowler to, to deal with, isn't he? And... Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's proven to to be a really good one to have in this in this lineup. You probably feel that in in fairness, without him, it'd be a tough one here for for Eunice. But yeah, making a light work of this top order, good shot this time. Push and it's going to split the infield. Pavel Florin will give chase, and he doesn't get that. Was expecting him to to uh, to go and get the uh, the ball and get the diving, but he doesn't. And it's a welcome boundary then. It's the first one of the uh, of the innings. Yeah, that's nice. He plays in the, in the gap and Pavel, he's after it. And uh, even Pavel, he can't get to it. It's four runs. Kafi Kocic is good. Pavel Florin, but Joka Lagia. So, Sadun Pereira and uh, Lahiri Dushanta, they've got some work to do here. It's a nice start from Pereira. Nice looking shot. Yeah, Ricky Gill then. He uh, just it's a little bit too full wasn't it at the moment and well outside edge on it's through oh. and uh, well I tell you what man he's having a bad time of it this game is Mohamed Yassir it was an eight ball one in the first innings well now he's just put down an absolute uh, absolute dolly really yeah Pereira should have been gone shouldn't he gets dropped on five and how important could that be there we go Dave B that's just for you there is uh, that looks at that's uh, Daniela up there there you go Dave B you happy now you can uh, get a witness of it there. So uh, that's who it is. Yes, I did go hunting for Daniela. Couldn't find her anywhere, mind you. It's a good shot, spot to beat as this one's up in the air. They're fighting over it. Oh no, what is going on? This is absolutely crazy as Jut and Wakas get involved in an absolute clangor. Well, they've just seen one drop behind by Yesir. Well, this one is a bit of a nightmare. Wakas, Rana, and Yunus Jut getting all over each other, and they drop an absolute sitter. Oh, what a disastrous moment that is. So both batters have had a life. Dushanta gets dropped on zero. Well, what next in this match? As this one gets played away, no run. Well, this, oh, there's a real mix-up. It gets thrown to the wrong end because the strike batter Pereira just stood there and watched as Dushanta is running at him. Just watch, he stands still. He's not even looking at his partner. And uh, oh, a direct hit probably could have had him in trouble that end. But if it went to the other end, definitely would have been issues there for Pereira. It's all happening out there, Charlie. Yeah, it certainly is. I'm. Uh, <laughs> oh, another outside edge. This time it's uh, out of the reach of Yazir. He can't quite get a glove on this one. He gave it a good go, but reaction weren't quite there. And it's, uh, yeah, it'll run away towards the boundary. Keeper probably should have done a little bit better. But even still, though, it's four and four valuable runs. And that will be the end of the second. And it's uh, yeah, it's going to be 12 for two. And uh, well, we're foc I'm focusing on the chat a little bit here because it's all kicking off. Everything's going on all, all at once here. And I'm sort of trying to mediate and make sure everyone's doing as they're told and reminding people <laughs> of the rules. Rico, whilst I'm doing that, talk us through these I'm squads. Gonna have a, yeah, let's talk about some of the key uh, performers that we're going to see for Romania. Let's keep that up for a while. We've got a bit of time. Sathisan's going to be here. Mamik Kohli. Of course, and nice to see Aftab Kayan there as well. Cosmin, well, how do you keep him out? He's been great. The Fernandos are going to be key. Thomas Fernando is there as well, along with Dylan. And then, well, Hassan, though he's uh, gone off the ball a little bit. Bilal Ahmed, watch out for him. He has been sensational. Yes, Ali really holds his spot as well, as well as Haider Ali. I think Haider Ali, uh, he's going to cause some trouble for some of the batters. Okay, they're going to make a change here. Me, I'm not agreeing with this. I think the way that Haider Ali bowled that first over, if I'm the captain here of UNEFs, I'm calling him back on and saying, look, I don't want you to bowl the last. I want you to bowl here now. Take another couple of wickets and win this match for me. But they've gone with Usman Ali. 
Usman. And, uh, that's nicely bowled. It gets played away. He's not bowling with a great deal of pace, so little shots like that. I'm not going to not going to have issues with the ball racing to the boundary. Uh, here we go, Usman. <laughs> Once again, that's well bowled. Good field, full delivery coming. Left arm round the wicket. There's the man of the moment at the moment. Yeah, I would have him bowling right now. And uh, I'm going to have a look at. Okay, you can talk now. Yeah, come on then. I'll I've take over. You have a catch up. Yeah, What's no, going I, on here? Listen, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just getting everything in there. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting it all, uh, all to, all to wax. This time inside edge, but it's going to run away as Pereira looks to turn this one into the onside. He gets a little, little snick on it. Quite a thick one at that, but it's enough, and it will race away towards the boundary. Welcome four again. Yeah, no, uh, listen, just reminding everyone, you know, it's, uh, you know, we love to have fun, but there's rule, there are rules to play by. Be nice, yeah, that's what we say, be nice, nice not you, I was be nice, say. everybody, Come on, be Rachel. nice, you've got to be nice to each other, it's Friday, it's a lovely day, the weekend is coming up, we got uh, international cricket here tomorrow as well, and oh, good ball again, he's bowled very well. As Ali, this is turning out to be so far a very good over. He's bowled at the stumps, putting no pace on it, just wicked to wicked bowling and just saying to the batters, it's there if you want it. But uh, if you make a full shot, I'm going to get the wicket. So this inning starting very much the way that UNEF started, slow, but wickets are tumbling as well. And as well bowled, it just gets respected by Dushanta, who's uh, he and Pereira both lucky to be there. Pereira dropped on five. Dushanta was dropped when he was, well, he hadn't scored, and the score now moves to 19 for two. But uh, I suppose they are ahead of where Yunus were, but they have lost that one wicket more, and that graphic there shows you that they are 19 to 13 at the moment. Yeah, look at that first over as well. I mean, one for one off the over, and yeah, it's a good one of that as well. It was Hyder Ali, one for one off that over, but picking up two. Uh, Two wickets. <laughs> so here we go as Adil Mohammed comes into bowl, tosses it right up there. The good bit of bat onto this. It bobbles away a few times as the throw comes in from Ricky Gill. So a wicket here. That's what they're looking for. Get a breakthrough here. Get a wicket. And uh, they'll feel they're on top. But both these batters wanted to take command. Just waits on that one and plays it well. That's sensible batting. That's what's called for at the moment. The rate is just under that 12. But they need to be looking to try and pick up your boundary here and there as well. Short. Not a good delivery. Latches onto it pretty quickly. He's hanging up in the air though. And it's another drop. Oh, well, well, I'll tell you what. They're dropping these catches. You might as well say they're dropping the bronze medals here as well because if you don't take your catches, then you're not going to win matches. That's the third one to go down. He does everything right apart from take the catch. Another one goes down. And, uh, it is uh, Pereira who gets dropped again. This time he gets dropped on 14. Not do themselves any favours, UNEFs here. Yep, absolutely. And... Uh, Oh dear, what a Friday. Oh, over the top, and Pavel can't quite cut this off, but should be cut off by uh, Alarm, and is. Does, good, uh, does a good effort there. Shabba, shabba, shabba. You see, UNEFs are really trying to get the guys to to lift their game once more. A deal. Bowls well. Finishes with a single. Singles is, UNEFs at the moment won't mind the singles. Like that over there. That's a win-win for UNEFs. Just a, a run of all from Adil Mohamed. Six come off it. They're needing to go at around about 12. So that will only take the rate higher up. So UNEFs won't mind that. They won't be worried. If they're not taking wickets. It'd be about containing. That's what it's about, containment. And at the moment, they're doing pretty well. Yeah, look at that uh, that run rate required. Leading it to be just under that 10 and over, isn't it? 9.8 at the start, but... Yeah, they're uh, they're well below it, aren't they, at this uh, at this current moment in time? But well, Shrug put in that in the chat saying drop catches, lose matches. I'd have to agree. 
But uh, only time will tell how crucial it will be. Here is going to be Jutt then. And, uh, oh, that's huge. I tell you what, that's massive. And, uh, well, Kirill's in the... Uh, he was up there, looked a little bit a uh, little bit worried for a moment, but he was okay, a little bit shaky, but that's gone all the way, that's six. Yeah, well, Eunice Jutt, who was uh, well responsible in that ugly mix-up to drop Dushanta, now he bowls at him, and Dushanta is rubbing it in as he smashes that one down the ground. Great footwork as he hits it for a big six. And this time, he doesn't quite get it out the middle. Haider is coming in with the ball dropping in front of him. It would just be a single. One thing I want to ask you, Rico, how much water have you had today? I'm not done bad, actually. I'm almost done with that, the first bottle. That's good for me, you know that. Well, no, still, not enough, though. Oh, carved away. That's such a good shot. And you're not cutting that one off because he's middled that this time as Pereira. We know he likes to, to play on the off, on the onside, but he, uh, he stays leg side of it, which is what we like to see because it opens up the offside for him. And, uh, well, this is why, because it's uh, crucial to your, to your batting Arsenal, and he's got this one away nicely. Yeah, beautiful shot, Sudan Pereira. He, like Dushanta, looking to make the most of the lives that they've had. Pereira dropped on five and on 14. So, Jutt. They'll still take the run and take whatever. That's on offer. <laughs> I'm turning it off. That's all I'm saying. I'm turning it off. I've had enough. I'm quick. I'm uh, I'm hanging up the uh, the keyboard for the day. Here's Jutt then. He's gone for twelve. <laughs> oh dear! This is a good shot into the onside. That'll. Uh... Here comes the throw. They'll B1. take it on the bounce. <laughs> Jutt walks back to his mark. Here comes, it is just again, and this is, oh, Ooh. almost carries. Was this a chance as well as the throw comes in? Doesn't seem to be buzzes, anybody buzzes. Oh, no, never mind. backing it up. I mean, <laughs> look where the ball ends up. Why are they not running because, here? I don't uh, know. It must have clocked the batter, maybe. I don't know, because Deshant has gone for a little marathon after he's gone walkabouts. Watch this. Look how far he carries himself on through. Off on he goes, and... Uh, Oh, oh, it's on the lid, you know? Oh, I didn't realise. It's on the lid, so that's why they don't run. That is the end of the year. Very sporting, because it was purely accidental. And uh, at the end, at the halfway point, 39 for two. And this is, uh, well, what's coming up on Monday in Budapest. Well, we've got a fair bit of cricket still here remaining before then. Might as well have a look at it. The Royal Tigers are up against a United Slot of Budapest. And uh, we're going to see the blinders as well, of course. We know there's quite a few of our crew, the likes of Stefan Goose, the tournament referee, Meta Darby, and also Marzi, that are part of the blinders. So that'll be interesting. So plenty of cricket, remember, coming up in starting on Bucharest, where I'll be there along with Corey Ruckus. But, of course, we're not done and dusted here yet. We've still got, of course, the final after this. And then, of course, we got the ECIs this weekend. So we're going to miss as uh, Ricky Gill. Ricky, Ricky Gill. Comes back out to, into the middle, and uh, he's uh, he started well, isn't he? Bit of a dot ball to start. Another dot there. And, uh, let's say, Daniela, I know where you are now, as this has been hoiked in the air, and we go all the way. Well, I was over there looking for you. I was everywhere looking for you. Daniela, when you've, when you've had your picnic... Do come over and say hello. I was looking for you when I see you again. I would say hello. Last time you were here, of course, you had uh, you had a chance to say hi to Charlie, but I was on the air. I'd love to say hello to you and uh, meet you in person. It's great to see that you come all the way here. And uh, I think you're absolutely right. People that are watching, it's uh, no justice watching on the screen. When you come here, you just see how amazing it looks. And, well, this doesn't look too amazing. I think Pavel is saying, I took the pace off it for you. You can do the rest. And <laughs> that's exactly what Pavel is saying. And there he is, Pavel <laughs> Flory. He's a character, isn't he, old Pavel? He's a character, but a legend of the game here in Romania, I have to say. And, uh, yeah, no, he's uh, just, yeah, he took the sting out of it, didn't he? He did well, though. Managed to get enough on it. This has been uh, been a good over. Of course, six and then two. 
Oh, good shot. And this is going to be one bounce for. And he played a lot of shots behind Square on the offside. Now he goes in front of Square, moves the fielder, and he gets the result because he gets four. Beautiful shot this is, really is. I mean, look at the footwork and look at the way he gets right into a good position. He knows there's the fielder out there. He knows he has to be wide from him, and he does. This is turning out to be a classy knock. It was a nervous start. As you have a look at the field, you can see two men out there, but he hits that ball so well. And uh, you've got just a square leg and uh, long on back on the leg side. So they're packing out the offside, but they can't stop him playing his favourite shots. This time he gets a swivel in and uh, hits it to square. We'll get picked up and it comes a throw from the man who's out there. That is uh, Burhan Haider. Need this breakthrough. I mean, they're, they're going to... They got themselves to blame here, UNFs. They got themselves the perfect start after setting a low total, a low target. But those drop catches are going to hurt them big time. And Pereira is making them pay. Dushanta, he's played some nice shots himself. As, uh, this time, he's tucked up nicely by Gill. It will be the end of the over. He will go for 25, and it's 53 for two at the end of six. Yeah, so looking to, to try and chase this down, of course, and it's uh, it's going to be maybe 46 needed off the last 24 deliveries. So four overs left, 46 needed. I'd still bat these two to chase it down, if I'm honest with you. One over, it changes the game. I still think that uh, that in reality, the Gladiators are, are on top here. One over can change. Of course, they've still got the uh, they've still got to face another over of Hyder. And Hyder only went for one in his over, but also picked up two scalps for it. So plenty of... Uh, plenty of Variables to consider, but I still think, uh, yeah, I still put Gladiators at the uh, at the top here at the moment. Yeah, deal bowled a very good first over. I think he went for a run of ball six, so he's looking to do the same here again. Yeah, Hyder still got a bowl, of course, but don't forget there's still plenty of batting to come as well for the Gladiators. Next scheduled to be in next is probably going to be Wakas Ahmed. Yeah, so they've got the batting as well. A deal. Can he keep things tidy? And asking the question, it's going down the leg side. Good running again. What these two have done, they've come together. They were under the cosh. They didn't look too confident when they were first out there. They gave chances, but one thing they kept doing, they kept the scoreboard ticking. They started with a bit of tiki-taka, and then they both of them started to play some nice shots. Pereira, though, has been fantastic on the offside. So he looks to face to Adil Mohammed again. Oh, oh dear, hang on. He's got you getting the old wafting, uh, got the old lightsaber out. Something's clearly upsetting. It might be some wasps, probably. Listen, I know how you feel, Pereira. I know, trust me. It's not fun. It's not fun. They're horrible creatures. They really are. 35 not out for him, or 20. Oh, it's hit hard it's down the ground. Yours, Hello. Charlie. It's yours. It's coming through. And well, I hit some Couldn't of the cables. Couldn't Otherwise, do anything. Uh, that would have uh, that would have been your, your ankles. But ah. hits it hard and straight. Another man was worried about his ankles was the bowler. A little bit too short. And the powerful hit from Pereira. I'm standing up. Because if another one comes, I want to be ready. And, uh, too many of these easy runs being given. Away. I'm certainly, if I'm bowling and the batters are taking runs like this to me, I mean, okay, you're probably saying we don't mind the singles, that it don't hurt us. But the thing is, they're getting a few boundaries here. So I'm saying I don't want them having that single. I want a man in there. Float it up, it's a uh, full toss, and it's, there's nobody at uh, square leg. That's going to be easy runs, not a good delivery from uh, Adil. Not able to match what he did in the first over this time round. No, you can't bolt there, can you? Because that just uh, that sits up nicely, and especially when you've got no one protecting you on that square leg boundary. That's just sort of easy pickings. And oh, De Santa at the moment, he's going well, isn't he? He's looking, uh, looking pretty content now on 22 off of uh, just 13. Looking to cash in, though, and get his team over the line here. Just under 11. Aye, oh, aye, aye. no, That no, is no. bad. It's going to be a race between the ball and the fielder. Somebody does get there. It's going to be wide. This is a terrible delivery. And the wicketkeeper, yes, here, just couldn't move to it. So I'm just having a look at the body language of Pavel. And Pavel is trying to make whatever gesture he can to his captain and says, bring me on. But to be honest, Pavel, I don't think it's you they need at the moment. You've got to go. Hide up. With the, yeah, you do. For me, I mean, I said it at the time. They went for Usman Ali to bowl the third. I would have gone straight back to Hyder Ali. You had the team under the cost. Go back to your main strike bowler. Couple more wickets. Either one of these two back in the shed. You would have had perhaps a game in the bag. So he's got to bowl the next. It's a bit of a full toss. Gets it wrong. Can they take it this time? They will. 
They get the wicket. Finally, they hold on to a catch after dropping three. And uh, Eunice Jutt does take the wicket. And with that, there'll be at least a few smiles on the faces of UNEFs because they managed to get Jacinta, but Pereira is still well set. And no doubt that uh, Waka Ramid will come out there now looking to hit big. Yeah, no uh, no real uh, surprise. And Well, I'll tell you what, if they're clever, they won't bring Pavel on. Well, team news is in then, folks, for this fan code European Cricket Series Romania final. It's coming up here in, uh, well, in, well, I don't know what, uh, <laughs> we'll ignore that. But uh, at the moment, yeah, you can see that, uh, yeah, the, the lineup's coming in here. And, uh, well, look, he's gone past the 1,000 mark as Taranjit Singh. More, more probably because of, his, uh, because of his bowling, not his batting. But, yeah, the news is from the toss already. You can just get a little preview there. Give him up to a batting. Yeah, well, Taranjit, don't forget, he did take a wicket and he did take a catch as well, which all helps your fantasy points. So he's gone past the 1,000. As you said, Charlie, you don't see that happening too much. DeChanto was the man out. He made a valuable 22 of uh, the 14 balls that he faced. He had a fair bit of luck as well, but they do get the wicket. 66 for three. And uh, Usman Ali, I, I just don't know why they're holding back uh, Hyder Ali. You've got to bowl him because otherwise his match could be gone from you. As this one is played over the top. It's going to be four more, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. This target, only 99. They made this mistake in the semi-final and they're repeating it again, Charlie, in this, the bronze final. Yeah, no, they are. It is too dissimilar. And you're right, Hyder, you've got to be bowling this over. You, you know, you've got to be, uh, you've got to be fluid with your, with your ideas. You've got to be able to look at them and go, OK, at the moment, it's probably not the right time. But now it's bang on time because you've got to try and restrict them. OK, it might be an over too early that, you want, that you're ideally trying to do it. Good, uh, good delivery, though. Good comeback from Ali. It might be an over a, a little bit earlier, but you've got to be fluid within your within your tactics. You really do. Yeah, you certainly do. <laughs> well, we know he's a character. Wakas Ahmed, he puts his arm around Usman Ali. Pereira on 45. This could be, and at the moment, looking like a match-winning innings for his side. It's a beautiful shot. Oh, that is glorious. Absolute glorious. Top draw. And James Kanta in the action as well. James, well done on you. Well, Ravi Panchal, this is the way to do it from the governor. And uh, there you go. He puts down a long <laughs> barrier, makes a stop. Well done. How's he if you're watching? He's learned from Austria. That's all I'm going to say. He has learned from Austria as James Cantor. And uh, yeah, he's having a bit of a stroll. Oh, shot. And this will be his 50. And I tell you what, Although it hasn't been one of the most powerful ones, it's been probably one of the more elegant ones that we've seen on the European Cricket Network. Yeah, a world batted indeed to Sidon Pereira. Brings his 50 up and 27 balls. OK, like we said, there were chances before. He was dropped on five, dropped on 14. But you've got to make the most of your chances. Just look at that wagon wheel. Some of those shots through cover and extra cover were delightful. As, uh, well, Usman Ali gets one to go past. Uh, Wakas. And, uh, well, Usman, he definitely is in the wars. You've definitely got to bring on uh, on on a hide up over, especially now that you've got Wakas in there at the moment. He probably might give us a little bit of a dance and a kiss, but at the uh, at the end of the day, he loves spin, so you can't go spin. And he will just punch this for one. He's you know, he's hobbling, but he gets there, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. So they get the single end of the over, 76, three wickets down. They, they did break that important partnership, but yeah, I mean, let's have a look. What did it do here? There's no point saving him to the last. They've held him back too late anyway. It looks like he is walking up to the bowler's end. And, uh, they need him to bowl a good one because it's 23 required in two overs. If he just, let's say he bowls one of his classic, let's say he bowls like that first over. Mm. Only can see just a couple. Wickets probably aren't important. Then it goes down to the last. Who did a bowl in the last? Though? Do you go with Jack? I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one. <laughs> it's Housie in the chat saying he didn't take it cleanly. Did uh, did James and oh, I'll be sure to pass on the uh, pass on the information or Housie drop him a text saying that the uh, the long barrier is also something that needs to be worked on. Here we go then. All happens in the ninth. Here's Hyder Ali. Good start. That's a dot. Yeah, that's what he's there to do here at the moment. Get those Yorker length deliveries that he bowls so well in. He's got a bit of pace, this boy, you know. And I'll be looking to see him bowl well in the ECIs coming up this weekend as well. His name is there. And of course, we'll be welcoming Croatia and also 
uh, the likes of uh, Slovenia when they come in and wish them all the best. Probably see them back at our base and wow, what a shot. Oh yeah, baby, what a shot. And here we go, we want the celebration. Well, he's doing his own commentary. We don't need us when uh, Wakas is there. What a shot this is for Wakas Ahmed. It's time for some sexy cricket as this goes all the way for six. What a hit. What a man. What he's, a star. <laughs> he's got all of that, hasn't he? Used the extra bit of pace from Hyder Ali nicely, isn't he? Well, we were giving him a bit of stick saying he doesn't really like facing pace. He's turned around and gone, ah, oh, don't worry, boys. I'm going to be fine facing him. No helmet. Well, first of all, we don't like that. We don't commend no, we don't. that. But when you're going to play shots like that, I don't mind it because he's playing beautifully. Come on, then. What's it, what's the next one? You think he go upstairs? Oh, he goes back of a length. They're going to try and come through for a, a cheeky single, and they will. So, uh, yeah, that six just changed it ever so slightly then here in uh, in fairness because, of course, now it's uh, yeah, 16 needed off nine. So, you know, one or, you know, ones or twos here. It's okay. Down to the last. Yeah, down to the last. There tingle? You yeah, I mean, Unifs. No, nah, no tingle. Oh, okay. Too many errors. You know, I don't think when you make errors like this, you, you don't, you lose matches. Is this one? Oh, beautiful. Absolute beautiful. What a shot from Pereira. What an innings this has been. I mean, you mentioned it yourself. I mean, he's putting his bat up again. He's already got his 50. Now, now they're applauding 54. And maybe he didn't acknowledge the 50. Well, he acknowledges this one. Just raised down the leg side slightly early. And what a delightful shot. This guy has got all the shots. He does. And this is what I'm saying. It's not brute power from him. It's genuinely like the glances off the pads that the, the drives through the covers. It's stunning cricket. I really do have to say it is stunning. Yeah, and well, hang on a second. New ball, please, potentially. Yeah, that is, uh, that's that been lost that's James, James. in the overgrowth. Well, James did well to get there pretty quickly. James is there. He's trying to find it. They're going to leave James. Oh, James, he's, <laughs> he's a bit of grisly action going on there with James Gunter. And he's saying, I'll find it. I'm not giving up. <laughs> He's in there yeah. somewhere. I don't know if we can if we can get a look on him potentially. We might have to wait till. Uh, I think he oh, comes. There he is. Look, he's he, out of there he somewhere. He comes <laughs> out. Ballless. He's thinking that grizzly cost us a fair few. Oh, I'll tell you what, James. Come round and take this one. Oh, that's going to be another boundary. And he's. Uh, it didn't quite catch all of it, but he got enough on it. And it races away. And all of a sudden, this total looks like it's going to be a measly one at this rate because they're getting there and they're getting there quickly. Yeah, well, Haider, I think even he looks like he's run out of steam. That's going to be one bounce, four runs. And uh, this knock from Sidon Pereira is definitely the match-winning one. And Yunus, well, they did take Jamata down to the last over. They lost that semi-final by seven wickets with four balls to go. And uh, it looks like it could be the same here. It's the last ball in this, the ninth. It's not the over that Haida wanted. And he might be a wide. It is a wide. He gets a little bit too much swing on this as he tries to adjust his line. So, almost there now. Too wide, isn't it? Bit of swing on it, but it doesn't pay off. And ah, he's got it. Thank you, James. Well, I don't think it's actually... I don't think that looks like it's the, the E-ball. It's got A-ball. He's got A-ball. Not the E-ball. Whether it's the ball, we don't know. Anyway, just realised something, Rico. What's that? Oh, I'm not going to tell you yet. Seven needed. That's another wide. Oh, dear, this isn't helping. Do you know, do you know what I've worked out? Go on. You know how in Bulgaria we were on, uh, I, w I was on a bit of a hill, supposedly. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, well, <laughs> you, of course you are, because I've been pacing up and down here for longer than you, so I'm going okay. downhill. You're uphill. Are you still trying to think you're, you're tall? <laughs> uh, we're not having this debate anymore. That's been done and dusted. <laughs> you failed. Diana, Diana. <laughs> done and dusted. One second after failed. this one. Oh, oh, that's even worse. No. What's happening? He's lost with it. With Ida here. He's got the yips. He's got the yips. And he D. He's got the yips. Go, turn around. Charlie, turn around. Charlie back wants... Back. Turn around. What do you want me to do Look now? that way. Oh, I'm looking this way. No, I'm going no, back no, look to that back way. here. Who's taller? <laughs> <laughs> I can see that you're on your tiptoes. <laughs> I'm you're not on, on your my tiptoes. I'm generally not on anyway, my tiptoes. Anyway, D says I'm taller. Uh, look, there you go. It's easy. Oh, oh, because you're on your tiptoes. No, that was before. You're on your tiptoes. Don't even lie to me. Just forget it. Drop it. Five off seven. Oh, shot. And that will the uh, that will be the, the scores tied because this over from Ali it's been a poor poor one at that and uh, yeah it goes and it goes for a fair few in in all fairness but yeah it's a slot ball and Hyder Ali he's been tonked for probably one of uh, very rare times in this tournament yeah it's an expensive over he actually goes magical that over goes for 21 his first over was uh, just uh, one run from it and two wickets. 
So not a good one, not what they needed, but I still do think they missed the trick. You, you bowl, and that's another reason for saying it. When he's on fire, you bowl him then, you finish him off. He could have done the, the job for him. He doesn't. So here we go. Scores are tied. Any run will do it. And that will be it. So the winners of the bronze final is not the one they wanted to win, but the team that were victorious in the final last year, Bucharest Gladiators, they bring up a victory in the bronze final. There's the celebrations from <laughs> Waka Hamid. Thank you for entertaining us. That's what I'll say to Waka. We do like the characters that we have on the European Cricket Network, but the man that will receive all the applause for an outstanding knock will be Sudan Pereira. Congratulations to the Gladiators. And that's a nice moment there from Pavel Florin. He's a, he's a, he's <laughs> like the work from Well, Pavel Wakanabin. was, but the other teammate turned around and just sort of said, hey, I didn't like that, stop it. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of that a few, one. A few little cheeky claps on the face, uh, but I tell you what, all smiles there from Wakas Ahmed. Well done to the Gladiators and well done to Wakas Ahmed as well. He's entertained us throughout this series. And I like you that as well. Plenty of chat, plenty of laughter between the players. Now that the action's done, They'll be the best of friends. Well, that's LBW. I don't think there was any doubt of that when I saw that live. I reckon it's full. I reckon it's crashing into middle and leg. Doesn't have to hit middle. Middle and leg? Are you joking? I'm Rico. I tell you what, I'm going to get this replay up again because the, the, the impact was already on the off stump and it was swinging away. It was close. I reckon. I, I gave it umpire's call. Cool. Anyway, these highlights then, they're going to be interesting and they're all going to be about one man. And uh, yeah, it's going to be all about Sarun Pereira who uh, has uh, bowled uh, batted even sensationally there were elements of power but there were also elements of just pure brilliance these are all shots of uh, of more than power than anything in reality but then there were some shots through the offside that realistically that were just pure elegance this one came into the queue well, not really it did but it didn't then well this was a bit of a rash shot up in the air and it was taken as uh, that was the the one of three wickets that went of course but this this is what i'm talking about that one of the best shots of the day yeah it's just class he's uh Oh, so that was, well, I suppose the feud was, oh, yeah, he didn't get it cleanly, but he got the body behind it. That wasn't a bad one either, though, from Waka's army, but you're right. I think he, and then that, you know, he says, okay, if you think I can't play on the leg side, I'll play that for you. And it's just, you know, sometimes we've seen players, and I think a few teams have had that, and the gladiators are on one side, because don't forget, they, uh, you know, they got uh, the likes of Moyes that came into the side, so he uh, managed to bat higher up the order. So some guys didn't probably get as many chances as perhaps that we know that if they were to perform, they could. And he's just one of them. I think he just batted beautifully. He put, a, he put his name up there, didn't he? As somebody that could hit the ball pretty well. This is it. This is the big one. It's the one that you've been waiting for. And look at that. These teams, you haven't been able to separate them. Nine and two, both of them going in two as they were going through the, the standings. Joe Marta, though, they do have a victory over Cluj. Remember, they bowled Cluj out and cheaply when they got that victory. So Cluj are wanting to bounce back. It's going to be an absolute classic. It's going to be a fiery affair. There's going to be a little bit of masala out there in the middle, Charlie. Yeah, it certainly is. That's coming up in around about 30, 35 minutes or so. Let's take a look at the scorecards, though, here. And, uh, yeah, well, those Grizzlies, they got sent firing, didn't they, by two batters, in fairness. It was uh, Pereira and Estanta who uh, really got the uh, the runs flowing for Bucharest Gladiators here. Wakasama came in, hit a good-looking shot, has to be said, but then turned around, and it was all about Pereira with some beautiful shots, mostly through the, that cover region. It was outstanding. Stunning viewing here in Romania, not only the cricket, but also the cricket ground and the surrounding areas. Let's take a look at the... Uh, at this, uh, at the bowling here, and in all fairness, it was uh, it was just not really meant to be. And uh, yeah, Hyder Ali not really going uh, not going as well as we've seen. But one thing I do want to say that Younes on debut, of course, here in, on the uh, European Cricket Series, and what a debut it's been for them. Yeah, I'm going to take nothing away from them. I think maybe today it's been a long day. It's been a disappointing one. I think they were pumped up for the semi-final. It just couldn't get that win over Jayamata. They did a lot of things right, didn't they? They took Jayamata deep, but they just missed the acceleration when they were batting to get themselves to that sort of 125, 130 score. That is what that meant they couldn't get that win over Jayamata. They're going into this one, of course, two teams. Both teams would have been disappointed that they weren't playing in the final, but the Bucharest Gladiators, they showed that all their knowledge and know-how to get them 
to the win. And really, when things are down, big players do have the performance. Adam Pereira, well, he's in the limelight with that knock, 62 of 30. Yep, he is. It is, uh, it is really, really good from them. And, uh, yep, so Bucharest Gladiators, they will take the bronze here in this European Cricket Series, Romania. Looking forward to what's coming up, though. The final, the big one. It's what this has all come down. It's what it's all come down to. 50-odd matches, 12 days of cricket, one sole winner. All left to come here. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series here in Romania with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside Rico Full. Don't go anywhere. We will see you very, very shortly on the European Cricket Network.
Hello cricket lovers and welcome to the middle of the Moara Vasia Cricket Ground. It's nice and hot at the moment. I tell you what, it's going to be pretty spicy here now as we get ready for the final. Kluge are taking on Jamata. A team, two teams that know each other very well. Kluge, of course, have dominated proceedings in Romania for some time. And they're up against Jamata. Jamata, a team made up of Kluge players. It's going to be an absolute cracker. You're watching the Fan Code European Cricket Series and the final is up next. Hello and welcome back. Well, I've got Sahi and Vasu from the two teams that are going to be playing in this final with me here now, hoping to get their hands onto this. Well, one of the two teams will. Well, we're getting ready for the coin toss. First of all, Vasu, if you're to win this and get your hands on it, who needs to play well? What do you have to do right? I think the bowlers have to pitch in. Bowlers win the, win the tournament. If they click, we'll win the tournament. There you go. And very simply for you, Sahi, same question. Yeah, I think... Uh, because we are batting first, we need to get a very good total on the board, I think 130 plus. And then bowling is good, Jamata's bowling, we have a lot of confidence in our bowling. Okay, well yeah. that's what needs to happen, let's join these two in the middle for the all-important coin toss with Stefan Gooch. Close to call. Heads. Heads is cold. It's tails. Oh, no, bad okay, good luck guys. Thank you. Have a great game. Thank All the you. very best. The Jim Archer have won the toss and they'll be having a bat. Sahi has won the toss for Jayamata and there's no hesitations there at all. He's going to have a bat first. I think whichever one of these two teams, Kluge or Jayamata, if they won the toss, they're going to have a bat. That's what they've done all the way through this series. And what they're looking to do is not make a change at all. That means Jayamata are going to go out there and they're going to be swinging. They're going to be trying to hit the ball as far as they can. I think this is where the key players come into play. Talking about key players, I think for Jayamata, Amir Ali has been in sensational form over 300 runs and he's got 15 wickets as well. And if you want to talk about catching, this guy can catch a ball. He's taken over 10 catches as well on the boundary. Kluge, they'll be hoping that Taranjit Singh can come good for them this time. In the semi-final, he only made four, but Satwin Nadi Gotla was fantastic with that half century. And the captain himself, Vasu Saini, made 49. So they're hoping that the key players can perform as well. And with the ball, I think, for Kluge, somebody like Mishra could be the key, swinging the ball around, or maybe even Athupathi. But me, I think in this one, that spin is going to be key for either side. Which one of the two spinners will perform well? Pereira or Taranjit Singh for Kluge? And then over to Jai Marta, it could be the bowling of either one of the Fernandes. Dylan Fernando has been really good and Chumkla Fernando as well. It's going to be a sensational final. The atmosphere is going to be brilliant and I know that Charlie Hunt is ready to go. Over to you, Charlie. The final about to start and Charlie, Jai Marta are going to be having a bat first. Yeah, thank you very much, Rico. Welcome, everybody, to this spectacle of what we are about to see. It is going to be the final here. Of course, we've uh, had the bronze final. We know who are coming third. We know that Bucharest Gladiators, they'll finish third here in this uh, in this tournament. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good chance here for, uh, for both sides here, of course. I mean, both sat at the top of the table. They were level on points after the... Uh, after the group stages and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to this rico full has uh, ran over from that position over there and he's joined me back in the commentary box rico and uh, yeah looking forward to this one here yeah it's going to be a very exciting match before the start of the match though we've had uh, some sad news because as you know that both kluge and Jaimata are part of the same club and a very key gentleman who's been a big sponsor of the club both Jaimata and kluge well, uh, their son Teja has uh, passed on some sad news that the father, Mukesh Putni, has uh, sadly passed away. So before the start of the final, quite fittingly really, both two teams are going to show a sign of respect for the late Mukesh Putni, who sadly passed away. He's been a, a proud partner and sponsor of both these clubs. So we'll see that uh, Clues and Joe Marta will come together. And you see that Joe Marta, they've got uh, the, the black armband in show of uh, show of support as well to the family and of course the wishes from everyone here of the European Cricket Network and our condolences go to the Mukesh uh, Putney's family and uh, we're going to just take a moment really to to just let the players and everybody around the ground pay their respect for this minute silence.
There we go. The minute silence held by Cluj and Jomato for the late Mukish Putney, who's been uh, somebody who's been a proud partner and sponsor of their clubs and uh, the community of Greece and Romania coming together to show their signs of respect. Rico Fall here, and alongside me is Charlie Hunt. As we get ready, Charlie, for the final. Yeah, what a touching moment that is, and uh, yeah, it just shows the importance of every member of every cricket club around the world. And yeah, you can see here that there's a, there's an embrace between a lot of the players, and which is really nice to see. I have to say, but we can take a look at the lineups here though, and we know a lot of these players. We know we we are familiar with all of them, and it's uh, yeah, it's going to be an absolute uh, cracking build up here between uh, these two, and it's all come down to this, hasn't it, Rico? 50-odd games, 12 days of cricket. And look at that. Well, if that doesn't tell you and that doesn't get you excited for uh, for this final, I don't know what does. The supercomputer, it's picking it to be down to the wire. It's got it at level pegging on the expected scores. Bring it on. Well, they couldn't be separated in the group stages, could they? They finished on the same number of points, the same number of wins and losses. And now going into this one, the final. The bat versus ball computer saying... Scores could be tied. Well, we're all for that because we'd love to reset that uh, golden ball number that just keeps on going up. We'd love to set it back to zero. Will we do it here? Will we not? We're ready to start the final. This is it. This is what it comes down to. Here's the first delivery. Azupathu bowls it. And it's been launched into high up in the air. It will go all the way. Ball. 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 on it. Shaka Lagia, what a start. It's a big six from Aram Mohammed to start just the way Jai Mata did against Kluge when they met in the group stage. Jai Mata start with a bang. Well, a marvellous shot. And, uh, well, that's a huge hit. And, uh, okay, we're off and running. Adipathu, what's his reply going to be? A bit of wit, but maybe too much. And Andrew Begg. Spreads his wings as he calls a wide. An amazing start. So there's going to be some spite out there, isn't it? It's always said it will be hot and spicy. And it is going to be hot and spicy. What a hit that is. Yeah, these two teams, they will go head to head. They want bragging lights, don't they? Because it will last for a year. It will. We beat you in the final. Now, who wants to be hearing that all the time? This is a nasty one to take by the wicketkeeper. It bounces up. In front of the keep as he almost takes it on his nostrils. What a start that is from Mohammed, by the way. First ball, and you tonk it over the leg side for six. Oh, what a start to this final we've had here, Rico. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, by the way, it's nice to actually be part of one because the last two events I've been to, we've not had a final. Yeah. We've not had one because of rain. The sun's out, baby. Sun's out, guns out, folks. And we're ready to get this final going. And it's eighth for none at the moment. It's been a good start, this for... for oh. Uh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that's incredible. Just elegantly plays this, lofts this over the infield. And this uh, this goes all the way. That's a Maximo. What a shot this is. This is absolutely superb. And, uh, well, I think that's Anan Roger Shakira who's out there. I don't think it's Ariel Mohamed, you know. What a shot this is. We'll have to just double check that with you. I'm pretty sure it's An Anand Raja Shakara. And he's, well, the reason that surprises me is that it's not the way he normally bats. He's normally a little bit ticky tacker. Not this time. What a hit. What a shot. Yeah, it really is. And at the moment, well, we're going to say Mohammed for now, but yeah, it could be someone else. You'd, we'll have to wait and find out, see if, it, uh, see if it does change. But at the moment, this is uh, gone big. And oh, hang on a second. That doesn't matter because he's gone. And he takes a wild swipe at this one. And the in batter goes. And what a take that is from Nadi Godley. It was a simple one, but you still got to take them. They're the hard ones to get. And this will be the wicket that they wanted. It's the first one to go. And, uh, yeah, it's our the party that, that will pick it up. And give him out up. They are 14 for one. Yeah, a big swing gets a sneak. But he's out there to do one thing, and that's to get runs quickly. That's the way Jai Mata will play. It's the first wicket. But not before he's given his team a fantastic start. A couple of wides in there, but two big Maximos. And uh, that is the end of the batter, who I do believe to be an, an, an under Roger Chakara. But we'll have that confirmed for you, I'm pretty sure. We'll get the, the scoreboard updated. But what we can tell you, the next batter coming in, there's no doubt about this man. And it's Jump Club Fernando that comes in. He does prefer to be called Fernando, so we're going to stick with Fernando. Because I did have a chat with him, he said... I've got a very long name, he said, Rico. Kumara is in there, but 
Fernando is what I like to be called. So Fernando it is. Well, I'll try. We'll try and remember that one. You'll be all right. I probably won't. I'll probably call him uh, Kamara a couple of times. But it, it's Fernando. The two Fernando brothers. I guess it's better for if you're wanting to try and work out who's who in terms of the batters out there. But yeah, so Kamara, a.k.a. Fernando, on strike then. 14 for one. Two fresh batters at the crease. None of them have faced the delivery yet. It's all been the previous batter at the moment. Good comeback, though, from Atapatu, in all fairness. Yeah, he does a little stretch before he comes to bowl. Uh, to Chambutla, who batted beautifully in the semi-final, didn't he? Places with soft hands, and the fielder comes across. That's a really good stop, that is. And I think uh, that's Chandupa. That normally is his zone, and he makes a stop, saves the boundary. Yeah, Rico, I mean, you've been here for the majority of the time, and it's uh, how exciting is it all this time the, the amount of cricket that these boys have played, and it all comes down to just one final game. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Big for Kluge. Want to go back to being the champions after winning in 2021, losing last year to the Gladiators. Now they get another chance to be there. But who's I mean, in their way? Jai Marta. I mean, what all a team. What a feat that is, though, by the way. Three, three finals. Yeah. On the trot, I mean, that's sensational. One successful, one not. Now looking to make it two and one in terms of their history here. Looking forward to this one. It's been an exceptional couple of weeks of cricket. And the fact that it all comes down to this is uh, is why we love the game of cricket. Short. Oh, he's drilled this. What a shot. Well, he gets a swivel on this MJ style. Oh, as it goes to the boundary. Oh, that's a rocket hit. He wants to go upstairs. Doesn't really get the height. And it gets put away emphatically. Great shot. Yeah, massive confidence booster there for Fernando, a.k.a. Kamara, of course. And, yeah, he's, uh, he's got this one down to a T, isn't he? And, yeah, at the moment, it's, uh, it's all Gimata, isn't it? Yeah, it is. As you can see Taranji just having a chat there with Adipathu. But to be honest, Adipathu this time, he'll know himself that uh, whereas he normally does get the ball pitching around about, I don't know, just a yard or so outside off and leaving the batter. He's been a little bit too much at the batter. He's been getting the angle in, but angling it into the pads. You do not bowl to the pads to Fernando, to Chumbleka Fernando, because he is very, very strong. Let's see if he can get it right here. The last ball off the over that has gone magical. He goes out to the off chance, and he's been taken. And Azupathu gets another. Prize wicket, what a good catch this is. That ball is travelling and it's Rajat Pereira, the man who normally does all the damage with his spin bowl. He takes a sharp catch and he goes back outside the off. And uh, it's not a bad looking shot from Trump Club, but he goes on the up. It's high and it's a really good sharp catch to low down. The over does go magical, but it can be magical in two ways. 20 runs, two wickets. Charlie, you take it. Yeah, you really would, wouldn't you? You've got two danger men out as well, in all fairness. Well, Rico, you've cast over to me. I'm going to pass back to you. Talk us through this. Well, there we go. There's Daniela. It was lovely to catch up with Daniela. And uh, that's Lilia as well, who is the wife of Cosmin. The two ladies were enjoying a little picnic, some pancakes that in the far side of the ground. They had an opportunity to say hello. And Daniela is loving being here. And she said it was great to be here. She loves it. She says the action is brilliant. And we'll have a chat with Daniela later on as well. So there you go, folks. A little picture that uh, Daniela uh, was uh, quite happy to come and have a chat. And she'll uh, probably come down and have a chat with us later at the end of the proceedings. We'll be able to show her a little bit of our setup here as well. So it's great to have people coming down and watching the cricket. Uh, two ladies there, Lilia, the wife of Cosmit, of course, the captain of the Gladiators, is going to be very happy with his bronze medal. And uh, Daniela there as well. So go back to this final. Very good start. I, sp I suppose if you're Kluge, with those two key wickets, you're going to be happy. Yeah, big time. And I just want to talk about that last one. Pushing at it, wasn't he? Played it with hard hands on the up. It was a good catch low down to Pereira's right there. Anyway, here is uh, the skipper then in Saini. And he starts with a good delivery. And this is what I love. You go in the bronze final where, in all fairness, and you can almost sort of understand it, they're a little tiny bit sort of reluctant to put the maximum amount of effort in. It's one of those games where you're like, well, it's not really going to mean much. But the complete polar opposite here in the final. Everyone's up. There's a lot of spectators around. A lot of the teams have hung about. And, uh, well, the noise out in the field is electric at the moment, as is the energy. Oh, well, how about that? <laughs> I told you there's going to be a little bit of masala out there, and there is. How about that? Well, Vasu Sahini, he likes it. The batter, Fernando, doesn't know too much about it. 
Yeah, he has no idea. And he, uh, well, he's lucky he doesn't get a bit of glove on that. So Aaron G's looking a bit happy, isn't he? Tell you what, I want one of those floppy hats. <laughs> I'm going to ask, I'm going to say, Taron, can I have one? I want one. Taron's a nice guy. Do you reckon he'll give you one? If you ask nicely, I think you will. He's Mr. Nice Guy, isn't he, Taron? Hey, you know when I say, well, you don't make too many changes if you're doing well. Well, Kluge have been doing well, but they have made a change. No Gurav Mishra to open the bowling with. They're holding yeah. it back. The captain wants to take the the second over here. Yeah, it's an interesting move. Skipper's gone. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to take it by the bullet, uh, by the... Uh, the horns. Oh no, oh no, he's gone. Adios. He has gone. It's a direct hit and the skipper, well the bowling wasn't the issue for the uh, the batter in Fernando, it was the fielding of Saini and he holds his nerve and he gets the direct hit and he will go and it does mean that, that uh, yeah, it's going to be another wicket, it's another duck and oh dear, oh dear, 20 for three. Well, the lake here around the Moravasia ground is beautiful. It's full of ducks. And I tell you what, Dylan Fernando, he has just run himself out here. And he looks hard at the non-striker at Tamir Ali. But that's all down to you. He's going to get quacked off. He's not a happy man. And uh, Derek will come and go. Well, Derek, who, uh, well, we could be about to realise that he's going to become a father because he could uh, could be having a few kids all around Europe, potentially. Only time will tell. It depends if uh, Rico and Corey find a good name for one in Hungary. We'll see. We'll see. But at the moment, Kluge blowing them out of the water. Yeah, that's just crazy. Isn't it? But that's all about the pressure of the final. They made a blistering start. Remember, those two big hits. From, uh, from Anand Roger Shakira, put them in the driving seat, and now all of a sudden, uh, the coach is on, but they've got plenty of batting. This is the thing, they bat deep. You still have got Amir Ali, who's out there, and now the next batter that comes out is gonna be Arun Mohammed. He can steady the ship. He's still got Jenny Fernando to come as well. He places cautiously, and uh, again, a bit more hesitancy from the two batters. 20 for 3. What an over. This is so far. Not a run from it. Wicket has gone down, courtesy of that run out. The change from the captain to bowl the second certainly seems to be working. Here it comes again to Aran Mohammed. And this is a leave, and it's a good call from the umpire and a good leave from the batter. He's happy to take the wide rather than going chasing for this one. So we'll have to be bowled again. Yeah, that's uh, a rarity from Tiny. He's bowled pretty well this first over, isn't he? Good uh, good afternoon, though, to everyone joining us in the live chat. It's not over my laptop. I'm refusing to, but it's open on Rico's. I can see it. I can see all of you. I can see James in there as well. Oh, well, bowled a little bit uppish, but it's going to just get through, but it doesn't get through the final man. Good bit of work that time from Mishra. He's probably thinking... I'm not too annoyed that they haven't uh, they haven't got me on here at the moment. Yeah, Billy Sandu in the chat is saying happy finals day to everybody. And uh, well, I think Vinny is watching and needs some excitement there as well. We'll see Vinny, of course, in Malta. We'll see the schedule a little bit later on. A few people saying hello to Vinny. And uh, Shrug is saying, I fear another one-sided final. Shrug, yeah, I see where you're coming from. But like I say, plenty of batting from Jamata yet. Yeah. And uh, they can certainly get going in this one. That is the end of the over. There only two come of it. And there was that run out, a crazy bit of running from Dylan Fernando to run himself out for a duck. And uh, after two overs, 22 for three. Yeah, 22 for three then. And it's all about Cluj. What a first over that is from Saini. None for two. Picking up the run out in there as well and involved in it as, as the, uh, the thrower. Great bit of work, isn't it? And outstanding to hold your nerve in the final. The big final, of course, as well. And, yeah, it's bragging rights between these two, isn't it? Of course, it's the spillover. Some saying it's the A versus B side. Well, you can see it that way, or you can... I, I mean, I, I'd argue the fact that they're uh, both with uh, the same amount of wins, same amount of losses, that it's probably a, a, a level... Both level sides. Yeah, both level sides. And the one thing I will say, look, Cluj... Remember, when these two teams did match, I'm after piled on the run. They got 130 plus and Kluge, well, they were bowled out for in the 80s. So, you know, Jarmata will know that. And they'll just be saying to themselves in their camp, look, just need to try and get to a score. Whether the there were early storm here, get a partnership going. Still, if we can do, do take a leaf out of Kluge's book, which is basically say, we'll back our bowlers. If we get to a 100 plus score, 
will back our bowlers. And I think John Marta here, they've got the batting still to get them to that score. Look who's out there now, for example. I mean, this guy, Amir Ali, 309 runs. He's also taken 15 wickets. He's due a big score. If he can come good here, anything can still happen. Yeah, he's not exactly a stranger to uh, the spotlight, is he? But he's got it. It's, it's a big ask. I mean, 22 for three is a big rebuilding session. They've got to take a couple of overs to do so, you feel. Just lets this one through. That's a dot. And uh, Andrew Begg, who, uh, of course, umpiring here in this game. And, yeah, it's, uh, just let that one flow through. One thing I will say, umpiring sensational. Has been so good. Yeah. Haven't really got anything wrong. And, you know, they've, they've got the hard calls right. I think they've done really well, you know, and they've had to do it in some extreme conditions with the heat and the weather. And Andrew Begg, of course, he's been here all the way through. He's been remarkable. Goes for it and gets a slice of luck. Fielder comes across, and I think this is going to be four runs. He's touched the rope there. Cuatro Carreras, there's no doubt about it. And Chandupa not touched it once, twice, but three times. And even right here at the end, look, here he touches it. Here he is touching it. Here he's kicking it, and here he touches it again. So I think the the evidence is conclusive. Four runs, and that's what they need here. And uh, Aaron Mohammed gets his first boundary. It is a little bit of a rebuilding session, isn't it, at the moment from these two? I mean, you sort of feel that they've got to take probably an over and a half, two overs just to rebuild and, yep. and not lose any more wickets. Because if you fall to sort of 30 for five, you, 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 know, the, you know, there's no way back. Watch his back foot here, by the way. Oh, well fielded. Excellent bit of work. This time he gets it right and has no point of contact. Yeah, saves three runs. Yeah, I'm looking. Let's have a look at it again. He gets. I know every so often he tells it to go very wide. Yeah, not far off. Not far away. He not stays far within off. the limits. Just watch there. Stays within the limits. Because is I mean we see a lot of lot of bowlers. Listen, I'm not a bowler. I'm the furthest thing from it. Right, but a lot of these fast bowlers will see them plant their back foot mm. and it will plant. But luckily for that's a part of he doesn't and he. Uh, And he, uh, yeah, he doesn't do it, does he? He really, he just sort of misses out on it because he, because that foot doesn't go flat. It's a quick delivery, misses out on it. That'll take the leg by. It's a no appeal. Is that one probably going over the stumps? Huh? Ali, that gets to the other end, to, to the safe end, and he gives it back to Arun Mohammed. So yeah, rebuild, rebuild, and also I think opportunity maybe to see out. The attack, somebody like Atapathu, who's always been picking up wickets, and probably, I mean, I wonder if the captain will bowl himself again or go to Mishra. He has been, he likes to try the bowlers first up, so I think, I don't think he'll bowl himself out. I think he may go to Mishra. Do you think he'll go Mishra or will go in over a spin? Uh, that's, yeah, another good shot. He could go with Pereira think, here Yeah, as well. Pereira, I, I could see him coming in on the fourth over then. And squeezes this in again, so just the dot. The batter doesn't like it. He stands there and says he wants it. Let's have a look. He's fine. Now, that is perfect. I mean, that's a perfect delivery. Well bowled on through path. Well, what a comeback. Remember, he was taking the clean as the first two couple of deliveries he bowled. But look at the comeback from him. Again, that's what good players do. Yeah, absolutely. 28 for three then for Giamarta here at the end of the power play. And, yeah, it's all clues, isn't it, at the moment. I mean, yeah, yeah, you go. That's that first over that you mentioned, Rico, going magical. Two off the next over and just six off the third. So, yeah, really dragging themselves back into it. You were thinking, OK, Jim Hatter, they're looking like they're going to really take the fight to, to Kluge here. But it's been the complete polar opposite. Kluge, comfortable. They don't go spin. They continue with the experience. Mishra then hit. So a uh, little change in the tactics we've seen. We saw spin yeah. deployed in the semi-final. But uh, enough on that fourth over, but not this time. Anyway, here is Mishra. Let's play that onto the onside. So Ali gets off the mark straight away. A lot depends on him here now at the moment. Mishra, he'll be looking to swing a few batters out of the middle. He does rely on that full delivery, comes back, gets batters playing right around it. That's what he's looking to do here. Now, bowling to Mohammed. Wait, 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 wait. There's a shout there. It's, uh, obviously, yeah, Sahini just picking up something. Just making sure, I think, that he's got not too many outside the circle. He's, uh, made. I think he's just checking that the man on the 45 was inside. There's that swing. Takes one hand off the bat. It goes nowhere. And Mohammed gets lucky. 
could have gone to hand, but uh, falls safely. Rash, isn't it? Rash shots when, in theory, you're probably thinking maybe it's just one more over. Because when you're th if you can get to the next over and you're still only your three wickets down, then you're, you're probably thinking, okay, then we can kick on again. Well, this one is going to go all the way. And Amir Ali, this is what he does when he gets going. Well, that's one. One of many, Giamata will hope. Giamata, after the first few deliveries, they were up and about and making a lot of noise. But well, they lost their voice for a while. This will help to bring it back. Yeah, nice this, shot. This will help them uh, feel a little bit better about themselves, and understandably so, because, yeah, it's uh, yeah. of course, you, you're right. They were screaming and playing the, the drums at the start, but not at the moment. Oh, this one gets through. That's that slow swinging delivery. Now you've got to like, get something on it, and they don't take the extras. Now I think the ball is probably dead here. I'm sure it's dead, and the umpires, yeah, they don't even entertain. They don't even let Ali get to the other end as the umpire. That's AJ Gopalapa says, hey, boys, nah, come on. It's already done and dusted. The ball is dead. So behave yourself. What's one thing you're not going to miss? Can I tell you what's one thing I'm not going to miss from Romania? Wasps. I do my head in. Shot. Nice shot down the ground. Should cut it off, though. He does. Good work this time around from Atapati. Yeah, gets there well, doesn't he? I like in that. Gets the slide in. Gets the whole body behind the ball. So if it misses the hands, it's not getting through the body. Good sliding stop. Just keeps it just to the one. And up is Adupathu comes across and almost pulls off an incredible catch. That would have been amazing. What he does do, though, Charlie, he stops the ball going to the boundary. Yeah, he gets a fingertip on it, doesn't he? It's a great effort, uh, the in-swinging Yorker from Mishra. Just sort of chipped it up, really, did the batter. But, yeah, he was able to, to get a finger on it, which stopped it from uh, going over the boundary. End of that over. It's the four overs down, then 38 for three on the board. Still probably another couple of deliveries of rebuilding, but then I'd expect them to sort of start going again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that one, what, they get 10 from it. They don't lose a wicket. Stops his shot that time, doesn't he? I think uh, the batter, Mohammed. I think if he hits clean through it, he probably would have got the, the boundary. But, but he's worried about Athupathu being out there. Stops the shot, almost presents him with the catching opportunity. So, now this is the big moment. We did expect to see some spin, and we are going to see Pereira. He's going to bowl over number five. Do you reckon one of the part of the successes of Cluj is the fact they've got two world-class spinners? I think that probably is something that a couple of teams are just missing. As oh, I'll tell you what, drags this from pretty straight on onto the onside. I think that's yeah. A lot of teams have uh, have uh, have probably been uh, yeah have lacking been lacking yeah. yeah big time. Lacking. I haven't had it, and you're right. And I think and having someone like Pereira, a left arm around as well. We've seen on the on our travels, it's been very productive. But, uh, off the pads, I don't really think shots played there as well. You can see Ali at uh, the non-strikers, and he's getting very frustrated. He's pumping his pads with his bat. He needs to be encouraging the man at the other end. That's not really very encouraging. Uh, this one will take the wide, so that's well watched. Andrew Begg gives the signals. Once again, big shout-out to the men in black out there. So Andrew Begg is out there with Ajay Gopalapa. Dishant Devere is the third umpire. Goes for the sweep shot, misses out on it. So it's, a, it's another dot delivery. He's wanting a wide, but I'm pretty sure that, oh, well, he doesn't touch anything. So there wasn't anything given initially by the umpire. So I thought maybe he caught a bit of pad or something on it, but it is given. So it was a polite request from Aaron Mohammed, And uh, the umpire says, yeah, actually, I think it was. <laughs> just asking nicely. Drift. Just, again, just pushed. Should be one. And is... I think the other thing you mentioned about the spinners here, when if you go after them and you get after them and you, and you make an aggressive start, then you're on top. But if you let them settle in, and this is what Pereira has done here, look, three balls, hasn't been attacked, then it becomes harder. Batter Ali taking guard. So will he go after it? Will he go for full out assault? He's been frustrated at the non-strikers then. Well, let's see what he does when he gets a chance. And, well, he plays all round it, and he's going to go. Pereira gets his man. Hook, line, and sinker. Adios to Ali. So, 
the man who's scored loads of runs in this tournament so far, looking to go big again, but he's not going to. He's gone over 300, but it's not going to be a big score. He is a dangerous player. He was hoping to get the attack in, but it's not going to be. It's going to be a cheap dismissal for Ali. He gets his completely wrong. Pereira just flights it right up there and gets the wicket. Yeah, just hits into uh, into legs into that leg stumping. It's a bit of drift, but he uh, yeah he gets a little bit unlucky. Plays across the wrong line, and I told you I was expecting it to sort of uh, them starting to get a bit of a move on, but but uh, but uh, yeah, he doesn't quite happen as uh, well. The, the, the fan favourite Pavel Florin comes in and he, uh, he's off. Pavel, we'll see you soon. Look yeah. after yourself, okay? Well, hopefully we'll see Pavel over the weekend as well when we've got the ECIs happening. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Pavel would be disappointed. Play for UNFs. I, I must admit, Charlie, that I was a bit disappointed that Pavel didn't get to turn his arm over. Yeah, you know, me too. It could have been sometimes you just need to do something different. And Pavel, I think the stature of the man sometimes is enough to put some of the batters off. So now, Janith Fernando will be the player that comes in. This really is the... I would say the last throw of the dice, the last two recognised batter out, batters out there. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a bit of last-ditch efforts here now, and it's uh, they'll be disappointed, but they'll still bat themselves. You know, you've got to in these circumstances. No matter what the total is that you put on the board, you've still got to back yourselves and say, look, we may have just not done our best in the bat, but we still think that we can turn around and we can defend our total. Yeah, yeah absolutely right. That's what they've got to try and do. Pereira, though, once again, has been significant. This time, just gets drifted a little bit too far across the right-hander. It's going to be another wide. He's disappointed with that. I suppose he sets high standards for himself. Last delivery, then. We'll try once more. And he does get it right. And it will just be one. And it's going to be a great over. Just six off. It picks up the wicket as well. And at the moment, it's all kludge. At the end of the uh, fifth over, it's 44 for four. Yeah, all kludge and all the fours at the moment. Welcome to a very sunny and beautiful Moira Vasia cricket ground. You are watching the final here of this Fancade European Cricket Series. And at the moment, it very much looks like that big brother kludge are giving John Marla a bit of a lesson. Yeah, it does. It does seem as if it's a little bit of the old, uh, no, I know what I'm doing and I'm going to show you how to do it in the best way possible. And uh, yeah, it's all kludge at the moment. And they're just looking a little bit too much for, for the uh, the sister club at the moment. But hopefully get a few more runs on the board and we'll have a close close competition. Saini is coming back, though. This is just pushed uh, and yeah, it caused the fumble. Just one. Yeah. And I get the, I get the feeling here that a conscious effort has been made also by Kluge to do things different. I think they probably thought, well, OK, we know what Jai Marta are expecting. They're expecting Mishra maybe to open the bowling. We'll go with Atipathu. They're expecting Mishra to bowl the second. We'll go with myself, the captain, Basu. And it seems to have worked. And, uh, a really good delivery. When he hits the seam, he really gets the ball to talk and go through. And that one gets through Janith Fernando. Janith Fernando now has to concentrate on playing his own game. Probably hasn't had a lot of time to bat in the last few days, but he's got to make it count. This is important. And he gets beaten again outside the off there. The very good bowling by Asusani. And you've got to say here that maybe Jaime Maita here, Charlie, a little bit clueless. <laughs> you like that, didn't you? No, you I like didn't. You like because it. I know for a fact that you've been thinking about that one for about it, it 20 just came minutes. To, it just came to honestly. Such it just a liar. Came to me. It just came to me. Honestly, Such it did. a liar. Shot. Well, that'll do, and that will go all the way. Well, that's the perfect reply. And Jennifer Fernando, like I said, you've got to play your own game. Play the shots that you're used to playing and respect the good balls, and that's what he does. This one's a little bit short. It's uh, darted in towards the legs, and Fernando is onto it quickly. Gets a boundary and gets his team past the 50 mark. Yeah, could this be similar to the bronze final we saw? Slow starts, yeah. but then getting going in the back end, and they've still got half the allotted overs, or just under half the allotted overs left. The response from Saini is uh, just rolls his fingers down it ever so slightly, and they'll come through for just the one. I didn't like that com cam, by the way, because the lighting makes me look pale as anything. <laughs> I look like Casper's ca like cousin or something. <laughs> I've got a tan, I swear I have. It, it's not a tan, really. No, it? it's not. not. Well, no. It but may end up being a tan. You have time before you do go brown afterwards. So, well, Are you saying I'm burned? Is he out? And he's asking the question. The batter thought for a moment he looked like he was going to have a walk there. But Aaron Mohammed says, no, I didn't touch it. Wicket keeper. Nadi got I have to say, he wasn't 100% sure himself. I think it's a very good delivery. Not much. Yeah, you see, he's looking just to roll it back. No appeal. 
from the keeper. And that tells me it wasn't out. And also, look at the batter's reaction as well. He doesn't look too guilty about it. But it's another pretty decent over. There was a one big six for him. Look at that from the captain, Basu Sahini. He has bowled his two overs, only goes for 10. One of those was a six. Yeah, no, that's the thing. And, uh, yeah, he's bowled economically, hasn't he? And, well, we were waiting to see how long it was uh, going to be. But, yeah, Rajiv Padraic, of course, continuing. As, uh, yeah, he got Amir Ali, didn't he, in his last over. And he went for six as well. He's back. Good delivery into the pad. And look, it's the drift for me from Pereira. It yeah. really is. It's the drift into the right hand that they get to me. Watch this. Real element of drift. And then that one just goes on with the arm, goes on with the angle, doesn't spin. So, of course, Fernando was probably playing for a bit of a way turn. Just slightly over pitch. Fernando is able to wait for it and get it away. He'll take a single. Yeah, two full. Two full from me there. Just drag it back ever so slightly. And then, uh, well, he's got an absolute, uh, he's got it on the money there, I have to say. But at this point, still Mohamed 11 or 15, though, by the way, yeah. in this final. I know he's trying to rebuild, but he's got to go. And he does, and he gets all of it. Well, that will help his strike rate, and that will help greatly as it flies past the VIP center here at this ground. And, uh, yeah, that's a lovely cricket shot. Just opens up the offside. Look at that. Watches it nicely. Hold the finish. Yeah, well, now he heard you. But it's all about the length, isn't it? Just slightly shorter, and he whips it away. That's a really nice shot. So looking to, to bat all the way through and trying to get his team to a score. Shorter one, and gets beaten. They won it. They're asking the question. Andrew Begg is not moved. And, wow, we'll have to look at this again. You can see Pereira believes he's got his man with his cricket ball. Natty Gottler this time round thinks he's got him as well. And, well, they're all up and about. But Andrew Begg stays still. And says not out. Oh, well, you can make up your old mind there. But uh, the umpire standing wicked to wicked. He's in the best position to see these or not. He says no. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something, but he survives. Well, now, I thought he was going to, looks as if he's going to struggle, but they're going to cut this off. They are, and they're going to take it on here. It's a terrible, terrible throw. Luckily, someone's uh, backing up, but that will be, uh, yeah, that'll again be two. Pereira, though, though, I thought he picked one up there, but good bit of fielding this. Watch this. Just manages to get round and holds his balance, does uh, Periawa. Poor yeah, throw, though. Yeah, you're right. It's not the best of throws. Hello to everybody on the chat once again. Manas, Dave, Maya. I hope you're enjoying the final. Well, what a shot this is. Lama back it. Up and a Jokka Maria. Well, what a shot this is from Mohamed. Have a look at this again. He ends up lying on the deck. And... Uh, this is a crazy hit, and it will go for four. Look at that. He's uh, hitting this rock and roll style. Cuatro Carreras. It's the end of the over. So they're just sort of staying up to this, trying to get to this scratchy 100. And if they can get a, a big couple of overs, maybe push on the 110, 115. Loads of cricket still here in Romania. International style in Tawana. And it's Romania who kick it off. Take it on Croatia, and then Romania, then take on Slovenia and are those teams probably arriving or would have arrived we'll see them back at base at uh, the courtyard Marriott but uh, yeah welcoming Croatia and Slovenia as we see T10 international style action starting tomorrow Taranjit Singh then he comes into the attack and he gets pummeled and that'll be one bounce four he splits the fielders does Fernando nice bit of fighting back this is from Giamata and yeah, I have to say that uh, it's too short from Taran. It's a bit of a loose nut. Yeah, it is a bit of a loose nut. You'll have to get it right straight away. And uh, Dennis Fernando has already shown that anything that's in that area, he's quite happy to take on the shot and go over Cow Corner. This time Fuller and was trying to go onside, but didn't quite get anything. He just sort of found the splice of the bat and didn't get timing on it. Speaking of cows, have you seen that cow yet? No, Did I haven't. Make an appearance? No, I haven't. Storks? No, don't know what they are. Birds? Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Cross between a bird and a, and a flamingo, let's say. You know, it's about big beak. Oh, hang there. on. No, I did see one right, literally this morning. As, as we, we drove came in, in, right? As we drove yeah. in on in that little long grass area. Hello. Yeah. What's happened here? Where's this? And this one has probably been, oh, Terranji, lucky he's a tall man. He's able to catch up with it. He is a tall advice. man, isn't he, by the way? Yeah. Deceivingly tall. Doesn't look it, but yeah, he's a, he's a tall fella. Tandupa making the stop. Tarrant checks his field. 
Oh, he's gone for it. And he's got a bit of an outside edge. It's going to run away. And he's got enough of the outside edge. And it will go to the boundary. So that's the second one of the over. Taranjit seeing under a bit of pressure as uh, they're taking a liking to him, it, it seems to be. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky there. I think he does beat the batter, Fernando, in the flight of that one. But uh, he swings on, hits it well, gets it over to Ndupa. And it's going to be another boundary. Sticking with the man inside the 30-yard circle, though, as the captain. And now he wants to go funky. Oh, yeah, baby. That is what we're talking about. Gets it over the fielder out there. And a sensational effort from the man coming across. Well, he's going to... Well, I thought he was going to show us a graze there because that would have left one. Well, what a good shot this is. Showtime here at the Moara Vasia Cricket Ground. Yeah, he likes the look of uh, Kishaw Corner down there on the onside. And, yeah, I'm, by the way, can you tell I'm trying to make that stick? Can you tell? <laughs> I think it's working. When slowly. we come here next time, there'll be a there'll be a sign up there, there won't there? A be. little bench. There better be. Eight overs down then, 79 for four. Now, the question is, Rico, off the next two overs, say they do get to 100, is it enough? In all right, genuine honesty, right? With no. the lineup that Kluge have got, is it enough? No. No. I don't enough. think it is. At the moment, I think uh, Kluge are just bowling them out of the game. Yeah, I mean, Chai Marta, I mean, I'm going to give them credit. As a, as a fielding side, they're, they're fantastic. And, and I think they're the best here. They've got their own spinners as well. Got the likes of Amir Ali. And uh, they've also got uh, Dylan Fernando, who will be looking to come good after failing with the bat. But I just think that clues this time. I mean, Taranji failed early this morning in the semi-final. Think will he's going to cash in? Will he? Yeah, I don't think he'll fail again. That's my own feeling. But Jill Marta, I'm not going to write them off just yet. No, I have to say, I, I think they've been bowled out of the game here. And, uh, but I also think they've played rash shots when they haven't needed to. And I think they've sort of got themselves out of this game. That's not rash. That is huge. See you later. That's massive. And, uh, well, it's gone higher, probably more than it's gone longer. But it still has enough on it. And it does go all the way. Yeah, well, Mishra comes into the attack, doesn't get this right. And uh, I like the way he's prepared to come out and meet this. And he meets it well. He goes over to his favourite part of the ground. So, Denis Fernando... And Ari Mohammed, I'll start to put some together here. Ari Mohammed's been out there a long time, 24, 22, but they needed that really, I feel. Jenny Fernando now trying to cash in. He's going well, 28 of 12. Last time these two teams met, I can tell you, it, were, where it was Joe Marta that piled on the runs. This one is going to be to Taranjit Singh. They'll take a single. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a real brilliant show from Joe Marta. They scored 134 for seven, and they bowled Kluge out for 86 so that will be in the back of the mind of Kluge and it was some colour Fernando that turned on the style he scored 61 and then he took three wickets oh that is awesome well forget calling this six give it a 12 everybody's in the firing line as it hits the <laughs> Jamato benches uh, uh, tent there what a big hit that is that goes sailing high I mean Mohammed. He's done this a few times, isn't he? He's, uh, he's done ticky-tacker, ticky-tacker. Then all of a sudden, he goes boom, doubly boom. Well, I'm still saying, why doesn't Ravi catch it? <laughs> Get on the roof and catch it. What are you playing at? He goes again this time. Oh, into out. That is outstanding from Ariane Mohammed. He is now getting this total up to somewhere that could be defendable against this clue side. Batting outside the crease. And uh, he comes and he meets the ball. On the full, and yeah, you're right. This time he goes inside out. And uh, well, Guru Mishra is scratching his head. He's gone for 30 with the ball to go, looking to bring up the 100. And he comes down and he's going to go. Great work by Natty Gottler. He uh, whips the bells off. Natty Gottler is not very happy with Mishra. The two of them, oh, look, I, I, he, he leaves him hanging. He doesn't like the bowling that Mishra's done. Well, Mishra finally gets some, some high fives and some love. From some of the other players, but not Natty Gottler. Natty Gottler not amused, even though he does get a very important wicket. Yeah, he really does. And at the moment, it, uh, yeah, he's it's not really worked. And he gets the last laugh. He sees him coming, pushes it wider. Good bit of bowling, actually. Clever bowling from Mishra, because that's not easy. Anyway, it will be 99 for five after nine. It all happens in the ninth, Rico. It clearly did. Yeah, it all happens in the ninth. So... I thought that he was looking. Yeah, he was looking to bring the hundred up there, and then having a final assault at the last six deliveries. Still here, Joe Marta. If they can get, say, 15 off this one, get to around about 115 score, we've got a game on here. We've got a final on here. Manus is my favourite. It's a good point. He's backed me up, which is why he's my favourite. Yeah. Anyway, 
me and the uh, me and that live chat haven't been uh, haven't gone down very well today. Anyway, <laughs> Taran, what's happened to your live chat? Why have you come off it? Come um, don't be like that. No, I've I've come off it. No, don't be like that. It's, I am being it's like that. It's a final match. Come on, get uh, on. Listen, I'm, I'm, on I'm, not, I'm still reading it. Yeah, you are. My but, eyesight's but a bit you, better than yours. You're Rico. instrumental on there as well. You you do. You're better than me. You're Is that just because I can type you, quicker? You, no, you multitask. <laughs> you type. You don't make the spelling. Oh, the oh, oh, it's fun time, and it's sun. See, sand and six. He cricket. And uh, Jeanette Fernando, now, well, he does the reverse Malachi and he hits Taron for four runs. That's quite good. <laughs> That's really quite good. Well, what's the response going to be then? Loopy, he's gone for the Pavel option. And I think this is just going to skew up and plug it. Oh, I think it has. Yeah, it has, and they will stop it. Well, they're going to want to check it just to be sure. Yeah. Oh, Taran. Oh, Taran not G's happy not here. happy. Now. I mean, it wasn't the best of deliveries from Taran. It would have been a big wide. It, it the height. I think they're checking the height. They, is it okay? Is it not? Was it dipping? Was it not? That's what they're looking at here. Yeah, I think it was fine. Looked okay to me. Yeah, looked okay to me. We move on. Up in the air should be taken. Oh no, oh. it's put down. Well, uh, Taranjit Singh's going to look at him. Oh, now the throw's awful. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's an unhappy chappy. And understandably so, because he's had a drop off his bowling now, and then they should have had a run out. Yeah, well, Janith Fernando gets a line from 35, and it uh, looks like it's Mishra, who's a, a bit of a mare, hasn't he? Well, he didn't want any love from Nelly Gotler earlier. Now he's not going to get any from Tomajit Singh either. Yep, he's, uh, he might be going uh, home on his own, or if he's getting a lift with one of them, he might be walking. Uh, they have obviously got into the 100 here. There are 107 for five, three deliveries remaining. Singh needs to keep it quiet. Below full toss, does well, darts it in, should be just be one. Well, they're going to take him on it, this could be suicide. Oh no, how yeah. unlucky is that? That's really unlucky. That's unlucky, that's not on Taran, that's not on uh, That's not on Atapatu that's out in front of us here. That just skids on out of nowhere. Yeah, but what I like about this from uh, Salam, he knows he's running to the danger end, he knows his chances are he's going to get run out, but he also knows that he needs to try and keep Fernando on strike. Fernando, 39 and 17. And this one is over Tarrant. They will again go two for sure. It's a good throw, really clever. That sensational cricket from Athu Parthu. That really is, he knows what he's doing. He's thinking ahead of the batters, makes a stop and throws the ball in with a beautiful arm to Nelly Gottler. And they get the danger man to Fernando. It means that uh, somebody else is going to have to go out there and face this. Uh, the last delivery coming up from Taranjit. A really good work, excellent work. Clever, it is clever. It's a sense of mind as well to know that they're going to push for two. Taran's not got the gloves on it. It's harder for him to take it. So they turn around and go, yeah, do you know what, Natty got? Look, you've got gloves on. Let's make the most of them. And, uh, well, Cluj, yeah, to be fair to them, they're probably just a little bit angry and, and feel as if they've let the game almost get away from them yeah, here. Yeah, you reckon they're giving about, what, 10, 10 runs too many here with some no, of those errors? way more. You reckon more? Way more, 30. 30? Yes. Where did you get to 30? Because they had them at, what did they have them at at one point? I mean, at but one stage. But you credit to the batters as yeah, well. Yeah, but at the same time, they've not bowled well. Last ball, he's gone. And it will be a dot to finish then. So it will mean that they'll finish on 110. So they get up to that decent total. It's probably around a par score. And, uh, yeah, I still feel that there's about, yeah, 20 runs, I reckon. 20 well, runs have been left pretty out there. I thought I was hard. But I will say this. When they were out there, they were saying, if they can get them to a, between a 110 and 115 score, They'll feel they've got something to bowl at, and they've done that. They get to 110, and really, you've got to say, and I, I know the, the end of the innings came so quickly, but Janeth Fernando, he's 40 of 18. What a very important that knot was from him as well. And I know Ali Mohammed he batted well, probably almost half the innings, but he's, uh, he's knock of 36 or 25 was pretty important as well. Well, they started on a high because there was some glorious hitting early on, but then Athu Pathu, the top campaigner he is, came back and got the key wickets. They came back with a bang, didn't he? That was a simple catch for Nanny Gottler behind the stumps when he's probably thinking as he walks off this field that he's got a job to do now with the bat, which he certainly does. And this was up here, I pushed it hard, played with hard hands, and it was, well, it's exactly what you don't want to do to a ball like that. And it was a good catch, and you can see there, they're saying, oh, no, what have you done, sir? Well, this started a bit of a collapse, didn't it? As this was clever from Sain, he knew he had quite a lot of time, and he went for accuracy over power and got it spot on as uh, that removed Dylan Fernando for a three-ball duck. Well, then we saw, uh, that was Pereira picking up a wicket in Amirali. He went 
And we, you, this is where I was thinking, okay, you apply the squeeze, but it brought out Ariane Mohamed alongside Janita Fernando, and this is where the run started piling on. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. At that halfway point, there were 44. So you can see just how many they added. But you've got to say, there were some good shots there. I like the acceleration for Ariane Mohamed when he needed to. And uh, there were some lovely shots from him, including that one. And, of course, that was a Janet Fernando place of nine shots as well. But, uh, yeah, I think Kluge will be disappointed that they gave some unnecessary runs away. But uh, there were some great efforts from them in the field as well. But uh, I also think I was a little bit surprised that they opted to have challenged it to bowl over number eight and number ten. I like what they did at the beginning. I'm not sure that Tarangit bowling towards the end there was the was the key. Having said that, he does pick up uh, a few wickets as well, doesn't he? I mean, Tarangit Singh, so he gets the wickets, but he goes for a few runs too many. And Mishra, well, I don't think he bowled well at all. Um, his second over was very expensive. Yeah, it was. Look at these last shots, though. Clever fielding this one. They knew he was going to go back for two. Nally got that's got gloves, and he sort of just takes his time and leisurely takes the stumps and... Uh, yeah, it means they finish on 100 and at 10 for seven then. So it all comes down to the last 60 balls. And it's the mere total here of 111 runs here off of 60. In theory, you have back close all the way to the end here, but you just never know. Let's take a look at the scorecard here. And you can see they're disappointing from the top four. 12 dot 12, none at six and eight respectively. But it was it was down to Mohamed and Janita Fernando. 40 not at 40 off of 18. And uh, well, Mohamed, 36 off 25. Not quite the quickest, but crucial crucial and uh, i think he had to do that i think he was there at the time when we were saying you just gotta get yourself in don't lose any wickets see out a few balls and then come good towards the end and he does just that and he got good support there from dennis fernando they have the depth don't they Jai Marta, to do that a lot of other teams i mean we saw that from the likes of the unefs for example they weren't able to do that so Jai Marta shown again though they're a new team they're a young side they're growing, they're learning all the time. They've still got some very good key players in there that can help them get out of sticky positions. One thing they have done, Charlie, here, as we look at the bowling figures, you can see Adhupati 2 for 25, and the Taranjit there 1 for 24, but involved in a few run-outs as well. And the bowling figures from Vasusani, I mean, it doesn't take any wickets, but you cannot not mention those. Two overs just for 10. But just going back to that again, it's not probably the score jump out of one, but they've got the runs on the board in the final. Yeah, they've got something to bowl at, haven't they, here? And it's 111 needed off of 60 balls then for Kluge in the last innings of this fan code European cricket series here. That's what you're watching with myself, Charlie Hunt, alongside Rico Full. Don't go anywhere because it's six minutes until showtime here on the European Cricket Network.
Hello and welcome back to the conclusion of the final. And Cluj need 111 and Nelson to be victorious here. Jai Marta get to 110, mainly thanks to Janath Fernandez, 40 of 18, and Darren Mohammed, who weathered the storm early on and then played some nice hits towards the end. The big question is, can the big three of Cluj make the difference? Charanjit Singh is one of those. Satwit Nadi Gotla and also another man that's been in pretty good form at the moment. Vasu Sahini in their semi-final. There wasn't anything from Taranjit, only four before he was done by a quick short delivery and caught by Cosmin when they were up against the Gladiators. But Satwit Nadi Gotla 72-34 and Vasu Sahini 49-22 got them to a score of 130 and they were victorious by 31 runs. That's how they booked their spot in this final. Jamada, of course, they beat Udefs by seven wickets with four balls to go, chasing 116. And this is why they're here. Taran, though, he needs to make a big start. He knows that he's the prize wicket. Can he stand firm? Can he deliver when it matters? He's up against the bowling of Janeth Fernando, who, well, after his great knock with the bat, has to go out there and do it with the ball. But he's going to be pumped. His adrenaline is going to be flowing. He's had a good final so far. Can it be even better? Here's the first delivery. Taranji plays his away, guys it away. It will go all the way to the boundary. I'm quite, I can't believe the fact that there is nobody in third man, whether short or deep. That's a crazy decision for me. And straight away, you can see that Jennifer Fernando is saying, hey, how about having somebody out there and need somebody? So they're making a change straight away. I can't believe they've left that open. Rico Fool here talking you through the final here in Romania alongside Charlie Hunt. Yeah, thanks, Rico. Good start then for, for Taran. Similar style that he got off into the semi-final. Of course, he's going to want to do a little bit more than he did that time. But, uh, yeah, good start for Fernando. Not out. Tucks him up. But uh, this is always going to be pitching down outside the leg stick. Yeah, so Aaron Kuma, the captain, does the fielding. Yeah, good afternoon to everyone there in the chat. Vinny's there. He's he's returned from lurk mode. As is James, Dave B, and to Cricket Mania, to, and to everyone else in between. It's a pleasure to have you here, to Manus, to Shrug, to uh, to Kroom as well. We appreciate all of your support and your continued support over the last 12, uh, 12 days here in Romania. And hey, it's only getting started because we're, uh, we're we're here again tomorrow. Yeah, we certainly are. Here we go again. Oh, well, it's down the leg side, and this will go all the way. Manos arriba, Vitro, arriba, arriba, arriba. Brigitte with seis guerreras. Yeah, the only issue is here, if Taran gets in with a couple of early boundaries like he's done here, it's hard to get him out. It really is, and he's hit some... Well, the first boundary wasn't so beautiful. This one, elegant, flick off the pads, brilliant shot. Yeah, lovely shot, and uh, Taran Jeet now has gone past, of course, the 400 run mark in this series it's quite exceptional one thing about taran is when he plays shots off his legs like that which is normally his weakness you better watch out you better watch out so fernando needs to get this right and pretty quickly get it back outside the off stump to terminate he's got to find a way isn't he of hiding it somewhere not there it's going to get a little tickle and run away and this is poor poor bowling from fernando Look how much he gets on this. He, all he has to do is just help it on its way. And that's what he does. He gets a fine little inside edge and it runs and runs for the hills. Quite literally, four more. Yeah, this is an issue that uh, Dennis Fernando has had. And he, he tries to go with a slower delivery. But of course, he needs to get it on the pegs. He doesn't down the leg side. And Turrent just helps this along the way as well. 14 of the first four deliveries. And uh, Tarangit, he's made a start, but he's got to stay switched on. He's got to stay focused. Fernando needs to get a good one in here. And he Better. does. He does, but it's uh, he's equal to it, is Tarangit. And has he got a boundary here? Oh, actually, Ooh. well, do you know what? I'm going to eyeball it. Oh, I'll tell you what, direct hit would have been close. Oh, no. Oh. Buzzes. Buzzes, buzzes, buzzes. It's gone on almost all the way. We've gone from the furthest part of the, f of the ground all the way to the uh, complete opposite side. And, uh, well, it's not even going to cost them that many runs. Watch this here. Good-looking drive. I think he's eyeballing it. I think so he's done enough. Close. So close, isn't it? Watch his knee here. Oh, that is so close. And is he not, in contact with it, though? He's not touching the ball. So if it touches here, it doesn't matter. So he's done okay here. But it's the overthrow as he returned back to the action. 
Matty Gottler then facing his first delivery and it'll be a dot. 17 off the first, well above the rate. It's a good one for Clue. 17 for no loss after one. Yeah, it all happens maybe between these two in the first over because remember, Andrew Parthi went for 20, but he did take two wickets in that over as well. But there's no wickets this time. Clues, Clues make a good start. And uh, Taranjit looking good. And it looks like, well, this is interesting. We're going to go with Dylan Fernando to bowl the second over. So we're going with spin straight away. And uh, Dylan, of course, he uh, unfortunately ended up running himself out with the bat. He made no contribution. And, uh, he made a two-ball duck. Can he make the major contribution, though, with the ball? He will be bowling to Taranjit. Let's see how Taranjit plays the spin. Well, it's in the power play, and he probably will be eyeing up the leg side. You know, there is nobody on the leg side boundary, only the long on, who's pretty straight. So mid-wicket is in. The man on behind square is inside the circle. The offside has been loaded, and they've got a player back there who's there to play, to try and get in in the catch when Taranjit plays that hit when he goes for the shot over extra cover. So this is going to be interesting, but he can't get the line wrong here, Ken Fernando. I like the move, though. I think it's a good idea. It's a ballsy move, and it's uh, oh, hopefully it pays off. And it doesn't because he's let down by his field, but it's okay because there's a man out there. Got a bit excited there. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, well swept by the fielder who goes across there and does extremely well. But, yeah, it shouldn't have got past the fielder there. Aaron Mohammed. He's going to have his work cut out on the well, on the boundary. Shrug's got a bit of a, an unpopular opinion, saying he'd rather have Matty Gottler than, than, than Taranji in his side. Oh, Gundy. That screams Gundy, and that's going to go all the way. And, well, Matty Gottler, what a way to... What a delivery to face to be able to get yourself off the mark. Because that's, be that's a poor delivery, and it's that's a noey. Yeah, that's a seven up. I mean, you can see the umpire is right. I mean, what my advice to the umpire there, if, you, if the sun's an issue, go to the other side. You entitled to do that. It's a good shot there of Andrew Begg. Can't see the ball properly, but that, yeah, there's the signal now off the free hit. So that is a seven up. It's a terrible delivery to start with Nanny Gottlob. Well, it doesn't matter who the batter is, Charlie. Tell him on Nanny Gottlob, but if you bowl that, you're going to get punished. And now, well, he can't be out because it is a free hit. So even though he's out of his crease, there's no appeal from the wicketkeeper, Rajinda Pisal, because he can't be out. Yep, so survives, but he loses his shape when he comes down the track, doesn't he? As does Natty Gottlob. Hold your shape, hold your form, and you're good enough on it. There are only small boundaries. And again, this time Persian Taran calls him through early. Good running. The uh, non-striker set off pretty early to Taranjit Singh. Yeah. And one thing I did notice when I was out there in the middle during that long break earlier, mm. that leg side for a right-hander, tiny. It's really small. It looks, it, it actually looks pretty decent from here, but when you're out there, in the middle, yeah. oh, it's tiny. It's so small. But anyway, at the moment, it's uh, it's going well. This time, just pushed by Singh and will be one. And yeah, good rotation of the strike here. He's 19 off seven at the moment. Yeah, that one just being pushed out onto the onside. They'll take the single. Clues, perfect start, but Ty Marta will know three wickets. That's what they'll be saying to themselves. Three wickets, and they're in here. This one's lofted. They're going for the throw, and it, a direct hit would have been interesting. Good pick up. Tarrant is running hard as is Natty Gottler. Natty Gottler does get there, but this is close. And here's the throw. He yeah, would have just got there. Tarrant, of course, has got a humongous reach he's a tall man and he needs every inch of it to get himself in last ball of the over 11 off it so far oh finds the leading edge lucky it doesn't pop up though for tarrant and that will be the end of the second it is at 28 for no loss after the second yeah 28 for no loss and just to remind you and remind everybody we have got a small matter of the euros of cricket starting in spain that will start of course, in 87 days' time. That is the European Cricket Championship. And uh, it's not happening in the beautiful province of Andalusia, the region of Malaga, when the cricketing nations come together and battle it out to see who will be crowned the champions of Europe. And can anyone take the crown away from the Netherlands? The Netherlands, of course, they'll be playing in Championship Week. Before that, we'll have... Uh, a real battle of uh, six groups. One thing that will be interesting for that Netherlands eleven is availability. Mm. Is, of course, because they're looking like, a, well, there's a, they're playing against Sri Lanka at the moment, but yeah, looking as if they're going to 
to be up to a, a pretty decent standard. They may be playing some decent cricket somewhere else. As, yeah. So the availability could be interesting. And uh, yeah, at the moment, it's uh, a yeah, good start. That good comeback from Fernando after going for 17 off his first. Yeah, Jonathan Fernando, the captain, Arun Kumar, says, no, I'm going to stick with you. You know what you did wrong. Get it right. Much better. Better line. Better areas. This is where the left-hander has to be going right across the right-hander. Oh, good delivery. And he's uh, going to get worked away here. This is unlucky. I mean, it's given off the bat because I think if it's pad involved here, everybody's going up. It's pretty full, but that's really well worked away. That is a really good shot. It just goes to show just the sort of form that Satwit Nadi Gotler is in at the moment. Remember, he scored 72 in the semi-final to book Kuji's place in this final. And now he and Tonjit Singh are looking to, well, get their team home. Fernando, what's the reply going to be? And better areas again. And if he, there's a certain spot outside that off peg. We've seen it a few times. We've seen uh, uh, Haider Ali hit it. We've also seen the likes of uh, Vasu Sahini do the same. This time, Fernando does. He gets that spot and the ball shoots off. Weaker. The wicket keeper, Jinder Pisan, does very well to take that. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's on it like a car bonnet. Is the keeper watches it well? Lashed outside the off, it will be one bounce, four runs. Once again, a good shot to play in the power play. They've got plenty of bodies out on the offside, but if you swing hard and make good contact and you get over that inner ring of fielders, you're going to get value for money. And he does four more. Yeah, great shot. And he just uses that width, which gives him the license to to have a go at this one. Good to see there's a, there's a good few amount of people sort of watching in and around the ground. There's a couple of groups sort of on that offside and a couple behind us here. And yeah, good to see a few spectators in here today. Come on then. They've got to find a way of breaking this partnership. Otherwise, it's just going to run and, and keep on going. I mean, they've got that net run rate already down to, to 10 that's required. So yeah, it's uh, it really is a matter of, of breaking this partnership. It's been a great, great opening uh, power play for Cluj. Walks back to his mark. One ball, ball to bow. And he knows that even this one ball, wicket here, it could be the start of something. Make it count. Let's see if he can. It's a good delivery. He gets it in the right area again. If only he could have started there, he'd be saying. But a much better second over from him. Went, of course, for 17 in the first. And uh, this time, Holy going for the eight. So good comeback from him. But Cluj, they made a good start. 36 without loss, and that's the key, without loss. Yeah, the key is that they've got all of their remaining batters in the shed still and uh, haven't utilised any any other needed reinforcements already. And they've also, the thing is, though, they haven't really given many opportunities. That's the issue as well. They don't look too concerned with the bowling that's being offered to them. Of course, they'll all know each other pretty well, being sister clubs, but I have a feeling, though, that the batting of Cluj is going to just take them over the line here. That's my feeling here at the moment when you've got... Batters in 19 not out off of 8 and 16 off of 11. You just feel that, OK, a wicket can change it, but even still, I mean, you look at where they were at this point. 28 for three plays. 36 for no loss. As uh, Fernando's going to continue here. No, he's not. Taranji isn't ready. <laughs> so, would you, I mean, it's a question for you. You need wickets, right? The only yeah. way you're going to win this match is wickets. I mean, OK, they believe that Dylan Fernando can do it. You believe that Jenny Fernando, but... Maybe take a leaf out of Kluge's book. Just try different bowlers because maybe somebody is going to be their day to get a wicket. I think doing this is fine, but you need wickets. Try something new. Try something that both these batters haven't seen. Yeah, it's an option. And this is uh, well dug out from Singh and we worked and, uh, and collected by that uh, Alian Mohammed out there. Yeah, because that's certainly one thing that Kluge did. Okay, it sort of backfired a little bit towards the end with Taranjit Pats bowling the 8th and the 10th over, but they changed it around beginning on. They kept time after guessing. Over pitch, chance taken. And, uh, well, does he take it or does he fall out? Does he have control of this, Charlie? Because I think he takes it and then drops it. So he does have control. I think that's what the umpires will decide. It will be out. But he's done this before, Dino Fernando. He takes a catch, and I think he just takes a catch, and then in the end says, all right, umps, I've got him. I'm now letting go of it. Gets down low. There's the catch taken. And then he puts it down. Yeah, he has full control of it. So they get the wicket they need. Nadi Gotler 
He's not going to go on to make big runs in this one. And, uh, he will go for 16. And it's ball number 12 that gets him. A great wicket from Dylan Fernando. Caught and bold. That could change things slightly. I tell you what, there's a change out there as well. Why? I don't know. Why is Pereira coming out and not Basu Sahini? Anyway, 37 for one then after that. Good caught and bold for Dylan Fernando. It's the first wicket down. Yeah, this... Um, Surprises me. Yeah, big surprise. I mean, you've seen more of them than I have, Rico. And, uh, you know, I mean, having Saini in at three is almost a godsend. And I don't really know why the skippers turn around and said, no, we we'll want you to go out. I don't get it. He's been batting so well. And it's, it's it's almost like, I mean, the only way I'd put it is he's like shying away from the responsibility. I mean, the foundation is being laid. But he wants to hold himself back now. Whew, I don't know if this is, well, it's interesting. I mean, Rajit Pereira. We, we know all about him with the ball. We haven't seen too much with him in the bat. Only thing is, he's a left-hander. Maybe yeah. that is what he's thinking about here. But he no, hasn't batted I think, much you know at what? all. I think it could be a fact of, you know, there may be something we don't know about. Maybe there's an injury that we don't know. And, you know, I, c I can't see it being a tactical advantage for them. I'm not sure. I really am not. Anyway, he's facing up now. Well, that's why, because he's gone over the top, over cover. And, uh, well, you're probably thinking, why haven't we seen him before? Because, well, what a way to get off the mark. Well, we haven't seen him before. And the left-hander, he takes on the spin watch. He comes down and he connects. And that's the difference. Gets there, backs himself. Well, maybe he has been sent out there just to do this. He's got a big smile on his face because this, this change surprises everybody. What a hit. And now, well, well that ball does come back. So, well done. To that man for finding it and fetching it. What a shot, what a start. Rajas Pereira, who's been instrumental with his spin, now whacks this one out of the ground. Yeah, lovely shot. And Fernando under a bit of pressure then with the new batter coming in and dismissing him pretty easily. Oh, he's tried to go leg side this time, but hasn't got anything on it, but they'll come through. Good running from Tarrant. He's on it, isn't he? He's, he's wide awake. Yeah, he's backing up. So, you know, there you go. Rajas Pereira has been sent out to have a little bit of fun. That's what the captain said to him. He said, OK, off you go. You have the license to go wild from the word go. And he did. So he misses out on the second. Now, Tarrant, I get the feeling that he's, uh, his approach may be slightly different. Yeah, I think he's uh, possibly going to look to pump down the ground here realistically. And that's exactly what he does. Well, talk about calling what you think is going to happen and getting it right. Exhibit A, because it's full. It's a full toss. And Taranjit Singh cashes in. And what a way to get your, yourself back underway. He had a few deliveries starved, didn't he? He didn't really get much to, much, uh, much to face, but he's got that one away nicely. Yeah, it's a full toss. You, you know, good batters are, not, are normally not going to get themselves out to bad bowling. And that was a bad ball from Dylan Fernando. It's a full toss. And, just, and Taranji, you see there, just hitting straight through this. This one ends up going a, a long way. And it does come back. And once again, James Cantor. Well, I'll tell you what, James, he's been here a couple of days. He certainly has put the, uh, put the mileage in, isn't he? Fetching balls, going all over the place. And uh, he's been pretty successful as he finds this one. Taran, maybe looking to put it away once again. Did a sit on commentary as well at one point. So, yeah, he's done a bit of everything as, as James. We appreciate... Him coming down and on oh, the sweep. Oh, that is pure brilliance from Taranjit Singh. The fact that he turns around and uh, and manipulates this into the onside, that is that is Taranjit Singh at his best. Yeah, and the thing about this shot I like, he knows. He says LBW is out of the equation, gets his foot across, and he sweeps this ball that was going outside the off for four runs. 50 also came up in that over. 54 for one. It's a super start, and uh, well, no surprise that Sabjit Gord, the the lovely wife of Taranjit, she's well, she's already in party mood as she puts the the party emoji up and the heart for her man Taranjit, who is going well at the moment. And uh, well, Maya, she'll be happy. She's a bit of a Taranjit fan as well. Look, I want to say a big thank you to everybody. Of course, we'll have the opportunity to say it once more, but everybody in the chat, you've been absolutely brilliant all the way through here in Romania. Thank you all, of course. Thank you all. Shukriya to all of our viewers in the sub-Indian continent as well for watching. Thank you. Both shukriya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. European Cricket Network. Tomorrow we will start the cricket. Tomorrow we will have international matches. Romania, Croatia. We will play Slovenia.
तो जरूर सुनो ज्वाइन करो सैटरडे एंड संडे इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट well they go to ali i love listening to that by the way i really enjoy listening not that i understand it but i think it's great oh, off the pad again trying to turn into the onside he's just missing that sweep isn't he Pereira? as yeah ali's come into the frame of things here well we're spending more time together i'll teach you i'll teach you something i don't think i'll pick it up <laughs> you're a young man you'll pick it up easy uh, yeah okay we'll see we'll see i'm not saying that it's a i think the umpire saying there was a little bit of battle on that so Pereira will get another run to his name okay ali up against Tarrant. Tarrant already raised ahead to 30. Kluge looking good, but Tomato will know. As, uh, this one is, oh, well. Uh, does this, does this, it doesn't, does it? No way. Does this drop onto the stumps? Let's watch. Watch where this ball goes. I reckon this one gives the stumps a little bit of a kiss. Oh, it does. Hits the base of the stumps and the bail stay on. That there could be the luck. That clues need. Oh, well. And Tony, did, then he, he hammers this one down the ground. Not the first time we've seen that. Remember, that also happened when it was uh, Samid was doing the bowling and he was on a hat trick ball to Siva Kuma, another clues player. And the ball rolled onto the stumps. The bail stayed on. That luck, well, that could be the difference between winning and losing this match. Yeah, it really could be. And it's, uh, it's really tough for Ali because he probably. Felt he, he should have got the wicket. Nice bit of drift. Unfortunate not to get a hand on that one, but it won't be too costly. There's a man there for one. At the moment, going at this rate, they're, uh, they're getting there slowly, but it's still going to be a, a hefty ask at the end of it, though, because, you know, 54 off 31, they've got to find a way. Yeah, they do have to find a way. Ali checks his field. I've got to say here, Charlie, it, it's extremely warm at the moment. It's Extremely hot. warm. It's Pultos. hot. And, uh, of course, the thing is as well, you have to remember that in the hot conditions, the ball will travel further. And that's not me chatting rubbish. That is genuine. There is science behind it. Do I know the science behind it? No, I just know that it does. I'm sure someone in the chat will tell us. Anyway, end of the over. It is uh, at the halfway stage. Score 58 for one. This is what's coming up tomorrow. And, uh, well, we can see there that we get underway for the ECI Romania Internationals. And, well, the miss for for Romania. There's no Taranji in there. Probably suspecting he has to travel back to, to Poland, which I, I believe that's where he's residing at yeah, the moment. Yeah, I think he? also it's an opportunity to give some other players a chance. I mean, that's, a lot of teams have taken that. I mean, you were the, you've seen some of Croatia. Who we expected to see perform well from them? Sam Houghton. Sam Houghton's a, a, a name in there that's uh, he's played yeah. under 19s in, in back in New Zealand. Edwin Zanko, the skipper as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, they took a bit of a uh, they struggled with the T20Is, in, in all fairness. It's a bit of a, it's complete, it's a complete re re revamp, yeah. really. What's our Kamal's name there? Yeah, though? a name that comes up to me here. Oh, this is going to be close, you know. Oh, if he hit, he would have been gone. And now they're going to get two runs out of nowhere because that's not really good backing up at all. I know those fielders on the leg side are a fair way back, but you've got to be predicting this coming in. They don't come in. There's going to be two runs from nowhere. Yeah, Aman Mashwari in the side there. So he's a hard hitter. I remember him. Uh, from Croatia, so be interested to see him play as well. Oh, shot! That is pure timing, and uh, uses the wrists nicely. Gets this one away, and that's a maximum. He moves into the 40s here. Uh, it's an uh, interesting move to bring Sahi on here. Yeah, Sahi, a man that we saw in the middle at the coin toss, They're doing the job for Kuru for Arun Kuma now doing the bowling, but uh, it's not started well. It's cheeky two, and now Taran. Goes down the ground, playing the spin very well. Tonjit Singh. And he uses the long handle, and he gets just enough of it, doesn't he? The fielder can't get there. A big shadow catch is Janith Fernando. He tries everything, but Tonjit off the back foot. This is the power of the man. Gets enough. And, well, leaping in the air, Janith Fernando. But he can't get there, and Singh... Now moves on to 46. Such a good player of spin. And it's uh, it's not the best spin, but it's spin from Sahi. And, well, he's probably going to try and go again. And he does. Has he got all of it? No. My reaction says no. Oh, it is taken. And it will be the wicket of Taranjit Singh. Goes four shy of his half century here in the final. It's a big wicket to get. But is it going to be a little bit too late for Giamarta? Only time will tell. But Cluj... Well, might be a little bit of nerves now here as they lose the big man in Taran. There he goes for 46. Score, 72 for two. Yeah, a little bit, I think, yeah, more than a little bit. I mean, think this is where now 
Uh, Vasu Sahini, the captain, surely will come out. Taranji gets them started, but falls at a very important point of the match. They still need 39 runs and uh, need to be going at the rate of nine. Now, that one will fire up Jumata for sure. Whenever you get the wicket of somebody like Taranji Singh, You'll always feel you're back in the match. They've got the wicket of that with Danny Gottler. you got Taranjit back here now. Vasu Saini now probably holds the key. Taranjit, he did get lucky earlier, didn't he, when the ball hit the stump, but the bells didn't come off. Nicely taken catch there by Aryan Mohammed. And uh, that changes things slightly as the captain of Kluge, Vasu Saini, will come out at the number four position. Well, he, uh, he went ahead and, and bowled himself in the opening role, didn't he? And he said, oh, I'm going to do it for my team hit. Well, he's got to, he's got to, going to have to do it here this time around with the bat as well because it's uh, just the mere total of 39 needed off 26. Then they can just go at nines. In T10, that really isn't too much of a big ask. But it's whether or not they lose another couple of wickets here. Well, this is the moment now. So, Jai Marta with that wicket. And so he, maybe he's got his team back in it. And uh, here we go. So it will be a nervous finish, maybe. So Heaney just uh, gets to the pitch of this, puts his away. He is very strong on the legs, and that's one thing that Joe Marta do not want to do to him, and that's to feed him down the leg side. It is a ball to go in this one, and it will be bowled to Pereira, who hit his first ball for six, but hasn't really had that sort of delivery again. I still think he'll come down the track here to Sahi. I just get the feeling he wants another boundary here. Let's see. He does come down. He hits it pretty well, and they will get just the run as Jenny Fernando, great acrobatic fielding from him, makes a stop, gets a rock and tumble, and then throws it in. Just the single, end of the over. And uh, so he, he does go for 16, but he gets the prize scalp of Taranjit. Yeah, he does. It's the big one that, that, that they would have wanted. Sahi, I was calling him a bit part-time. He is a little bit, but even still, though, picks up that big scalp. There's confirmation of it there. 46 for Tara, 16 for, for Satwick Nadigotla. But it's up to these two, really. I mean, Paddy Awa can still hold about. Don't get me wrong, as can, uh, of course, Mishra. And uh, I think Azapanti is also pretty decent, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, at the moment, it's uh, all over yet, is it? I mean, 37 needed off 24. Just one big over. It's all it's got to be. And in, uh, if you're thinking from Giramata, you're probably thinking, OK, well, all I want to do is, you know, a cheap, cheap over. One that goes for maybe just your fours or your fives. That just drags it back a little bit. Yeah. And it becomes, you know, possibly 11 needed off, off of the over Zal. Well, one man who's been pretty key all the way through for Jamata in this series. And it's sort of been instrumental in their success. He's coming on the bowl now. It's Jump Club Fernando. Now, he has, and I, I saw this myself, he's got a nasty bruise on his hand. When he, you can see him shaking his hand there. Because when he was bowling, he took one back trying to take a catch, which left a nasty mark. That's a lovely shot. Oh, what a save. What a save. This is only one, but it would have been four. That's a brilliant stop. Safi Ahmed out there who's done that. Excellent bit of work in the covers. It was a great shot, but an even better stop from Ahmed. And yeah, you can see he's uh, <laughs> it's sore, that hand, isn't it? For, uh, for Fernando. Yeah, it is. This is, I mean, they're going for Fernando to bowl here. Remember the man who makes that stop, Safi Ahmed, who, for me, in the semi-final, bowled at the complete wrong time. I mean, talk about making changes. I mean, this is the normally the way they use the bowlers. They used him to bowl a second over, and it didn't work. And uh, that's well dealt with with the man at third who makes the stop, so they just get a single. So I think this is a, they're taking a bit of a gamble here to see how jump club Fernando bowls, and if he bowls pretty well, we get another. If he doesn't, then they've tried him at least. But, uh, he is struggling, I think, to get the ball to, to come out of the hand as he would like. He's making a bit of a change here to the left-hander, and this makes sense because after that last shot that was played, that was brilliantly stopped by Ahmed. And, uh, getting some protection out there, a sweep around the offside. Hardly any breeze at all, folks, as we talk. It is hot, stifling hot. I reckon that uh, out there in the middle, temperatures are around about quite easily, 32, 34 degrees. Yeah, big time. No breeze to help. Makes good contact. And Jennifer Fernando attacks the ball well. I love his fielding. He's got so much confidence. I mean, it doesn't for once enter his head that by attacking the ball, he's going to miss it. Takes it clean in his hands, makes a stop, keeps it to one. A good fielding side is a winning side. Mm. That's, uh, that's what we always come to see. Catches win matches is another one. 
But yeah, good. Uh, you always need and require y your fielders to be on top. And that's the difference that we've seen between these four teams here today and those lower down in the table. This one's darted, but he's just lofted this. And I think, oh, that's excellent bit of work. That's superb from, uh, from Amir Ali. I think he's done enough. We'll have to check it, but yeah, I think he stopped it there. He stops it perfectly. I mean, now he's got a bit of a hobble on as well. Bit of the walking wounded some of these players, but yeah, comes across, makes a stop. Let's keep an eye on the foot there, but he's not in, when he makes contact, he's not in touch with the ball at this point. So even if the foot does go and touch the rope there, it doesn't matter. So he does well. Yeah, he's fine. They'll, they'll, they'll move on. Oh, was there an edge? Was there a little nick on this one? But it was it was a low, would have been a low grab for the keeper. But that's why that's why as a wicket keeper you've got to stay low, rise with the ball. Doesn't matter. It's given as uh, given as buys. Never mind. Yeah, given as buys, but I certainly heard something there. But I think that's probably maybe bat, bat on bat yeah, on ground, maybe bat on ground. Yeah, on the carpet. And then the, and then the ball hitting the gloves potentially. But still, good over at the moment. Just five off it from uh, Kamara, aka Fernando. I've not like got it once. I'm quite proud of myself. Still here. <laughs> good on you. Still here. 31 needed off 19, still Cluj to, to lose this, really, you'd feel. That's the thing. That's what uh, Kinamata have to do. They've got to make Cluj lose this now. And, uh, well, this one outside edge, and that's well bowled. And it will just be one. So good tidy over with uh, with, an, with probably one and a half hands, in fairness, with for Fernando. That will be uh, 81 for two after seven. And, well, Rico will both be here tomorrow. We'll both see the uh, the exciting internationals, Romania versus Croatia in match number one, and then we get to see Slovenia. So all three teams tomorrow playing in a, in a one of the, out of the five games. Yeah, and uh, Romania, you can see there, they've got a big day. Well, some of those players are probably already feeling it, especially some of the ones that will uh, be representing Romania that are played here today. But uh, four matches tomorrow for them. And, uh, well, it's going to be, I think I'm really looking forward to this series. I mean, Romania, you would think, having played here, especially having this uh, the European Cricket Series here, that uh, they'll be up for it. But yeah, European Cricket International styling tomorrow. To have, and it's also the 1st of July. Charlie, where has where has this year gone? Where's your summer gone? Yeah, don't tell me that. Summer of Charlie 2.0, it's uh, it's in full <laughs> swing, if we're being honest. And well, we've got, uh, what have we got after this? Got one event and then uh, one more in the books. Mm. Been a... It feels like it's not, I've not done the same amount as I have last year, but I think that's just because I'm having even more fun. Yeah, you've done, I mean, and yeah. But done a fair really amount. Like, yeah, you've done a lot. <laughs> done a fair amount. you haven't had time to, it's like me, I haven't had time to reflect. I'm pretty sure that I have gone past 2,000 matches. I'm going to have to sit down and work this out tomorrow anyway. Hi, in the air. Oh, what a launch this is. Bolle, 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 tol, banal, bajal. But give a jolt because this goes all the way. Well, that doll is making a bit of noise. The drum is being played as this one gets sent to the moon and back. What a hit. And Pereira, he's starting this way. That's what he's going to do more of. I don't know what's going on here, <laughs> what's being said to him. But Rajinda Pisal probably just trying to put him off. He's trying to say, you don't have to hit it that hard. You can just get it over the rope. That's enough. Do you reckon they're saying, oh, I've never seen you do this. Who are you? What have you done with Pereira? <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> Where's the real Rajis Pereira? They're asking. Wow, what a hit. And just just after you get a nice tidy over there from Jump Club Fernando with the first ball from Amir Ali goes huge. His first over wasn't bad at all, really, Amir Ali. And now he gets sent big. His first over only went for four. Goes again. This time gets played out. And to the leg side, quite happy to take the single. Now, this would be a good test for Ali because he's got to get the line right now. As he uh, now will have to bowl to the, the right-handed captain, Vazu Sahini. Yeah, Vazu Sahini, he's dangerous, isn't he? He can take this game and, and finish it in a in a, just a few flows of the bat, in all, if all truth be told. But he's not, it's not going to be as easy as that. They're, uh, they're a good side, Art Kinamata. And look, whoever do, whoever's the winner and whoever's the loser, both sides can be proud of, of their efforts here today and over the last 12 days. Yeah, fact. big time. Absolutely big time. Due to that. Here we go. So here he once again, and just making sure that everybody is uh, sat down behind the bowler's arm. Guys, right there, we are not. One or the other, move off this 
So it just make you people that are there move. What the thing is, people sit themselves at the vantage point, but they forget that they're in front of the side screen. So when they get up and move around, they get in the way. So I'm just getting them to move out of the way nicely here. And, uh, well, it's a one-hand pickup. Oh! Well, he throws that on the ground, and he gets a fair bit of power in the throw as well, but they'll get the single. Nice looking shot, Masu. Feels like I'm in a test match with this amount of movement behind the arm. There seems to be a lot, doesn't there? I think I was just I just uh, people. Just Everybody likes to sit up there because it's a lovely vantage point. It is lovely, but I, I you're right it. Front I said, of the shouts, the side screen. I said, "Gents, you got to move." They went, "We're not, we're not, we're not in the way." I went, "Well, you clearly are." Off you pop. <laughs> anyway, oh, a bold angles in and going to be a tough chase again, but he does well. Great effort this time around. Ooh, well He's now they it. might get up and go for two. He, he still lost? has to do well to get there and. Oh, hang on. He, what's he done here? Has he <laughs> clonked the ball out of the hands of the keeper? Well, what's he lost on the floor? Is that a glove that's come off? I can't I work it out. I think, I think it it's might a be glove. his cap. Or is it his cap? Oh, okay. Well, here's the one-hand pick up and throw. Let's keep an eye on this. It's, uh, it's running hard. Yeah, he does get in. And then uh, <laughs> I think he runs into the stump himself. But two runs, valuable runs. So Pereira, he's uh, making the most of uh, coming in. At number three, he's been given, I think he was given the license to go the full Monty, and it certainly is making it count. Yeah, he is, isn't he? And, uh, well, Zaini, we, we, we said, okay, first of all, interesting move to have him bowl the second over. He did excellently. Mm. Then we questioned the move of having Pereira being moved to three. He's doing well so far. Zaini's a bit of a magician. This time oh. through the offside. It's a great shot. There is a man out there for that exact reason. Well, this stump's gone. What is, why is the bail falling off the stump? So I'm assuming it's because the wicket keeper's just knocked it off. No one's really appealing. Yeah, that was a really nice shot, wasn't it? Cuts it beautifully. But uh, like you said, straight to the fielder. I think it's just the wicket keeper because there's no... Yeah, he just moves it with his gloves. So no wishes there. That <laughs> was funny. <laughs> I was sort of looked at me and said, guys, you're in the way you need to move. And then they sort of just looked at me and just went, oh, no, we're not. We're off to the side of the side. And I went, <laughs> well, you clearly are. The game stopped for you and there's a reason why. And yeah. sort of just a little flaming of the arms. I went, come on, gents, off you pop. Going to move on. Thank you very much. Got a final to play. That was UNEF's up there, I think it was. Need a wicket. Ali, his oh. last ball. Oh, it's a Gundy. Oh, no, this is tragic. This is absolute tragic. Well, before that delivery, 19 of 13 balls. And now it will take five off it. It becomes 14 of 13. What a Gundy ball that is from Amir Ali. And uh, ball to you, Gundy. It in our medical match. That's got to hurt you. That is really got to hurt you. Yeah, it really has. It's a minimo, isn't it? And, uh, well, it's now just over a runner ball at 14 off 13. And any questions, really, they're almost out of the window here, in, 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 if all truth be told. Yeah. बहुत जबरदस्त टूर्नामेंट से रोमेनिया दे पर याद कर लो हाल इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट भी कर लो आ रही है ये द लास्ट डे है ये फाइनल हैगा यूरोपियन क्रिकेट सीरीज था पर कल शुरू होगा यूरोपियन क्रिकेट इंटरनेशनल क्रोएशिया होंगे सोल्वेनिया नाले रोमेनिया खेलूंगे वीकेंड दे बेट सैटरडे संडे एंड ऑफ द ओवर एंड वेल आई थिंक क्वाइट राइट इट टू द बैटर्स एज द हीट इज ऑन जस्ट टेकिंग द ऑपर्चुनिटी टू टेक ऑन सम फ्लूइड्स and uh, you can see the equation there that they are almost home 98 for two so 13 required of two overs but stranger things can happen it's all about keeping your nerve Vasil Saini will probably be talking to Pereira and say come on you and me let's finish this the captain's going to be on strike himself they can do it by just taking singles they don't have to try and go for the big shots but uh Thing is, though, it's easy to say that, but for batters, for some reason, they like the glory. Yeah, they do. And uh, the issue is, as well, is that if you're uh, Guillermo Artelis thinking, let's just try and get them into this last over. If they get them into the last, anything can happen. But at the moment, if you're uh, on the opposite hand, Clues are probably thinking, let's just get it done and dusted. I mean, if you take it into that last over, you do run the risk of opening yourself up to any sort of issues that you may possibly have. But at the moment, it's a simple equation. 13 then needed effectively they can do it in, in three hits two uh, two sixes and a single is all it needs to be Fernando it's up in the air and it's going to be four runs it's a uh, well you can see Vasi Saini he's not thinking about singles if it's there he's swinging hard he gets enough of it it flies over the man at uh, the backward point area and once it gets over him it's only going to be runs 
frustration from Jill Marta and some of their players as they kick in and punch in the ground in, in, uh, in annoyance. And Vasisani is saying, calm down, boys, calm down. It's only a game, but it isn't, you know. Yes, this is a full toss, firmly hit down the ground. Jennifer Fernando, who has been fantastic in that area, that's the fielding. They'll get one. Yeah, big time hit. And, uh, well, Marnus has just come in the chat and he's saying, Charlie, we've been proven right. And I said, didn't I? I said, I feel like they've left 20 runs out there. And uh, and really, in reality, that's what's come about it here. And yeah. uh, 20 more runs and it's a different game. And uh, in theory, that's what it's going to come down to. Eight just, eight just eight needed then. They can do it in two hits here. And, well, Pereira, he was randomly pushed up to three. Well, there's going to be four of them. That oh. is timed. Time to perfection. And, well, the party might be getting started for the Cluj team here because it's just four needed now. They can do it with a single flow of the bat. But what a shot that is. Pereira, he's been magnificent with the ball and now he's turning it on with the bat as well. All smiles there. Look at that. Some of the players, Naveen Tandupa, we haven't seen too much of him with the ball, but when he has bowled, he's bowled really well. But you know what? He's not one of those that mops around and says, why can't I have a bowl? He's a proper team player, like one or two others in that side as well. And, uh, well, Sumudu Yasari is another one. Always been there, always been playing, been giving everything in the field. And now, well, they're only just a big hit away. And quite fittingly, it might be the captain who gets the winning runs because he turns down the... Option of a second, he'll go on strike. Three required for victory. One shot will do it here, Charlie. One shot will do it. And it all comes down to this then, folks. Three needed off eight. The skipper for Cluj. Is he about to guide his team to a second fan code European Cricket Series victory in three years? They've done three finals on the trot. It's three runs needed. The magical number for Cluj. He plays it away, but there is a man out there. It will just be a single. No mistakes from the fielder. I thought I just built that out to be the best bit of commentary all year. <laughs> I genuinely thought I'd just done something there. Oh, that's such a... Sh you wanted that boundary, didn't I you? I wanted you that wanted highlight reel. to be finished. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that highlight reel. I wanted Look it. at them there. Look at that. That is what it means to them, Clues. It's the final that they wanted. Taranjit is there. Remember, he's <laughs> impacting this. The um, final they wanted. They wanted victory over Jaimata. Goes for the shot, and that will be it. Cluj are the champions of 2023. The players run onto the field of play. Oh, well, sweet revenge. And look at Tarantino, the airways go. Oh, he's absolutely delighted. Look at that. He's rubbing it in. Shaba, Shaba from Tarantino. Well, they don't want to know. They don't. Tarantino is not letting it go. He's having his own little game of Kabaddi out there. Kabaddi, 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 Kabaddi. As uh, Tarantino goes over to, I think that's the captain there, Aaron Kumar. Kumar saying, leave it be. But this is absolutely delightful. What a final has been. And Cluj, they return back to the top. Then they they are the champions once more. They know what it feels like to where to be where Jai Marta were. Jai Marta, of course, the losing finals. But what a series has been for them. Kluge, they lost last year. They know the feeling. But look at that. That is the feeling of joy. That is the feeling of success. That is the feeling of being a champion. Yeah, and uh, a lot of people are going to sit there and probably say, "Well, hang on a minute. Why is Taranjit going over and rubbing in their face?" These guys are all best of friends look at them even though one club's a winner one club's a loser stronger together oh, like is what this. they're all saying like, go on do it I and like look this. at this do come it. on do get it. the celebrations do going do it for us here yeah, come on, because the it. champions of the ecs romania here they of course are Cluj. what they a have, lovely moment charlie they what, have uh, do it do it go for it oh yeah come on oh yeah come now, on, you're how better often than that. do you see this both teams showing that european cricket network and it's all about being stronger together. Two teams, well, they're falling over there as well. Two teams made up of one. And the reason that Taraji, by the way, was going to Arun Kuma, remember Arun Kuma was the captain of Clues. What a lovely moment. Well, I hope nobody's injured themselves in that <laughs> Someone uh, little has mini been. joint team <laughs> celebration. But I'm liking that. This is great. Mar marvellous moments here in Romania. You've got to say it, Charlie. You've got to say it. That I know Clues are the champions, but you've got to say it here. These two weeks, cricket definitely being the winner. Cricket the winner, but the cricket doesn't stop, of course. We continue tomorrow, 6.15 GMT, 8.15 Central European time, 11.45. And in India, Romania take on Croatia in match number one of these European cricket internationals. Thrilling cricket still to come.
But ladies and gentlemen, don't leave here, us here because we've got a presentation to go through. Rico's going to be taking us through that. You've got to find out who the MVP is, of course. We've got to find out different little things. Who's been the most helpful in and around the ground? Everyone has been helpful. And it's been an outstanding, outstanding two weeks of cricket. Let's take a look at these highlights then. These are going to be rather incredible to watch. It was Taranjit Singh at the top of the order and a lot of questions about him. Probably people thinking, is he going to do much better than he did last time? He got four and was out. Well, boy, oh boy, did he do much better. He smashed it to all areas of the ground and he hit it all over 360 degrees and it was just an incredible innings. Of course, uh, we take a look here and there were some good, uh, good moments though for Giamatta in all fairness, but it was just a matter of not taking wickets and yeah, it's a, it's a real shame. And uh, yeah, you take a look at these. This was a, a moment here. They got Natty got look caught and bowled. Excellent bit of work from uh, Dylan Fernando. He was the uh, he was one of the better bowlers in this uh, in this innings for Ginamata and uh, quite a few of them went for decent uh, a decent amount of runs but yeah it was just that man wasn't it Taranjit Singh he was the fella who uh, realistically he was able to get things going and uh, well what a uh, what a set of what a what a set of, of highlights these are because it's rather incredible to see this and uh, well what what scenes it is I mean the minimo that was that sort of sealed the fate really didn't it that was all you needed to know because it was then just a matter of time. And uh, this is what really realistically happened. And he uh, got this one away. And he uh, got this one away nicely once more. And uh, well, that was it. Game, set and match. Kluge, winners here. Taranjit Singh, he's a comedian at heart. He loves to entertain the world. And uh, well, even though you can see here, look, one of those teams, by the way, there's a losing team. So there's a losing side in there. And uh, well, you can see there, someone's down there. And by the way, they're still down. And so there's a little bit of concern at the moment. But coming up is going to be the trophy ceremony. But uh, yeah, that's of course coming up here in, in a moment's time. But it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be Rico who takes you through that. He's there, he's, he's, he's just in frame, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's trying his best. Look, he's there, but he's gonna be taking us through that. But what a, uh, a tournament we've had. It's been an incredible two weeks of cricket, of course. We've had a good fair amount of people that have been, uh, that have come and gone here over the last, uh, last two weeks or so. But of course, it's just been the cricket that's the winner. It's been a pleasure to join Rico here. I know he's, uh, he's enjoyed having myself here. It's, I've enjoyed being here with him, of course, because uh, well, he was able to take two days off and rightfully so, because he did a long stint on his own, but he did a great stint as well, wasn't it? And I know he's a lot of people's favorites and for many different reasons, you can of course understand that. So at the moment, it's, uh, yeah, it's, we know what's happened. Cluj after 12, days of, uh, of hard graft they are the champions here and well if you want to stick around and watch them collect the trophy because well if you thought those scenes are crazy you wait until they have the trophy in their hands we'll also be looking forward to seeing who the mvp is as well that's coming up in 10 15 minutes or so as we get set up for this uh, for this trophy ceremony and uh, it just gives me a moment to say a huge thank you to everyone for tuning in all around the world it's a pleasure to do what i do at the moment the summer of charlie 2.0 well, I've called it that anyway, but it's it's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, of course, we still are here for the next two days. This is the great thing. We've got internationals coming up over the next two days. So even though I'm saying my goodbyes and it feels a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, I'll be doing it all again all over tomorrow. So until then, all that's left to say, is stick around, wait. The trophy ceremony will be here very shortly. My name's been Charlie Hunt and I'll see you very, very soon. Seven bits of wood and a tape ball taken to an open space. With a swing and a hit, the ball goes flying in the field that makes his chase. A community playing on the field of dreams, no matter race, sex, color, or age. Stars of the future of European cricket are ready to take the stage. Ball's getting quicker with a cooker barrel starting to swing. The keeper in your mind standing just behind Pressure is creeping in Some give it flight and some give it rip As the ball really starts to spin But our fast one's alert and with the crack of a bat The ball flies over for six Cricketers Here be cricketers Share your passion for riding flag with the world Cricketers
A beautiful game Smiling faces and celebrations As the champions enjoy their fame European legends Breaking records Making their own dreams come true Watched by millions of European cricketers Show the world what they can do Now picture this Ten runs needed to win off the last over of the match Fielders are on fire Sliding and diving Want to take that world-class catch Tension building as the ball runs in Will it be short or your curve or slow? A six will win it Four to tie into the golden ball we go Cricketers, hear me cricketers Share your passion for riding the flag with the world Cricketers, hear me cricketers Time to cheer and show the world what you got All over Europe are coming together today. Thousands of cricketers want to be stars, show their talents when they play. We've got commentary, action pack, cricket frenzy. You hooked, you can't deny. Worldwide audience watching to see which team will lift the cup up high. Oh, cricketers, you be cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Cricketers, hear me cricketers, time to cheer and show the world what you got. La, 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 there he goes, he sent that pack in, in the but the shaka, six more. Oh, cricketers, hear me cricketers, share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. You mentioned turbo earlier, that's supercharged. Six runs, that's going into orbit. It's another Kookaburra ball that's going to be circling our planet for years to come. Seven bits of wood and a tip ball taken to an open space. With a swing and a hit, the ball goes flying and the fielder makes his chase. A community playing on the field of dreams, no matter race, sex, color, or age. Stars of the future of European cricket are ready to take the stage. Ball's getting quicker with the kookaburra starting to swing. The keeper in your mind standing just behind, pressure is creeping in. Some give it flight and some give it rip as the ball really starts to spin. But our fast ones alert with the crack of a bat, the ball flies over for six. Cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Blasters turn on the spire. Cricket's a beautiful game. Smiling faces and celebrations as the champions enjoy their fame. European legends breaking records, making their own dreams come true. Watched by millions of European cricketers show the world what they can do. Now picture this: ten runs needed to win off the last over of the match. Fielders are on fire, sliding and diving. Want to take that world-class catch? 
tension building as the ball runs in. Will it be short, a yorker, or slow? A six will win it, four to tie into the golden ball. We go, cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. All over Europe are coming together today. Thousands of cricketers want to be stars, show their talents when they play. We've got commentary, action pack, cricket frenzy. You hooked, you can't deny. Worldwide audience watching to see which team will lift the cup up high. Oh, cricketers, you be cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Hear me, cricketers. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. La, 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 there he goes. He sent that pack in. in the but the shaka. Six more. Oh, cricketers. Hear me, cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Go. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. The turbo earlier, that's supercharged. Six runs, that's going into orbit. It's another Kookaburra ball that's going to be circling our planet for years to come. Seven bits of wood and a tape ball taken to an open space. With a swing and a hit, the ball goes flying on the field and makes his chase. A community playing on the field of dreams, no matter race, sex, color, or age. Stars of the future of European cricket are ready to take the stage. Ball's getting quicker with the kookaburra starting to swing. The keeper in your mind, standing just behind, pressure is creeping in. Some give it flight and some give it rip as the ball really starts to spin. But our fast ones alert with the crack of a bat, the ball flies over for six. Cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Cricketers, hear me, cricketers. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Blessings turn on the spine. Cricket's a beautiful game. Smiling faces and celebrations as the champions enjoy their fame. European legends breaking records, making their own dreams come true. Watched by millions of European cricketers show the world what they can do. Now picture this: ten runs needed to win off the last over of the match. Fielders are on fire, sliding and diving, want to take that world-class catch. Tension building as the ball runs in. Will it be short, a yorker, or slow? A six will win it. Four to tie into the golden ball. We go, cricketers. Hear me, cricketers. Share your passion for riding the flag with the world. Cricketers. Hear me, cricketers. Time to cheer and show the world what you got. Hello cricket lovers and welcome 
to the presentation ceremony of this fan code European Cricket Series in Romania. I think you'll all agree that it's been a fantastic series and we'll go on to some of the presentations a little bit later but I want to start off by saying some big thank yous. First of all, of course, we have to thank our partners. Without them, a lot of what we do would not be possible. So a big shout out to our title partner, Fancode, through HCL Software, and also to Grizzly Bear Sports, who are our board provider. And of course, here in Romania, we've had the, the Marriott Courtyard as our hotel partner. So thank you to our partners. We really have been blessed with a fantastic venue here in Romania. I mean, I have to say, a lot of people that have been watching around the world have all been asking questions, where is this being played? Because the Moara Vesia Cricket Ground has been absolutely superb. It's an absolute picture postcard of a ground. But of course, it takes a lot of upkeep and a lot of work has to go on behind the scenes to keep it looking that way. So we have to give thanks, of course, to our hosts. So big thank you, to, of course, to Cricket Romania. I know that we've got Gabriel here and also we got the CEO, Abdul Shakur. These guys have worked wonderfully. They've done a lot of work behind the scenes and the hospitality from you guys have been absolutely fantastic. And on behalf of the European Cricket Network and everyone here, thank you all very much. You've been absolutely great. Well done. <laughs> from one key team to another, one thing that I'm always reminding everybody of is that we can't play this beautiful game that we love if we don't have the right men that control the game, if we don't have the right officials. And I think that the, the officiating here in Romania has been brilliant. I think the umpires have done really well. They've been under a lot of pressure sometimes. They've been put in some difficult situations. There's been a lot of uh, intensive appealing and they've dealt with the situation really well. And one thing that I will always say, and I know that a lot of you that are playing top class cricket now will agree that your own performances get better as teams as, and individuals if you have good umpires. The umpires here have been brilliant. Let's hear it for the umpires and also the tournament referee, Stefan Gooch. Great job, guys. From one dream team to another, a lot of work, and your captains will be aware of this, happens behind the scenes way before the cricket starts here in the mornings, and it goes long into the night as well. And that is, of course, work done by the European Cricket Network team. We call them the Brew Army. So a big shout out to everybody here from the European Cricket Network team, led, of course, here this week by Medadel. Well done, crew, wherever you are. Ravi, Samir. Speaking of teams, there's a lot of magic that was created out there in the middle. We've seen some great individual performances. We've seen two hat-tricks. We've seen a century. We've seen close matches as well. And really, all of those have been captured by a group of people that work very hard. And they make what you do in the middle appear magical on the big screen for the, the world to watch. Let's hear it for Spring Productions, our production partner. Word on to Spring Productions. <laughs> Here this week, we've had Elsa, Daniela, who is filming cricket for the very first time. Daniel, marvellous from you. And also Kiriolis up in the tower. Kiriolis, well done. And last week, we had Patrick here, Dennis and Arthur. I think all of them have been absolutely fantastic. Once more, Spring Productions, well done. Before we move on, one man that I want to thank in particular. At least a young man, really, but really... He's been absolutely superb. His development in being in the box with me has been tremendous. He's somebody that's done a lot of cricket by himself. And now I've stood with him in Bulgaria. I've been here with him in Romania. He's a pleasure to work with. He's a talented guy. He knows his cricket. And I couldn't have done the work I did without him. So Charlie Hunt, Charlie, where are you? Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Charlie. Well done, brother. Great work. So it's time to move on to the presentations. And I don't want to spend too much time because it's getting pretty warm up here. Bad choice to wear a jacket. But before we go into the team performances, I just want to uh, give a massive shout out to everybody here. I know we've only got a, a small reputation of all the clubs that took part, but you guys should be so proud. And I think the Federation, the guys of the Federation, Gabriel and also Abdul, because cricket has really taken off here in Romania. Just look at how many teams are coming up. And the final tells the story, doesn't it? 
Cluj was the main club and because there were so many players that wanted to play, players not getting to play, another club gets set up and the two clubs meet in the final. I think that's a fantastic story and it's something that we're starting to see on the road as we travel along the European Cricket Network. More cricket being played, more clubs being formed. So to all the clubs that took part, give yourself a round of applause. So cricket has certainly been a winner. Well done, everybody. One partner that I haven't thanked so far is Locker Lifestyles that are responsible providing us with these magnificent trophies. They bring a little bit of bling and glamour to the final. And we're going to start off with the bronze final. Unfortunately, it's a final that two teams are playing in it that they don't really want to be there. You want to be playing in the big final. But full credit to UNEFs and also to Bucharest Gladiators. Bucharest Gladiators, of course, were the champions last year. You wanted to be there again and defend that title. Couldn't quite do and UNEF, a team on debut, a little bit like Giamata, I think they did remarkably well to get where they did. So big shout out to UNEF who were the losing uh, bronze finalists. We certainly were... We certainly were thrilled to see some great performances from the Bucharest Gladiators. I mean, the talk of the captain, Cosmin, you were just outstanding. I think the leading wicket taker you ended up being. Remarkable performance from you. And of course, the likes of Hassan with the batting. I don't think I've ever seen before in a tournament where a batter has scored uh, four 50s or knocks of 50s on the trot. That was something special for me. And he went on to score another one yesterday. So I think uh, Hussain batted brilliantly. Mamit Kohli there is so a great player. I think you were boosted having uh, Mohamed Moyes coming into your side. But it wasn't quite enough. And of course, you had all of the antics of Wakas Ahmed that really did uh, delight us to see some of your antics. And you like, I like the way you play your cricket. You should do yourself proud. And I know that you'll be back there again. But this time around, not quite the medals that you wanted. But I'd like to ask Cosmin to come forward and collect the bronze medal winners. What's more to the winners of the bronze medals, Cosmic? Well done, buddy. Well played. Really good effort. Well done. Well done again to the Bucharest Gladiators. Moving then on to the final. The final. Two teams that know each other very well. It was going to be a spicy and savoury affair. There was going to be a little bit of masala in the middle, as I like to say, and they certainly were. Clues taking on Jumata. Jumata, a team playing on debut in the European Cricket Series. And what a performance it was from you guys. I mean, you did get a win over Clues, so you'll remember that. And uh, it was an emphatic victory when you bowled them all out for around about 81. So that's a memory that you'll have. But, I mean, what can I say? I mean, Aaron Kuma and you guys, you have performed brilliantly. I mean, the Fernandos have been absolutely brilliant. I mean, they've been talking about Chum Club Fernando. What a great performance from you today. Also in the semi-final, I think uh, also we saw in that match how when things aren't going your way, somebody can always come and step up. And Janessa Fernando played very well as well. I think you guys in the field, you were absolutely outstanding. I think you're, you're really setting a new level for the way to be in the field. But you came up against Kluge and it was a big brother that wanted to have the final say. But it was an, an outstanding final, a top effort from you. Even when the chips were down, you still managed to get a uh, score on the board. It wasn't quite enough, but I tell you what, I certainly enjoy the way you played. I think you played some sexy cricket and I like Aaron Kuma to come up and take the medals for the runners up. Aaron from Jaimata, well done. Well done buddy. I think Aaron's just happy that Taranjit has finally left you alone. Stay over there. <laughs> okay, now over to the winners. What can we say about Kluge? Kluge are a team that won back in 2021. Last year in the final, beaten by the bronze winners this time, uh, the Bucharest Gladiators. You wanted to come back strong. And I know this from everyone that I spoke from Kluge. All of you always said that this time round, we are going to be the winners. So we're going to do... 
that give the medals out to the winners. But I'm going to just ask you to come forward to get your, your medals first and then we'll present the, the trophy first. But I just want to talk about some exceptional, exceptional performances. Taranjit Singh, I mean, your batting, incredible. A man has gone past over 1,500 runs on the European Cricket Network. A great performance from you. Satwick Nadi Gottler, I think Satwick was absolutely fantastic behind the stumps, certainly the outstanding wicketkeeper all the way through, but again, scoring plenty of runs, over 200 runs as well, great performance for Satwick, and also the captain Vasusanu, when it needed to be, performed well. And then just to show us at the end that there was more in the tank, I think, uh, well, the man who bowled brilliantly, Roger Pereira, just showing us that he can do pretty well with the bat as well. It was a great performance. So well done to you with his crew. So first of all, I'd like the teams to come forward to receive your winner's medals. So Vasu, if you'd like to come forward to get the winner's medals. And uh, Gabrielle will be presenting the medals. So come forward. So let's hear it for the winners as they get their medals. Well played, guys. Well played. Well played. I'm going to do the MPVs now, then we present the trophy. Well done. Well done, Tarun. Well done. Hey, well done, my well, well, well done, buddy. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done, congratulations, well played. Hey, well played, well done. Well done, Skip, well done. So, well done to Cluj. Now, we're just going to keep them hanging on for a few seconds before we hand over the magnificent winner's trophy because there's a small matter of the MVP to be decided and I like Stefan Gooch, the tournament referee, to be ready to make this presentation. On a tournament like this one, where we've seen so many spectacular things, it's very difficult to decide and who should be our MVP. And I just want to talk about some performances in dispatches and just some of the players that were in contention. Some of them I've mentioned already. Satwit Nadi Gotla, 309 runs. And of course, your work behind the stumps was amazing. Hey. We will all remember an, out, an incredible match between Benisa and ACCB. It went all the way down to the wire. And Benisa's captain, Ijaz Hussain, 190 runs, 10 wickets as well, and scoring that six of the last ball to win. Ijaz's performance was outstanding for his team. <laughs> captain of the Gladiators, Gosmin, I mean, what can I say? You're just a wicket-taking machine. And uh, I think one thing about yourself is seeing you perform out there in the middle. I think a lot of Romanian nationals will see you and they'll want to imitate what you're doing at the moment. So take a lot of pride in your performances. The captain of United. We all know about the power and the, the power hitting of Ramis Sathison, scoring 278 runs and also picking up seven wickets. I mentioned uh, Taseeb Hassan's incredible performance when he hit those four half centuries on a spin. He finished with 364 runs. He done it marvellously well. And somebody who played brilliantly here, Chamlak Fernando, I think you were outstanding. 310 runs and picking up six wickets as well. And you're fielding incredible. It was a close one because even Taranjeet Singh, I mean, what can you say about this guy? 444 runs and 12 wickets, I believe. Excellent performance from you as well. But after all that and after looking at everything, your MVP, 
317 runs, 15 wickets, 11 sensational catches. Amir Ali! Yeah! Well done. Superb. So all that's left to do is to call upon Kluge and their captain, Vasus Haini, to come forward and pick up the trophy. But before we do that, just to remind you, it's not goodbye from Romania. Tomorrow is the start of the international cricket here. We're going to do T10 international style. Join us tomorrow for Saturday and Sunday. We've got some international action for you coming up. But for the time being, it's time to... Crown the champions here at the Moara Vasia Cricket Ground. Vasi Saini, Cluj Cricket Club, the champions. Please come forward. And Gabriel. Come on, guys. I do, I do. जल्दी का ना going to be circling our planet for years to come. With a swing and a hit, the ball goes flying And the fielder makes his chase A community playing on the field of dreams No matter race, sex, color, age 